In this world, everyone will awaken abilities based on their online usernames. Some people have usernames like Superman and awaken incredible abilities, being powerful beyond measure. Some people have usernames like Luffy and awaken Rubberman abilities, able to stretch their arms to any length. Some even have usernames like Mycohern and directly transform into a supremely confident muscle man. While in my previous life, my username was Flash, granting absolute speed. I was still cruelly killed by some even more powerful monsters. Now, as I am reborn, the first thing I must do is change my username to something more powerful. At this moment, I glanced at my phone, 11.59 p.m., 12 a.m., the global transformation would occur. I could not contain my excitement and quickly opened my social media app. Without hesitation, I deleted my username The Flash, and then quickly decided on the new username I wanted to change to. Pangu, Universe and Thanos. Although these usernames are a bit unconventional, the awakened power must be extremely strong. Pangu is the god of creation who separated heaven and earth, and divided yin and yang. It can be said that all things in the world were created by Pangu. If one could awaken abilities related to Pangu, I believe those towering terrifying monsters would become ants in my eyes. Thanos and Pangu, both extremely powerful godlike figures, just with a snap of the fingers, can wipe out half of the life in the universe. With this ability, what monsters should we fear? Moreover, Thanos has such thick skin. No matter how hard you hit, you can't kill him. With him, at least our defense will be solid enough. To be on the safe side, I had to include both of these big shots in my username. As for the universe, needless to say, it is the birthplace of chaos. By adding these three, it's definitely as stable as a rock. What we should be afraid of is no longer humans, but those creatures invading Blue Star from the temporal chaos. After changing my screen name, all that's left is to wait for the transformation to come. My face is calm, but my heart is surging. It's a pity that time is short, otherwise, I would have liked to help other classmates come up with some cool screen names, but they probably wouldn't believe what I said. Just then, a pleasant mature woman's voice came. I saw the beautiful class teacher Su Muru glaring fiercely at me with her beautiful eyes. This Su Muru was a beautiful college student at a prestigious normal university, rumored to be the campus bell, and she has excellent grades. Now Su Muru is interning at the provincial Key High School. Sure how, you are too bold. Everyone is listening attentively, and you are playing with your phone. Hand it over. If you want to play, wait until you finish the college entrance examination. A touch of anger appeared on Su Mushin's exquisite face. Here, I gave you a harmless smile and handed over my phone. After changing the social network name, this phone is just a piece of scrap metal. Su Mushin was stunned for a moment. I didn't expect that I didn't hesitate at all. Has this kid suddenly become sensible? While a few classmates who didn't get along with me looked at me with a smirk on their faces. I didn't care about it at all. Hope you guys keep laughing. At the same time, the moment arrived slowly. A terrible thunder tore through the originally gentle sky as if the death knell had sounded. Gorgeous red blood clouds gathered in the sky. At this scene, countless people exclaimed in shock, their expressions all turning fearful. Some timid classmates were so scared that they peed themselves. Look at what that is. Countless torn blood mouths appeared in the sky, accompanied by the thunder at that time. One huge creature after another appeared in the sky. Each of these monsters had a body height of several hundred feet, and they looked ferocious. Transformed from the abnormality into a dragon, a pair of dragon horns gleamed with a sharp light, as if it could easily slice open a city. A demon fox spewed thunder and fire from its mouth, proudly standing in the sky. There were also abnormal giant pythons, as if a huge mountain was coiled together. The sheer number of demons is terrifying to behold. At this moment, the people on the playground have turned into a chaos, fleeing in all directions. Sumuru's stunning face paled, unable to believe the silver blood before her eyes. Above the red moon, a mutated demon tiger let out a low growl. Descending to the mortal realm, its massive black wings stirred up a tremendous force. The students were blown away like leaves in the wind. Countless demonic mists began to fly towards the mortal realm, causing large-scale destruction and slaughter. Sumura looked at this scene, her expression shocked to the extreme, realizing that these colossal creatures were beyond what humans could deal with. In the face of terrifying demons, humans are like ants being trampled at will. At this moment, I had already passed out, but my consciousness came to a void space, floating in the universe, surrounded by various magnificent stars, the scene was extremely shocking. In front of me, two colossal immortal beings appeared. On the left was the creator god Pangu, with a height of billions, towering muscles, holding an extremely large divine axe. On the right was Thanos, with an equally towering height, emitting an extremely pure golden light. 
looking incredibly divine. Surrounding us was the endless universe that accommodated the two gods, a sight to behold. My breathing became rapid, but after a brief standoff with them, I started to get confused. When I gained the power of the flash in my past life, I merged directly, without the current terrifying scene. How to merge and obtain the power from the three at present, I furrowed my brow, and after a moment of contemplation, I stood up and decided to touch the imposing Thanos, and at the moment of contact with Thanos, terrifying waves of energy were directly absorbed from Thanos, and the huge statue in front of me instantly turned into a surging energy and merged with me. My pair of black eyes turned golden at this moment, and the black short hair on the top of my head turned into white long hair like a waterfall, each strand emitting a silver light. Meanwhile, with the appearance of monsters in the outside world, countless teachers and students in the school also began to awaken, starting an intense battle against the monsters. My consciousness was locked in the void, and the fusion with the god went very smoothly. I was instantly filled with surging vitality. Not only that, I seemed to have the ability to speak and make it so, as if a casually spoken word could immediately become a universal law, respected by all. At this moment, my eyes were burning with passion. Then I touched the statue of the primordial god in front of me, possessing terrifying destructive power. Suddenly, a terrible wave of energy violently shook, and Pango entered my body and began to merge. I suddenly felt that every cell in my body was filled with explosive power, in an all-encompassing and unstoppable way, including those two places. At this moment, the outside demons are constantly devouring the human race. Sumura looked at everything with despair written all over her face. Suddenly, a student roared, using despair as a sword. Amidst the shouting, the school uniform on this student was swallowed up, transforming into a suit of blue armor, with blue light shimmering in his hand, revealing a stormy blade. At the same time, his body suddenly swelled, growing to a height of over three meters, turning into a giant. Holy cow, a student noticed the existence of this giant, who can kill all squishy characters in King's Glory, continuously exclaiming in amazement. During high school, this game was extremely popular. Many students have had contact with it. Many students even changed their online usernames to characters from King's Glory. And this student's social media handle is Wangjakai, coincidentally awakening supernatural powers and gaining the abilities of Kai. Only by being on the brink of death can one truly understand the essence of survival. Wang Zhikai murmured quietly, but it entered the minds of many students, causing a stir in their spirits, as if they had seen hope. Wang Zhikai let out a low growl, grasping his scythe emitting a blue light, he actively attacks a gigantic monster. This is a demonic wolf over ten Zhang in height, with eyes the size of fists exuding a fierce killing intent. The demonic wolf let out a low roar. Its powerful claws tore towards Kai. With a shout, Wang Jikai spinning blade. The storm swift blade in his hand was like a sharp, giant dart. Was shot directly and hit the demonic wolf's claw. The demonic wolf was shaken by the storm swift blade. But this only further fueled its ferocity. The demonic wolf pounced fiercely towards the much smaller figure of King Kai. Although afraid, he still rushed at the demonic wolf without hesitation. However, lacking combat experience, Wang Jikai was knocked down with a single blow struggling to defend with the storm swift blade in his hand. Darn it, if only I had the six gods armor. Wang Jikai let out a sound of frustration. He only had a single skill now, so he couldn't withstand the demonic wolf. Come on, Kai, don't give up. The students around clenched their fists tightly, continuously cheering for him. Sumura looked at the Tujantal Wang Jikai with an incredulous expression on her face. She had also played games and knew this was Wang Jikai. There are not just Tenjang magic wolves on the field. There are also dozens of Zhang tall monsters here. Humans are like tiny grass in front of these monsters. The sword of the great river descends from the sky. As the spear in wine cups sees, at this moment, a carefree voice enters everyone's minds. It's Li Hei from class 3. I didn't expect Li Hei to have the ability to transform into Li Bai. Li Bai's ultimate skill has tremendous damage, and it can definitely defeat these monsters. At this moment, Li Hei has long, flowing hair, wearing an ancient robe, and a wine gourd hanging from his waist giving people a feeling of carefree freedom. He also holds an extremely sharp long sword in his hand, as if it can cut through anything hard in the world. Immediately, Li Bai laughs and swings his sword towards the monsters to kill them. Su Muru saw another student awaken, and the look of despair on her face dissipated a lot. More and more students are undergoing changes. They are all transforming into powerful heroes of kings of glory. It seems that the human race still has hope. Li Bai, come and help me. He also let out a voice of sorrow and indignation. Veins on his forehead bulged, and he was already in a desperate situation at this moment. He forcibly grabbed the giant mouth of the magic wolf with his hands, 
preventing it from biting him. But as time passed, I felt my reinforcement time was running out. The arms covered by Lan Kai began to tremble violently. With a swift step, killing a pair, not leaving a trace for a thousand miles, Li Bai let out a low shout, and the long sword in his hand flashed with a hint of green light. He advanced with two consecutive bursts of displacement, the sword energy surged on his body, and his figure instantly appeared beside the demon wolf. The king Li Bai laughed heartily, and the sword energy on his body accumulated once again, becoming even more fierce. The Qinglian sword song, Li Bai laughed heartily, directly transforming into a powerful sword energy. He continuously launched five attacks against the demon wolf, but did not cause fatal damage to it. At this moment, the demon wolf was also extremely angry, noticing the situation. Li Bai once again used displacement skills to create distance from the demon wolf. Li Bai is really struggling. Yes, he actually managed to injure this demon wolf. Many students seem to see the dawn of victory. But why does it feel like this King Li Bai's attacks are like scratching? Yes, his attacks only injured the demon wolf's skin and flesh. There are too many warlocks here. How can Li Bai deal with them alone? Are there no more strong individuals among the human race? Hurry up and come out. Li Bai, I'm coming. Kai burst up from the ground with a domineering aura emanating from his body. Holding the storm, he aggressively charges towards the demon wolf. Su Muro looked at the two of them, with a hint of worry in her beautiful eyes. No, Kai and Li Bai don't have any equipment. We can't hold on for much longer like this. Su Muro's face was full of worry as she began to look around for awakened students with abilities. Just then, another voice came. Does anyone need technical support? All the teachers and students turned to look in the direction of the voice. They saw a child of less than one. Five meters tall running towards them with a backpack on his back. The students were in an uproar. It was Lu Ban No. Seven. They didn't expect Lu Ban No. Seven to show up. Hurry, go help. The students all placed their hopes on Lu Ban. Suddenly, Lu Ban No. Seven took clumsy steps forward to attack. He directly activated the aerial support skill. Summoning the pufferfish flying sword, he charged towards the demon wolf and continuously released bombs. The invincible Lu Ban No. Seven once again activated a skill. He directly launched a sand mouth cannon at the demon wolf. At the moment the shell hit the demon wolf, its body was directly blown apart. Seeing this scene, the students were instantly encouraged. Well done. He truly lives up to the name of the version sub for the zero marksman. But just when everyone thought the demon wolf was undoubtedly dead, Kai from the rear let out a cry of surprise. Just as the injured demon wolf opened its huge mouth to bite Luban's head, Luban also received a lunchbox in an instant. At the same time, more demon wolves also attacked towards Li Bai and Kai. The situation for the two of them became even more difficult. The expressions of the teachers and students instantly became extremely despairing. It was at this moment that despairing Su Muru also began to awaken, but unfortunately, his screen name is Mighty Wind. Unable to launch a substantial attack. At the same time, she also discovered that many students awaken weak powers. There is a student named Gao Cohen, whose social media nickname is King of Strength. As a result, he turned into a muscle man. There is a student named Tong Jincheng, whose social media nickname is Bootleaker. As a result, he gained supernatural powers and turned into a dog. There is even a student whose screen name is Black Chicken. And indeed, he ultimately turned into a black chicken. Another classmate turned into Wild Grass wild boars, stones, and so on. However, there were also those who awakened as Ultraman. They are currently locked in a bitter battle with the Demon King. There were even those who transformed into Nasus, the curator of the sands, from League of Legends, wielding a huge battle axe, continuously hacking away at the demon insects. Unfortunately, Nasus did not fully develop, falling as food for the demons. Sumura watched as one student after another fell, feeling helpless and filled with sorrow and indignation. At the same time, the me in the different space finally merged completely, and then my consciousness sank. I retreated from the chaotic world. I slowly opened my eyes. An invisible wave of energy emanated from my body. At this moment, the supernatural beings in the school battlefield were retreating one after another, and many supernatural students and teachers had died tragically at the hands of the demons. Seeing this, I murmured and stood up from the ground, then walked step by step forward. A tremendously huge monster suddenly appeared. It was a colossal sky python, measuring more than 90 zhang in length, coiled together, like a giant mountain. At the same time, my appearance immediately became the focus of the entire scene. Who is this? My goodness, someone has actually awakened. And next to the creation god Pangu, there is even Thanos. Finally, a strong person has stood up, and the excited voice instantly spread throughout the school. 
Many teachers and students who were fleeing couldn't help but stop their pace, looking at me, shimmering with golden light. At first glance, Stonehow is stronger than the other supernatural beings before. Isn't he from our class? A look of disbelief appeared in Sumura's beautiful eyes. The human race is saved now. Sumuro couldn't help but speak out, a glimmer of hope in her stunningly beautiful eyes. At this moment, I held the huge heaven-opening divine axe condensed by Ling Li and traveled through the air. With every step, golden light ripples out from under my feet. I walked towards the extremely large Azure Sky Python. The Azure Sky Python also noticed me. It stuck out its tongue and fiercely opened its huge bloody mouth, biting towards me. I remained calm, stepped forward, and swung the huge divine axe in my hand. In an instant, the space seemed to twist, and waves of energy surged out, directly sending countless demons flying. In an instant, I split the python in half, and its body crashed to the ground. The power of the universe, my towering figure descended in front of the azure sky python. My massive left hand reached out, manipulating the power of the universe. The black hole at my brow emitted a strong gravitational pull, directly drawing in the body of the azure sky python. The body of this enormous demon snake contains an endless supply of meat. Handled properly, it can feed countless survivors. The teachers and students around me saw that I effortlessly slayed the Azure Sky Python among the four huge demons, and they all cheered. Brother how is amazing, worthy of being Pangu and Thanos. The twin gods of creation are really amazing. Sure how, I know him, I'm his roommate, what? It's actually that class 3 loser sure how, I told you this kid has potential. Many students noticed me, I killed the Sky Demon Python, and my classmates were all amazed. The discussion started. Especially some female students were staring intently. Sure how is so handsome, it would be great to date him. I really want to give him a moon shovel from class 3. Everyone's attention was fixed on sure how. I didn't expect him to be so powerful. It's a pity that we haven't spoken a few words in three years of high school, murmured Yuasian in her heart, wanting to be friends with sure how. And there was a male classmate beside her, now transformed into the burly Fei Yang Yang, protecting her. This Fei Yang Yang is not an ordinary Fei Yang Yang but a mutated Fei Yang Yang. Strong muscles all over, burly figure, reaching a height of two and a half meters. Yuan, don't be afraid, I will protect you, he has long admired the class flower Yuan. So after awakening his abilities, he came to her side at the first time to protect her. Seeing this, Yuan ignored it and instead stared intently in Sure Hao's direction. Sure Hao has already killed the Sky Demon King among the four great demons in our school. The remaining demon scorpion, ghost leopard, and demon male are definitely no match for Sure Hao. Yu Chan's gaze towards Sure Hao became even more profound. Beside her, Fei Yang Yang felt like her heart was being twisted by a knife upon hearing this, but she could only swallow her pride and dare not spoil the goddess's mood. Su Muro saw Sure Hao kill the sky demon horse, and her expression immediately became excited. Well done. Now the human race has hope because of Sure Hao. And after I finished dealing with the sky demon python, I suddenly turned my head and looked at the swift leopard rushing behind me. Instantly, a burst of spatial force shook out from my body. At that moment, the entire space also crazily distorted, tightly locking down the ghost leopard that wanted to escape. The ghost leopard roared, opening its mouth full of fangs, and its crimson eyes were filled with killing intent. Its movements were like a ghost, and it suddenly rushed towards me. The sky giant bear beside it also roared, then waved its sharp bear paws and attacked me at the same time. The demon scorpion dripped out a green venom from its huge tail spike, raising it high and aiming to kill me. The three giant beasts made some strange sounds, and after integrating the power of Pangu and Thanos, I suddenly understood the communication between these demons. Demon bear. But you are drawing the attention of these ants head on. Ghost leopard. You are launching a sneak attack from behind. I, on the other hand, will seize the opportunity to launch a fatal blow. Under my venom, no one can survive. The one making the sound is the giant poisonous scorpion. Three great monsters immediately rushed out, forming a triangular formation to encircle me. Seeing this, I laughed heartily, took a step in the void, and my huge celestial axe changed its attack target directly, fiercely slashing towards the demon bear. In an instant, blood flashed, and the celestial bear was directly cut in half. Both the venomous scorpion and the ghost leopard were hit, and then they both assumed an attacking posture and came at me. I, on the other hand, left behind a burst of golden light in the original spot, and my figure instantly disappeared. The venomous scorpion temporarily lost its attack target and stood still in place. But I appeared out of thin air behind it, and a terrifying divine power burst forth violently. At this moment, the divine axe erupted with an extremely terrifying killing intent and slashed towards the venomous scorpion. Covered in divine light, the body of the giant venomous scorpion was split in two, then fell heavily to the ground, raising a large amount of dust. 
At this moment, the ghost leopard was also scared and lost all fighting spirit, and twisted its huge body to fly off into the distance. Can you escape? I activated the annihilation pine technique and instantly teleported in front of the ghost leopard. Soon after, Pangu's power loss suddenly erupted. A momentum like an overwhelming force poured out immediately. Immediately hacked the demon leopard into a pile of minced meat. Then I stored the bodies of these three huge monsters into my own cosmic space. Later, I will have specialized personnel process them into various delicious canned meat products. In the previous life, some powerful supernaturals united and established a new world city. Among them, there was an extremely violent industry, the fresh meat processing factory. In the end of the world, with the collapse of order and shortage of food, the extremely delicious meat of monsters led to the emergence of the industry of selling monsters for profit. Moreover, there is also a chance to find monster crystals inside the monsters, which can enhance one's cultivation after consumption, with various other benefits. At the same time, the four largest monsters were all slain, resolving the crisis in the campus battlefield. Next, there are only some small fry left, which ordinary supernaturals can easily deal with. Over 95% of the teachers and students in the entire school died tragically, but now the death rate of teachers and students in this school is only about 20%. This is mainly because of the incident where I merged two primordial divine pills. The surrounding teachers and students, seeing this, cheered like a boiling cauldron. Sumiuro looked at me and praised me in her heart. Not far away, the moon cicada had already shown infatuation, with a look of admiration in its eyes. Beside them, Fei Yang Yang became anxious in an instant. Coincidentally, a mutated antelope appeared at this moment, and Fei Yang Yang noticed it. Hastily, it used its iron-like horns to kick the antelope away. At the same time, the moon cicada also walked towards me. Sure how, you're so amazing. Are you hurt? I was worried about you just now. The moon cicada gestured with its hand, and its beautiful eyes showed a hint of affection. It was evident that there was admiration in its eyes. Hearing this, Fei Yang Yang felt as if its heart had been cut by a knife. I was stunned for a moment. I felt quite surprised by the moon cicada's initiative. But it can't be said that Yuan Chan lost. It can only be said that he is a visionary person. It's a pity that it's the end of the world now. Moreover, the moon cicada already has Fei Yang Yang by its side. If I were to take down the moon cicada, Fei Yang Yang would go crazy on the spot. My strength is average, so they don't need to bother with me. Then, I disappeared from in front of the two of them in a flash. My imposing figure instantly arrived at another battlefield. I saw an esper wielding the power of thunder, releasing lightning to deal with a robust five-headed demonic ape. Obviously, it was the Kingsley Sea Kongjin, although he controlled the power of thunder. He was still being besieged by the five-headed demonic ape, as the situation unfolded. My imposing figure instantly appeared in front of him, and the giant rib bone in my hand swept across, and directly killed the iron ape on the spot. Si Kongjin, who witnessed this scene, was completely dumbfounded. He had struggled so hard for so long, almost being killed in return, and yet sure how managed to kill instantly with just one blow. Si Kongjin also recognized me and greeted me. It's you. Good luck, I have to go back to the fight. Let's catch up later. Then I flashed away from the spot. I arrived in front of a familiar figure, my classmate Lu Lily, who was a pretty nice girl. At this moment, more than 10 ant-like monsters the size of basketballs were closely chasing behind Lu Lily. Seeing this, I swung the panga giant axe in my hand, easily solving them all. Sure how, thank you so much. Previously, his attitude towards sure how was quite indifferent. But now, not only is he very proactive, he even seems to be actively seeking attention. I, on the other hand, remained expressionless, gave a faint smile, and immediately rushed to the next battlefield. Here, two huge spider monsters spat out spider webs. They had already entangled a beautiful female classmate, Chen Xinyao. Chen Xinyao could only make muffled struggling sounds, unable to move her body. These spider monsters have this kind of twisted habit. After they are full, they want to bind their food. Come back to eat when you're hungry. I stomped down like a spider in the clear sky, instantly crushing the two spider monsters. Then a large hand reached out, gently unraveled all the spider silk wrapped around Chen Xinya. Then I locked onto the battlefield again, helping some of the students in distress get through the crisis. Soon I opened up a safe haven on the battlefield, where all the students stayed, while the students and teachers with special abilities fought at the forefront. At this moment, I dare not delay for a moment. I must slay more monsters, improve my skills, in order to deal with the second round. Many monsters invade in the third and fourth rounds. My figure flashed and I began to attack a huge monster in the distance. It was a nine-headed dragon snake, with a body over a hundred feet tall, nine ferocious heads, and beside this huge nine-headed snake. 
stood Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Zero. The Nine-Headed Serpent's combat power is very high, and its defense is extremely strong. Only Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Zero are qualified to fight this Nine-Headed Serpent on the battlefield. However, Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Zero have just awakened their special abilities, and are still unable to fully control the bodies of the Ultraman, unable to exert 100% combat power. So, when Shur Hao saw the battle between these two Ultramen, he felt a kind of clumsiness and immaturity, like a grown-up appearance, child steps. It's a bit like what is called human machine gate in games. Nine-headed snake. If it is killed, you will definitely see a good magic core. Moreover, this nine-headed snake looks like it has good flesh. Part of its flesh is extremely delicious, with a protein content more than 500 times that of beef. Eating it will greatly nourish the body. By then, I'm afraid I won't have to worry about weak legs even in the face of a hundred beauties. A gleam of light flashed in Sher Hao's deep golden eyes. He planned to lend a hand. Moreover, these two Ultramen seemed quite powerful. Sher Hao saved them, and in the future, these two Ultramen could save more survivors. This world cannot rely solely on Sher Hao's strength. World peace requires more than just Sher Hao to protect it, which would be too exhausting. The teachers and students around him saw Sher Hao, this majestic god, walking towards the distance, and they all made reluctant sounds. Sher Hao, don't leave. Sher Hao, please don't go. If you leave, who will save us? Yes, Sher Hao, don't leave, stay and protect us. Sher Hao, please, don't go. These teachers and students showed their reluctance towards Sher Hao. After all, if Sher Hao left and there was another monster invasion, they would be in big trouble. Many people in the school have not awakened their special abilities and are powerless. If Sher Hao is there, he can still protect them. But if Sher Hao leaves, no matter what the reason, they all can't bear it. Where is he going? Su Myoro looked at Sher Hao's departing figure with a reluctant expression. He was her student after all. Su Myoro had a selfish thought in her mind, wanting Sher Hao to stay in the school to protect herself, her students, and her alma mater. However, Su Myoro knew that Sher Hao had his own ideas. She had no right to bind Sher Hao. So, she watched Sher Hao leave in place. Sher Hao, I hope you have a bright future and live a happy and joyful life every day. Su Mura whispered, her gaze tightly fixed on Sher Hao. She wanted to morally bind Sher Hao. Su Mura hoped that Sher Hao would pursue what he wanted in his heart and be happy every day. This was what she should do as a teacher. As for Sher Hao's phone, Su Mura kept it temporarily. There will be a chance to return it in the future. On the high platform, watching Sher Hao's figure leaving, Principal Ma felt very reluctant. He reached out his hand towards Sher Hao's direction, as if he wanted to grab him back. Sher Hao, don't leave. I have something to tell you. Principal Ma's face was full of reluctance, not wanting Sher Hao to leave. He was a talent of the first middle school. With him, there was hope for the entire first middle school to survive. If Sher Hao left, they might encounter great danger. Sher Hao, don't leave. Please, stay in our alma mater. Vice Principal Zhang beside him waved his hand towards Sher Hao, hoping he would stay. Yes, Sher Hao, stay. No one wants you to leave. Director Gu shouted at Sher Hao, hoping he would change his mind. But Sher Hao's steps were firm. He didn't turn around, but left behind a few words that sounded sacred and warm-hearted. The future is in your hands, not mine. Everyone, pull yourselves together, work together, and you will definitely be able to protect yourselves. As for me, I have a more important mission to fulfill. The sacred voice echoed in everyone's ears. After everyone caught their breath, they regained their senses and understood the meaning behind Sher Hao's words. Yes, the future is in our hands. Sher Hao, he can protect us for a while, but not for a lifetime. Yes, we must unite and overcome this difficulty together. Sher Hao is too powerful, he belongs to the world, not just our school. Exactly, Sher Hao has more missions to accomplish, he needs to slay more demons, he won't stay here. We don't have the right to make Sher Hao stay. Look, Sher Hao is going to help those two Ultramen. Yes, I see it too, Sher Hao looks so cool. He's going to fight the nine-headed snake. Wow, he truly deserves to be a student of our school, saving the people. As they watched Sher Hao's gradually receding figure, everyone knew that he was going to fight even stronger demons. While praising Sher Hao, they all hoped for his victory. This time, Sher Hao's actions helped resolve the crisis at their school. He had become the hero in the hearts of all the teachers and students at their school. Especially the girls, many of them secretly fell in love with Sher Hao. Shue Xinxin's eyes welled up with tears as she whispered to herself, Sher Hao, I'll wait for your return. The nearby fleeting Yang Yang felt jealous to the point of numbness. Soon after, some respected leaders within the school stepped forward to take charge. Although some of these leaders didn't possess awakened abilities, their prestige still held weight. Moreover, most of the awakened individuals in the school were students. 
Despite having powerful abilities, these students still had the genes of obedience to their superiors and cooperated accordingly. Under the guidance of the leaders, all the teachers and students began to retreat. Meanwhile, these powerful awakened individuals formed a team to protect everyone. In the face of great adversity, everyone showed great unity and no signs of dissent. As for Sher Hao, he had already arrived by the side of the two Ultramen, wielding the heavenly axe in his hand as he joined the battle. Tiga, Ultraman, I'm here to help you. Sher Hao's voice was powerful and resonant, like the beating of a giant drum, and his aura was extremely strong. Upon Sher Hao's arrival, both Tiga and Ultraman were stunned. Wow. The primordial god Pangu, Thanos. This guy's abilities are terrifying. Tiga Ultraman couldn't help but gasp in surprise as he glanced at Sher Hao. He had thought that his own awakened abilities as Tiga Ultraman were already extraordinary. But he never expected that Sher Hao, who had two primordial gods on his head, would directly join the battle. This was even more terrifying, extraordinary, and unparalleled. Wow. This person has fused the powers of Pangu and Thanos. This is too powerful. It seems that this nine-headed snake will surely die today. Ultraman's eyes flashed with determination. While amazed by Sher Hao's strength, his morale soared. With Sher Hao's participation, their combined fighting power would undoubtedly surpass that of the nine-headed snake, allowing them to defeat the beast. I'll hold this beast back. Pangu, Thanos, you cut off its head. Ultraman shouted loudly. Then, a burst of divine power erupted from his body, radiating a blinding light. Ultraman went berserk, tightly embracing the massive body of the nine-headed snake. Seeing this, Tiga Ultraman followed suit, using his own body to control the nine-headed snake, preventing it from dodging. Quick! Hurry! Tiga Ultraman shouted, and every inch of his skin was covered in bulging veins, emanating an unparalleled power. This nine-headed demon snake was bound by two Ultraman and nailed to the ground. Its nine heads began to swing, opening its huge snake mouths, trying to bite the two Ultraman. I'm here! Sher Hao said calmly. He took a step forward, and a sacred golden light burst from his body, activating the power of destruction to the extreme. Buzz! The primordial divine axe emitted a loud buzzing sound, and then, under Sher Hao's control, swept towards the body of the nine-headed demon snake. Splashes of blood flew everywhere. Sher Hao stepped forward and cut the nine-headed demon snake in half at the waist. The nine huge and ferocious snake heads, connected to their bodies, were all severed and fell to the ground, violently writhing and spraying blood everywhere, creating an extremely bloody scene. Although the body of the nine-headed demon snake had been destroyed, its nerves were still carrying out some instinctive movements, and it could even launch another attack. Step back. Let me handle this. Sher Hao shouted loudly, and the primordial divine axe in his hand actively attacked one of the snake heads. Seeing Sher Hao's strength, Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Dina stepped aside. Tiga, I feel like we are burdens. Let's watch from the side and not disturb him while he slays this nine-headed snake demon. Ultraman Dina couldn't help but speak, and took several steps back, clearing the battlefield. Yes, Dina, we have nothing to do here. Fortunately, we have the creator god present. Let's step back and assist from the side. Ultraman Tiga nodded and followed Ultraman Dina, retreating several steps. The two Ultramen cleared the battlefield and handed it over to the creator god, Sher Hao. They were amazed as they watched Sher Hao fight. Tiga, I thought my power of light was already very strong. But compared to these two creator gods, our power of light is nothing. Ultraman's power is not enough to save the whole world. Ultraman Dina couldn't help but speak, feeling a lot of emotion. He thought his power of light was strong. Ultraman Dina had just slain many monsters. But when he encountered this nine-headed dragon snake, he realized how weak his power actually was. Ultraman Tiga nodded beside him and said, Indeed, but we can already deal with most monsters. Leave these stronger monsters to the stronger creator gods to slay. We may not be able to do our best, but we must do our best. Ultraman Tiga nodded repeatedly and started chatting with Ultraman Dina. Their conversation touched on some values and worldviews. On Sher Hao's side, he wielded the primordial divine axe and ruthlessly struck the remaining bodies of the nine-headed demon snake, flattening them, and then stored the pieces of the nine-headed demon snake's flesh and blood in his cosmic storage space. During this time, Sher Hao would also listen to the conversation between Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Dina, feeling that the values of these Ultramen were quite righteous, and they would definitely be able to protect many ordinary people in the future. Soon, Sher Hao completely dealt with the nine-headed demon snake that had plagued the land for a hundred years, and stored all the flesh and blood in his cosmic storage space. Seeing this, Ultraman Dina and Ultraman Tiga couldn't help but approach. Primordial, Thanos. Brother, you possess the power of two creator gods, you are truly powerful. We are no match for you. 
Can we be friends? Ultraman Dina spoke, wanting to befriend Sher Hao. Although he had the appearance of Ultraman Dina and possessed the power of light, his essence was still human. After cancelling his superpowers, he could return to his human form. And humans, well, they can't live without socializing, they always want to make friends with strong individuals. The nearby Ultraman Tiga also wanted to get to know Sher Hao and approached him. Good brother, can I be friends with you? Ultraman Tiga asked sincerely. Sure, Sher Hao replied. My name is Sher Hao. If you have time, can you help me take care of my alma mater, Ijong? Sher Hao nodded and responded. My name is Yang Di, Ultraman Tiga said. I'm Chun Luo, Ultraman Tiga added. The three quickly exchanged their names. At the same time, Sher Hao pointed to the location of his alma mater, hoping that the two Ultramen could help take care of Ijong. No problem, we don't have anything to do right now, so we can help you take care of your school. Ultraman Tiga agreed immediately. In his opinion, this was a rare opportunity to make friends with Sher Hao. As long as he completed the tasks assigned by Sher Hao, they would be good brothers in the future. In this chaotic world, there were invaders everywhere. It was fortunate to know Sher Hao, the creator god. Okay, Sher Hao, we're available. Ultraman Tiga also expressed his agreement. The students in Ijong school were the future pillars of Longwa. Protecting these students was the responsibility of every superhuman. Moreover, they could also become friends with Sher Hao, who possessed the power of Pangu and Thanos. It was a great opportunity. All right, there are still many monsters that haven't been eliminated over there. I'm going. Sher Hao said, bidding farewell to the two Ultramen. This was just the first wave of monster invasions, and there would be more powerful ones to come. Now, Sher Hao had to hunt and collect monster cores in order to prepare for the subsequent invasions. After saying goodbye, Sher Hao disappeared in a flash, leaving behind a golden shadow. The two Ultramen watched as Sher Hao's figure disappeared into the distance. Then, they looked at each other and headed in the direction Sher Hao had pointed. Soon, Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Tiga arrived at the location of Ijong School. Here, the two Ultramen saw many superhumans guarding the students. Many teaching buildings in the school had collapsed. The students gathered on a clean and spacious ground. Now, no one knew where was a safe place, so they had to stay in the school. Even home was no longer a safe haven. Many female students were scared and crying because of the monster invasions. Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Tiga's arrival immediately caught the attention of many people. Look! It's Ultraman. Yes, two Ultraman. Ultraman Tiga. Ultraman Tiga. Are they here to save us? Many students looked at them with hopeful eyes. In their eyes, wherever there were Ultraman, there was hope and safety. Sumura noticed the presence of the two Ultraman. These two Ultraman should be here to protect everyone. They shouldn't harm their fellow countrymen. Sumura thought to herself, her gaze fixed on the two Ultraman. Meanwhile, Principal Ma looked at the two Ultraman with excitement. He couldn't help but wave his hand. Hi, I am Principal Ma from Ijon. Ultraman Tiga, Ultraman Tiga, are you alumni of our school? Are you here to protect our school and students? Principal Ma kept waving at the two Ultramen. In his opinion, Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Tiga must be alumni of their school. Now that they saw the school in trouble, they all came back to protect their alma mater. Otherwise, why would they come to Ijong school? Thinking of this, Principal Ma couldn't help but be moved to tears feeling that his education was very successful. Otherwise, after graduation, the students would come back to their alma mater and contribute to it once they had the ability. Hello everyone, I am Vice Principal Zhang. The Vice Principal next to him also started waving and greeting the two Ultramen. Vice Principal Zhang, listening to Principal Ma's words, believed that these two Ultramen were alumni of their alma mater. Many senior teachers and students around them also began to believe that Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Taro had come back to protect their alma mater. Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Taro noticed Principal Ma's position and heard what he said. Hello, teachers and students of first middle school. I am Ultraman Tiga. I am not a student of first middle school, nor am I an alumnus of first middle school. Ultraman Tiga said truthfully. Hearing this, everyone was stunned. They thought the two Ultramen were alumni who had come back to protect the campus, but it turned out they weren't. The smiles of some students became a bit bitter. In their eyes, only alumni were more friendly. Principal Ma, however, still had a smile on his face and said, so it turns out you are kind-hearted individuals who have come to protect our first middle school. Listening to Principal Ma's words, Ultraman Tiga shook his head again. Seeing him shake his head, Principal Ma's expression froze, thinking to himself, if they are not kind-hearted individuals, then why did these Ultramen come to the school? I hope they are not up to something bad. Damn it. Just as Sher Hao left, two Ultramen came, 
It seems like they want to cause trouble. Principal Ma's mood became a bit worse. He had imagined sure how coming back immediately to take charge. In that case, if these two Ultramen were up to no good, they would definitely be taught a lesson twice as hard. However, sure how had already left to slay monsters in the distance. While Principal Ma was feeling a bit depressed, Ultraman Tiga said something shocking. Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Taro have come here to protect Sher Hao's alma mater, first middle school, as entrusted by our good brother Sher Hao, and to protect everyone, rest assured. From today onwards, I, Ultraman Tiga, will share the hardships with all of you and resist these monsters together. Ultraman Tiga's voice was powerful and immediately spread out. Everyone heard what Ultraman Tiga said. Ultraman Taro next to him continued where Ultraman Tiga left off and said, I, Ultraman Taro, entrusted by our good brother Sher Hao, will protect all the teachers and students of the entire school. Don't be afraid, everyone. Ultraman Taro's voice, just like Ultraman Tiga's, was very reassuring. After hearing this, everyone immediately understood what was going on. Principal Ma was stunned for a moment, then he breathed a sigh of relief. Good. I didn't expect Sher Hao to be so thoughtful and so devoted to his alma mater. He went to hunt monsters to protect the world. He asked the two Ultramen to come and protect the alma mater, with his alma mater in his heart. This child is truly kind and grateful. In the future, this child will definitely become someone great. Principal Ma couldn't help but speak, praising Sher Hao to the vice principal and the teachers beside him. Principal Ma, you said something wrong. Vice Principal Zhang next to him spoke up. What did I say wrong? Principal Ma looked over, his face full of confusion. How could he have said something wrong just now? Sure how, he has already become someone great, no need to wait for the future. Vice Principal Zhang pointed out. Yes, yes, you're right. Principal Ma nodded repeatedly, expressing his agreement. Then, Principal Ma looked at the two giant Ultramen. Ultraman Tiga, Ultraman Taro, welcome to join us. With your arrival, our first middle school will shine brightly. Welcome. Principal Ma smiled and welcomed the two Ultramen. The surrounding teachers and students also welcomed the arrival of these two Ultramen. At the same time, all the teachers and students present regarded Sher Hao as a hero. It is because of Sher Hao that everyone has hoped to survive. If it weren't for Sher Hao, everyone would have already died. Moreover, even if Sher Hao leaves, he still cares about his alma mater and lets the two Ultramen guard the campus of Ijeon. Even Ultraman has to give face to Sher Hao. This is enough to show how powerful Sher Hao is. Su Muro, as Sher Hao's homeroom teacher, had many emotions in her heart. I originally thought that Sher Hao only loved playing games and was seriously out of touch with society. But now it seems that I was wrong. Sher Hao, this child, has a grateful heart. Su Muro now regards Sher Hao as a hero and has high hopes for him. However, Sher Hao is still too young. He may be powerful, but he may not be able to take care of his own life. Sher Hao is an orphan without parents. I want to help him. Sumura thought to herself and couldn't help but look around. Seeing that everything around her had stabilized and some monsters wanted to invade but were immediately killed by the superhumans, she felt relieved. At the same time, Sumura affirmed her own idea of leaving. Sher Hao, I'm coming. Sumura wanted to help Sher Hao. Then, her figure began to turn into a phantom, and she turned into a gust of wind, floating towards the direction Sher Hao had left. At this moment, Sher Hao was in the bustling city center. There were many monsters here, invading the human city. Many human residents had a look of despair, thinking that everything was finished and that everyone would die in the future. They were all desperately running away. But no matter where they ran, they would encounter powerful monsters and be killed. Of course, there were also some superhumans fighting against the monsters. However, these superhumans were too few in number and seemed weak, unable to resist at all. Superhumans, don't retreat. I will assist you in this battle and wipe out these monsters. Sher Hao shouted loudly, and a golden light surged from his body, his momentum was like a landslide, very terrifying. Then, Sher Hao held a huge heavenly axe in his hand, took a step forward, and challenged a golden crocodile king. This golden crocodile king looked extremely huge and fierce. Its existence made many survivors and superhumans around feel extremely headache. This golden crocodile king had already eaten many superhumans, very terrifying. Holding the heavenly axe that opened up the heavens and surrounded by a Thanos shield, Sher Hao began to fight against this golden crocodile king. Around him, many survivors immediately noticed Sher Hao's presence and couldn't help but widen their eyes, looking dumbfounded. Wow! Is this Pangu? No, not only Pangu, but also Thanos. This is too terrifying. Someone has awakened this kind of power, it's too abnormal. Ha! Ah, there is hope for our human race. Someone has awakened this kind of superpower, 
The ones who should be fleeing in the future are these monsters. Many survivors, seeing Sherhao's presence, couldn't help but show hope, their bodies and minds were all invigorated. Originally, everyone was quite desperate, feeling that the entire human race was doomed. But now, seeing Sherhao's arrival, everyone regained the light of hope, started to strive to survive, and made efforts to resist these monsters. Not far away, there was a superhuman who transformed into Piggy Hero, licking a lollipop. It's actually a combination of Thanos and Pangu, two creator gods fused into one person's body. This is too terrifying. Piggy Hero was shocked, his mouth opened wide, as if he could fit two and a half lollipops in it. This Piggy Hero has dealt with the Golden Crocodile King before and knows how terrifying it is. He almost died before even getting close to the Golden Crocodile King. So, he decisively gave up on the idea of dealing with the Golden Crocodile King and turned to deal with other monsters instead. Now, seeing sure how take action, Piggy Hero feels much more relieved. In shock, Piggy Hero rushes forward and starts fighting a giant ant the size of a basketball. On the side, there is someone who has awakened an ability related to Tang San from Doluwa Continent. At this moment, he holds a cluster of vibrant blue silver grass in his hand and is surrounded by two yellow soul rings. Using the soul skill of the blue silver grass, this person starts entangling weaker monsters and attempts to bind them to death. However, this person realizes that his skills are too weak and he can't deal with these monsters at all, so he can only keep dodging. At this moment, seeing Sher Hao's appearance, the eyes of this person with extraordinary abilities widen. Damn! It's actually Pangu and Thanos. This person's awakened ability is too powerful. Damn it! I really regret why my online nickname is Mom Entanglement. I give up. This person with extraordinary abilities is extremely envious when he sees the powerful Sher Hao. He never expected that the whole world would be invaded by monsters. Moreover, some lucky humans can actually awaken extraordinary abilities. The key is that these abilities are related to online nicknames. He had previously given himself the nickname Mom Entanglement just for fun. But as a result, he actually obtained the Martial Soul Blue Silver Grass and possesses the soul skill Mom Entanglement, which is the Blue Silver Entanglement. This skill is too trash and can't harm the monsters at all. Fortunately, Sher Hao has come forward. This greatly relieves him. The future of the human race is in your hands. As for me, I just need to survive. This person with extraordinary abilities mutters to himself, harboring high hopes for Sher Hao. Not far away, hmm? It's actually Pangu and Thanos. This person is so terrifying. This is a man who looks like Zhong Kuei. His online nickname is Judgment Zhong Kuei, and he has actually obtained the power of Zhong Kuei. Zhong Kuei holds an extremely sharp black sickle in his left hand, with a thick iron chain connected to the top of the sickle handle, looking extremely mighty. In Zhong Kuei's right hand, he holds a ghost slaying sword emitting a murderous aura. But even so, he still can't dare to fight against the huge golden crocodile king. Strong. Too strong. I'm no match for him. Zhong Kuei mutters to himself. Although he is very strong, he still feels inferior to Sher Hao. After taking a glance at Sher Hao, who is fighting the golden crocodile king, Zhong Kuei retracts his gaze and starts killing other monsters that he can handle. Abracadabra energy, Wujima Black. An extraordinary person awakens the abracadabra energy and transforms into a little fairy. At this moment, she holds a fairy wand in her hand, chanting spells and releasing a burst of magic, engaging in a fierce battle with a canine monster in front of her. Suddenly, this little fairy notices Sher Hao's presence. So handsome. This extraordinary person is so handsome. He actually awakened an ability related to Thanos and Pangu. He charges straight in against the monsters that no one dares to provoke. So amazing. This little fairy's eyes sparkle, captivated by Sher Hao's charm. At the same time, she wants to ask Sher Hao for his contact information, hoping to develop a relationship. In chaotic times, strength is king. Girls have slowly started to change their aesthetic preferences and begin to like those powerful extraordinary people. And for some female extraordinary people, their criteria for choosing a partner naturally includes a male extraordinary person who is stronger than themselves. This little fairy has the idea of having a child. However, the battlefield on Sherhao's side is too fierce. Waves of golden light shine in the world, and fierce collisions send countless boulders flying. This battlefield is not something ordinary people can cross. So the little fairy honestly deals with some weaker monsters. Here, many superhumans have noticed Sherhao's presence and marveled at his strength. However, no one dares to join the battle. It is because the golden crocodile king is too powerful and not something ordinary people can handle. As for Sherhao, he remains determined constantly changing positions, and maneuvering with the Golden Crocodile King. This monster is even stronger than any other monster Sherhao has encountered before, and not easy to deal with. 
However, Shurhao is not afraid of it at all. It's because Shurhao, who has merged the powers of Pangu, Thanos, and the universe, is truly powerful. During his transformation, Shurhao quickly found an opportunity. Kill. Shurhao shouted, the power rolls on his body exploded, and the divine axe that opened up the heavens and the earth in his hand shone brightly, directly slashing down. Shurhao aimed at a very tricky spot, the huge tail of the golden crocodile king. The tail of this crocodile looks extremely thick, like an extremely sturdy whip. When it sweeps, buildings collapse and superhumans and survivors suffer. This is the first flaw revealed by the golden crocodile king, which Shurhao seized. The huge divine axe shone with golden light. Buzz. The extremely sharp and domineering axe energy shook out. Accompanied by the divine light, a golden blood instantly sprayed out. The thick tail of the golden crocodile king was separated from its body. Roar. 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 The golden crocodile king felt that its tail had lost contact with its body and felt an extremely intense pain, immediately emitting a roar of anger. It was furious to the extreme. The golden crocodile king never expected that its tail would be cut off by this guy. This is simply outrageous. This is simply too shameful. As a strong creature, the golden crocodile king wants revenge. Its eyes, the size of water barrels, instantly turned crimson, filled with killing intent. If looks could kill, the golden crocodile king would have torn sure how to pieces. Unfortunately, looks cannot kill, so it can only stare in disbelief. Wow. Good stuff. This tail of the golden crocodile king is a delicacy. Sure how's eyes sparkled. The tail is the most precious part of the golden crocodile king. Crocodiles use their tails for movement in water and on land. This tail is like the oar on a boat, constantly in motion. The meat of the tail is all essence, and the protein it contains is more than 5,000 times that of ordinary beef. Licking his lips, Shurhao felt hungry, and his stomach couldn't help but make a rumbling sound. Dinner is settled. Shurhao's figure flew into the air, feeling excited. He couldn't wait to barbecue this tail of the golden crocodile king, sprinkle it with cumin powder, take a bite, and let the deliciousness explode in his mouth, so satisfying. As for the surroundings, many superhumans noticed Shurhao's attack and couldn't help but show a shocked expression. Wow! So strong. Even if I lick 10,000 lollipops, I can't obtain the same power as him. He truly deserves to be the combination of the eastern and western creation gods. I'm so envious I could burst. Piggy Hero looked at Shurhao with great envy for his abilities. If he could start over, Piggy Hero would definitely change his screen name and not foolishly call himself Piggy Hero but instead change it to the combination of Thanos and Pangu. Unfortunately, he couldn't start over, couldn't change his online nickname. But Shurhao was lucky. In his previous life, his online nickname was Wine Sword Immortal. This ability was quite good against weaker monsters. But when facing terrifying monsters like the Golden Crocodile King, he could only be killed. So, when Shurhao had the chance to be reborn, he immediately changed his online nickname to Panga, the Universe Annihilator, and instantly became invincible. Not far away, the little fairy exerted all her strength and finally killed the canine monster in front of her. She was panting and covered in sweat. She looked at Sher Hao's feet with excitement. Husband. Wow. My husband is so handsome. So powerful, this pangu giant axe is so sturdy and sharp, it directly chopped off the tail of the golden crocodile king. Such a powerful husband, I love it. The little fairy's eyes sparkled with excitement. She even directly designated Sher Hao as her husband. Because Sher Hao was too powerful and excellent. Which woman wouldn't want to have such a powerful ability user? Even some male ability users hated their own gender because they couldn't marry the powerful Sher Hao. Of course, if Sher Hao had a problem with his sexual orientation and liked male ability users, there would probably be many male ability users who would actively pursue him. Not far away, hiss. So powerful. This panga giant axe is a hundred times more powerful than my ghost slayer knife and ghost binding sickle. Zhong Kuei took a deep breath, his face filled with astonishment. Compared to Sher Hao, he felt inferior. At the same time, Joan Kuei was overjoyed. Because the Golden Crocodile King had finally met its match, its long life was coming to an end. Since the invasion of the Golden Crocodile King, many ability users and survivors had died miserably in its mouth and under its giant tail. Now, seeing the tail of the Golden Crocodile King being chopped off, Joan Kuei felt happy and praised Sher Hao's actions. Sher Hao had the upper hand, which further boosted the morale of the whole scene. Many ability users and survivors were all excited fighting against these monsters like tigers and wolves. As for Sher Hao, his brows suddenly furrowed. Bastard. You actually want to reattach your own tail? Sher Hao frowned, and a terrifying killing intent emanated from his deep golden eyes. In Sher Hao's perspective, the golden crocodile king was connecting its broken tail to itself. The place where the wound was connected emitted a golden light. 
It seemed that with enough time, the golden crocodile king's thick tail would be restored to normal. No way, Sherhouse snorted coldly. His figure flashed and instantly appeared on the ground. His burly body left behind golden afterimages that were difficult to perceive. Sure how had only one goal, and that was the tail of the golden crocodile king. Soon, finding an opportunity, Sure how grabbed it with his big hand, his divine power erupted, and he forcefully pulled off the tail of the golden crocodile king. Then, he directly used the power of the universe storage space to store the severed tail inside. The golden crocodile king realized what had happened and its eyes widened. Roar! The golden crocodile king began to roar in rage. It didn't expect sure how to be so bold, directly taking away its severed tail right in front of it. In anger, it vigorously moved its limbs, opened its huge mouth full of sharp teeth, and launched a deadly attack towards Sher Hao. Boom! The whole ground seemed to collapse, making a heavy sound. Roar! The golden crocodile king was furious to the extreme. Its tail had been severed by Sher Hao, but it could still be reattached. After connecting, it can still be used. But now, this tale has actually been stored in the cosmic storage space by Sher Hao. This means that from now on, I don't have a tale anymore. Thinking of this, the Golden Crocodile King was extremely angry. He wanted to fight Sher Hao to the death and burn everything down. Just in time, Sher Hao said calmly. The divine axe in his hand was already prepared to meet the Golden Crocodile King. Kill! Sher Hao's figure twisted, and the golden divine light on his body burst out. Then, the divine axe in his hand fell down with a terrifying force and the golden crocodile king happened to have just killed over. Puff! Under the shining golden divine light, a burst of golden blood splashed out and fell on the ground. Nearby awakened beings like the little demon fairy and Zhong Kue all looked over. They saw that this huge golden crocodile king was directly split in half and fell to the ground with a loud crash. Not only that, a very long trench appeared on the ground, which was split open by Sher Hao's divine axe. Looking at the dead golden crocodile king, Sher Hao had no expression. It's just SOSO, Sher Hao muttered. Then, his figure flashed and he directly approached, storing the two halves of the Golden Crocodile King's body into his own cosmic storage space. At this point, this Golden Crocodile King was completely dead, which relieved a lot of pressure on the surrounding awakened beings. Wow! So powerful! This combination of Pangdu and Thanos, he killed this Golden Crocodile King in one fell swoop. Haha, -ha, with the death of the Golden Crocodile King, these little monsters will be easier to deal with. So strong, within my human race, there is actually such a powerful person, my human race has hope. Yes, my human race has a future. From now on, it's not the monsters invading us, but us invading the chaotic flow of the void and killing all those damn monsters. Yes, we must let those monsters experience the feeling of losing loved ones. Many awakened beings and survivors around them exclaimed excitedly. They didn't expect that the most troublesome golden crocodile king would be the first to be dealt with. This was extremely good news. So strong, truly a creator god. Zhang Kue, the awakened being, muttered a few times, with a hint of admiration in his eyes. He admired Sher Hao's power too much. Not far away, the awakened little demon fairy had an excited look on her face. She immediately dropped the monster in her hand and quickly activated her babala energy, arriving at Sher Hao's location. Looking at the tall and burly Sher Hao, the little demon fairy couldn't help but feel excited, her face slightly flushed. Hello, can I get to know you? The little demon fairy looked at Sher Hao, very excited. She wanted to be friends with Sher Hao. At this moment, Sher Hao's figure was extremely majestic, and his entire tall body was floating in midair. His footsteps were off the ground. Waves of golden divine light surrounded his body, and above his head, there were also floating images of Thanos and Pangu. This gave people a feeling of invincibility. Sher Hao noticed the little demon fairy who was talking to him and couldn't help but pause for a moment. Is this the little demon fairy? Awakened with Babala energy? Sure how secretly speculated. This little demon fairy looked quite tall, about one. Seven meters tall, holding a magic fairy wand in her hand, wearing a pink long dress, and tying her hair into twin ponytails. Her face was delicate. Honestly, the appearance and figure of this little demon fairy were quite good, she could be considered beautiful. However, in Sure how's eyes, this ability of the little demon fairy was really weak, even weaker than Ultraman. Not far away, the awakened piggy hero saw the awakened little demon fairy and ran up to Sher Hao, feeling a little jealous. Hey, I'm also very powerful, you know. Why doesn't this little fairy want to look at me more or make friends with me proactively? Piggy hero awakener felt frustrated. He thought the little fairy awakener was very beautiful and he wanted to win her over. Besides, he could become stronger just by licking lollipops. This meant that he was very powerful in certain aspects. If the little fairy awakener would follow him, 
he could definitely make her happy every day and protect her safety. However, the little fairy awakener seemed to prefer Sher Hao, the creator god, and he was not a match for the creator god. So, piggy hero awakener could only watch from afar and not dare to approach. Did this little fairy awakener fall for the creator god? Interesting, using her own body to establish a relationship with a strong person is indeed a good choice. Zhong Kuei awakener thought to himself, feeling that the little fairy awakener was quite clever. However, he felt that Sher Hao, being so powerful, should not be interested in the little fairy awakener. My name is Zhong Xian, nice to meet you. The little fairy awakener's beautiful eyes were filled with admiration. Obviously, she had been impressed by Sher Hao's strength and wanted to be with him, and Sher Hao could see the fervor in her eyes. They were both adults, and Sher Hao naturally understood her intentions. However, Sher Hao had no interest in women and would not be randomly attracted to any female. Sher Hao. Sher Hao calmly revealed his name. Sher Hao, what a nice name. I like it. Zhong Xian smiled slightly and spoke. Her smile was very beautiful. Can I fight alongside you? Can I hunt these demons with you? Can you protect me? Zhong Xian asked, her eyes filled with longing. She hoped that her relationship with Sher Hao could start with hunting demons together. This way, they would have something in common and could develop their feelings while cooperating in hunting demons. No. You're too weak. You'll be a burden to me. Sher Hao shook his head, decisively rejecting her. And he spoke the truth, not caring at all about hurting the heart of this little fairy, Zhong Xian. Ah, but I'm a little fairy. I'm not weak. I just killed many demons. Zhong Xian quickly spoke up, clarifying her strength. Zhong Xian, the little fairy awakener, did not expect that the creator god would say she was too weak. She was not weak at all. And why did he say she would be a burden? Zhong Xian felt a little sad. So, she couldn't help but straighten her proud chest, showing Li Chinka how capable she was. Sure Hao noticed. Not bad. Sure Hao thought to himself, not expecting Zhong Xian to be so proactive. But it was normal. It was the global apocalypse era, with constant invasions of demons from the void turbulence. The world was in chaos. To survive in the apocalypse, the weak could only rely on the strong. So, many women couldn't help but be attracted to the strong. Right now, the thing Sher Hao lacked the least was women. He just wanted to improve his combat power. As for matters concerning women, he temporarily put them aside. Hmm. You're impressive. That's it. I still have to go hunt demons. Good luck. Sher Hao replied calmly. Then, holding the heavenly axe, he joined the battle around him helping other awakened individuals to kill these demons. The most powerful golden crocodile king was already dead. So, the remaining demons were much easier to deal with. While killing demons, Sher Hao casually stored their corpses in his cosmic storage space. There are some superhumans who noticed Sher Hao's actions, but they couldn't say anything. After all, there were too many and too big corpses of these monsters. It was extremely difficult for other superhumans to take them away. So, everyone could only watch. And the little fairy awakening, Zhong Xian, seemed to be like a piece of adhesive plaster, often appearing near Sher Hao and killing some monsters. In her eyes, Sher Hao was very powerful and not an ordinary person. As long as she performed well, she would definitely get Sher Hao's attention. Sher Hao didn't mind and let her stay by his side. Time passed slowly. Soon, Sher Hao completely cleared the nearby monsters and stored them all in his cosmic storage space. Apart from the ruins, there were no signs of any monsters, not even their bodies. However, this was just a small area that was temporarily safe. In the distance, the sound of a fierce battle continued to come. Sher Hao could see far, and immediately saw a huge demon ape in the distance, holding a giant stone stick, causing massive destruction in the city. Suddenly, a burst of flames covered the body of the giant demon ape, but it couldn't cause any harm to it. The void in the sky was not always filled with monsters, but intermittent. So, after dealing with the monsters here, Sher Hao immediately flashed and chased after the demon ape in the distance. Seeing this, the little fairy awakening, Zhong Xian, immediately chased after Sher Hao's figure. Wait for me, I also want to hunt and kill monsters. The little fairy awakening, Zhong Xian, shouted behind Sher Hao. Then, she activated her magical energy and began to catch up with Sher Hao's pace. The surrounding superhumans and survivors looked at this scene, looking at each other in disbelief. This creator is really powerful. Just after killing a group of monsters, he actually went to chase and kill another group of monsters. Strong. So terrifying. Zhang Kuei, the awakened one, murmured, his eyes filled with shock. He was already tired and just wanted to find a place to rest. But sure how, he wasn't tired at all and still wanted to fight. Indeed, some people are just extraordinary. The awakened pig hero sought his beloved little fairy awakening, Zhong Xian, 
actually following the footsteps of Sher Hao, the creator. In his eyes, there was a hint of sadness. Ah, my little fairy. She's gone. Sad. The awakened pig hero looked pained. He felt like he had lost love and was very sad. Wherever you go, I'll go. I'm coming. The awakened pig hero licked a lollipop and chased after them. As for Sher Hao, he quickly arrived at the location of the demon ape. This was the center of Beihai City, and the surrounding high-rise buildings had all been destroyed, reduced to rubble. Many survivors were buried under the ruins. Around them, many superhumans were constantly fleeing. This battlefield was very severe, even more severe than the previous battlefields. This demon ape is not easy to deal with. But if we can kill it, there will definitely be many benefits. Sure how thought to himself, his eyes flashing with determination. He had set his sights on this demon ape, intending to kill it. For the demon core inside its body, and to save these humans. And at this moment, the little fairy awakening, Zhong Xian, had already arrived. But there was a hint of fear in Zhong Xian's eyes. She didn't expect that Sher Hao would provoke this terrifying existence. It was simply seeking death. Zhong Xian felt that Sher Hao might not die, but if she got too close, she would definitely die. Sher Hao, how about we leave? Zhong Xian asked, feeling a bit timid. When Sher Hao saw her arrival, he was somewhat surprised and thought to himself, this woman is lovestruck. She actually ran over to such a dangerous place, really. However, seeing her approach, Sher Hao's heart warmed. Sher Hao had already made up his mind. If he managed to kill the demon ape later and he was in a good mood tonight, he would give this little fairy a chance to awaken. Buzz. At this moment, a huge bee flew towards Zhong Xian. The giant stinger of the bee had already aimed at Zhong Xian, intending to sting her fiercely. If she were stung by such a large bee, her life would definitely be in danger. Zhong Xian took a sharp breath, frightened. She took a few steps back. The bee's attack was too sudden. Zhong Xian was not prepared to fight at all. She hadn't even had a chance to activate her energy. Now, Zhong Xian could only hope that Sher Hao, the creator god, would help her. However, she had been sticking close to Sher Hao, and he had not responded to her. Would Sher Hao help her? Zhong Xian didn't know. All she knew now was that she was extremely scared. Humph. Sher Hao snorted coldly and swung his heavenly axe in his hand fiercely. A burst of divine light surged. The space became somewhat distorted. This heavenly axe struck down directly. Immediately, the attacking demon bee was cut in half at the waist, spraying out a burst of thick yellow liquid, and then fell to the ground. Seeing the bee die, Zhong Xian breathed a sigh of relief. She looked at Sher Hao with a deep affection in her eyes. Ah, Sher Hao, do you have feelings for me? Otherwise, why would you care if I'm in danger? He he he. Great, you saved my life. I will give myself to you. The little fairy awakened, Zhong Xian, expressed her love to Sher Hao with a strong declaration. And in her confession, there was also a hint of aggression. This made the corners of Sher Hao's mouth twitch slightly. Give myself to you? Do you think your small body can withstand my attacks? Sher Hao looked at Zhong Xian with interest. Sher Hao had now fused with Thanos, the creator god Pango, and the power of the universe. The current Sher Hao was very strong, with muscular and well-built body, without any blind spots. Sher Hao felt that if he went to visit the most famous brothel in Beihai City, the brothel owner would probably be shocked at the sight of his muscular body and demand double the price. Moreover, if Sher Hao had a wife in the future, she would probably fear the marriage bed and feel like going to battle every time they had sex. The fear of the bed would be no less than that of a prisoner being led to the execution platform. This was the power of the creator god Pangu and Thanos, extremely powerful. Zhong Shen glanced at Sher Hao and swallowed her saliva. She said, you won't know unless you try. As long as you protect me, it's fine. Zhong Xian had already seen that Sher Hao had great potential. He would definitely become a powerful superhuman who would be incredibly famous in the world. At that time, many superhumans would submit to Sher Hao's mighty axe. Moreover, Sher Hao's superpower was Thanos and the creator god Pangu. In the future, Sher Hao would definitely have many followers by his side. If she could become the woman by the side of such a godlike man, then she wouldn't have to worry about her future. And this was an unparalleled honor. All right, then take care of yourself. If I'm in a good mood, tonight, I will reward you. Sure Hao said calmly. He had no woman in his heart, but that didn't mean there couldn't be a woman by his side. And sometimes, the loyalty of a woman in bed was definitely higher than that of so-called brothers or subordinates. Ah, yeah, that's great. He he he. The awakening of the little fairy, Zhong Xian, directly emitted a silver bell-like laughter. She glanced lightly at the awakened little fairy, Zhong Xian. Sher Hao's figure flashed and arrived beside the demon bee that he had just cut in half, extending his large hand and storing its corpse in his own spatial storage space. 
Seeing this method, Zhong Xian was very surprised. Is this spatial storage ability? Sure how stored the corpses of these demons in the storage space? These demon corpses will definitely be useful in the future. But what are they useful for? Can eating them make one stronger and healthier? Zhong Shen, the awakened little fairy, was very amazed by Sher Hao's spatial storage ability. This storage space ability is a very practical auxiliary ability. It can store many resources, so there is no need to worry about starving to death anymore. Moreover, Zhong Shen suspected that these demon corpses would be useful. If she followed Sher Hao, she might get a share of the benefits, which would be great. Just thinking about it, Zhong Xian was very excited. As for Sher Hao, he held the sharp heavenly axe in his hand and directly attacked the position of the world-destroying demon ape. During the process, there were always some fearless demons who came forward to try to stop Sher Hao or thought that Sher Hao was easy to bully and wanted to kill him. Right now, five huge demon tigers directly rushed towards Sher Hao's position. These five demon tigers surrounded Sher Hao from all directions and locked onto him. If it were any other superpower, they would probably resort to sacrificing their own lives or even sacrificing two lives for one. However, Sher Hao's face was fearless. The essence of tiger meat lies in the kidneys. Tsk tsk. Five demon tigers. Fortune will come in the future. Sher Hao calmly glanced at the five demon tigers, already considering them as fresh food. As long as he killed them and immediately stored them in his spatial storage space, even if he took them out again after a year, the flesh and blood would still be as fresh as if they were just killed. Come. Sher Hao held the heavenly axe in his hand, and a terrifying power of the laws erupted from his body. At the same time, a huge shield of the annihilating light of Thanos formed around Sher Hao, protecting him. Any demon that wanted to harm Sher Hao had to break through this layer of shield of the annihilating light of Thanos. And even if they managed to harm Sher Hao, because he had fused with two creator gods, his body possessed extremely strong healing abilities. Therefore, Sher Hao was not afraid at all. Creator gods are immortal. Especially Thanos, who created the world and the universe in seven days and did not die. So, Sher Hao would not die either. If someone wanted to kill Sher Hao, there was only one way. That was to kill every single cell in Sher Hao's body. And it had to be done in an instant. Otherwise, Sher Hao would quickly recover from his injuries due to his astonishing healing ability. This is the terrifying aspect of Thanos and the creator god Pangu. Although Sher Hao couldn't be killed, if he didn't quickly increase his own combat power, he would be controlled by those powerful demons in the future, suppressed, and imprisoned by absolute strength. In that case, even if Sher Hao was alive, there would be no difference from being dead. Afterwards, Sher Hao took a step forward and rushed out. The five huge demon tigers also actively attacked Sher Hao. The huge divine axe in his hand spun around. The terrifying aura of the axe surged out like waves in the sea. Splatter, 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 splatter. Blood splattered in all directions. In front of the huge divine axe, the bodies of the five demon tigers were as thin as paper and were directly cut open. These five fierce demon tigers instantly disintegrated and turned into a pile of soft flesh, falling directly to the ground. The five-headed demon tiger has lost all vitality. Their long lives have come to an end. Is that all? Sher Hao shook his head showing a disdainful expression. With a flash, Sher Hao directly collected the bodies of the five-headed demon tiger into his own spatial storage, not leaving a trace. Wow! So cool! Sher Hao is really handsome. If I were facing these five-headed demon tigers, I would only be able to run away. But Sher Hao is too powerful, he directly dealt with the five-headed demon tigers. Tsk tsk, amazing! The awakened little demon fairy, Zhong Xian, looked at Sher Hao with admiration in her eyes. Every time Sher Hao acted, he refreshed her understanding. Originally, Zhong Xian thought Sher Hao was already so powerful. But Sher Hao's subsequent performance made Zhong Xian realize that she had underestimated this man, he was incredibly strong. Zhong Xian truly loved the outstanding Sher Hao. She was practically a little fangirl by Sher Hao's side. As for Sher Hao, after tidying up the five-headed demon tiger, he immediately headed towards the location of the world-destroying demon ape. Around him, some ability users had already noticed Sher Hao's movements and couldn't help but be surprised. One awakened person who transformed into Luffy was using the power of the rubber fruit to retreat not far away. But in the midst of retreating, the awakened Luffy noticed Sher Hao's act of killing the five-headed demon tiger. Wow! This ability user is so awesome. He actually awakened the power of Thanos and Pangu. With a divine axe that opens the heavens, he directly killed the five-headed demon tiger. If I were to confront each of the demon tigers, I would probably struggle and even get injured. But this ability user easily killed them. Strong, too strong. The awakened Luffy's face was full of surprise. He never expected Sher Hao's strength to be so terrifying. 
This made the awakened Luffy continuously gasp in shock. Wait, he's heading towards that world-destroying demon ape. Wow, this awakened person actually wants to kill that world-destroying demon ape. The awakened Luffy was dumbfounded. He never expected sure how to go and fight the world-destroying demon ape. It must be known that the strength of this world-destroying demon ape was extremely powerful. Earlier, the city lord of Beihai City, Yitian Bei, awakened as the vermilion bird of fire and wanted to fight the world-destroying demon ape, but still couldn't defeat it. City lord Yitian Bei had already ordered everyone to evacuate the central area and go to other places to hunt monsters and protect themselves. Yet sure how was actually facing it head-on. This was simply unimaginable. Not far away, there was an awakened Zoro. He held a sharp long knife in both hands and in his mouth, using the three-sword style to fight a demon tiger. Zoro's eyesight surpassed the ordinary, and he saw Shurhau's feet just now, showing a surprised expression. With a divine axe that opens the heavens, he directly killed the five-headed demon tiger. I'm no match for him. The awakened Zoro felt inferior. Even though he used the powerful three-sword style, he still found it difficult to kill the demon tiger in front of him. It was a struggle, with a 50-50 chance. But sure how easily killed the five-headed demon tiger. There was no comparison, no harm. At the same time, this made the awakened Zoro excited. Great! Among our human race, such a powerful awakened person has appeared. This is fantastic. Our human race won't be annihilated. The awakened Zoro saw hope and his eyes were filled with a stronger fighting spirit. Earlier, City Lord Yi Tian Bei of Beihai City was defeated by the world-destroying demon ape and had already ordered everyone to retreat. The hearts of all the awakened people had suffered a great blow. And now, sure how stood up. This gave the awakened Zoro a renewed sense of hope. The creator god was even more powerful than the so-called vermilion bird. And not far away. A vermilion bird is flying in the sky, dealing with some demonic eagles and crows in the sky. Countless vermilion flames are falling, and one by one, the demonic eagles and crows are falling from the sky, their bodies burned through by the vermilion flames, their deaths extremely tragic. This vermilion bird is none other than Yi Tian Bei, the lord of Beihai City. Among his many online aliases, there is one called Vermilion Bird. He is the lord of Beihai City, and Yi Tian Bei has a secret code name, which is Vermilion Bird. Yi Tian Bei is a lucky one who awakened an ability related to the Vermilion Bird. At first, Yi Tian Bei was able to deal with many demons. But as more and more demons appeared, Yi Tian Bei began to feel overwhelmed. Especially after the invasion of the world-destroying demon ape. Yi Tian Bei immediately went to challenge it. The result was defeat. Yi Tian Bei was almost killed by this world-destroying demon ape. This monster was not something ordinary ability users could deal with. Therefore, Yi Tian Bei immediately ordered everyone to evacuate and encouraged them to kill some weaker demons. As for those powerful demons, they were too formidable to fight against, so it was not worth risking their lives here. In the sky, Yi Tian Bei, who was in battle, suddenly had his attention drawn to Sher House figure. This person. He actually awakened the power of the creation god Pangu and the annihilator Thanos. He easily killed five demon tigers just now. What an amazing awakened one. Yi Tian Bei paid attention to Shurhao's figure, his face full of surprise. He didn't expect such a powerful awakened ability user to appear in Beihai City. Just by looking at Shurhao, Yi Tian Bei knew that his vermilion bird was far inferior in front of this creation god. Is he going to challenge that world-destroying demon ape? There's a chance. If he can kill that world-destroying demon ape, then, under the leadership of this creation god, all of us ability users will start to counterattack these powerful demons. Yi Tian Bei muttered to himself. The vermilion bird's eyes, burning with fierce flames, were filled with hope. He was already feeling tired. But now, that fatigue was swept away. Yi Tian Bei believed that there was hope for Beihai City. As long as Sure How could kill the world-destroying demon ape, Beihai City would not be breached by the demons, and the human race could survive. Come on, creation god, go for it. Yi Tian Bei silently cheered Sure How in his heart, hoping that he would win. Lord Yi Tian Bei placed his hope on Sure How. If Sure How could kill the world-destroying demon ape, then all the ability users in Beihai City would launch a counterattack. At that time, they could turn the tide and win. At the same time, Lord Yi Tian Bei was already prepared. Once Sure How won, he would immediately call on all the ability users to follow in Sure How's footsteps and together wipe out all these demons. Moreover, Yi Tian Bei had already noticed the pattern of these demon invasions. These invading demons seem to be the first wave of demons. There are no more demon invasions in the chaotic void. However, the chaotic void in the sky still exists. I'm afraid that after a while, powerful demons will descend from the chaotic void. 
Before that, everyone needs to completely eliminate this first wave of demons and unite the power of all ability users. Only then will everyone have the ability to resist the next wave of demon invasions. Otherwise, Beihai City will be destroyed. Yi Tianbei thought to himself. He was indeed the lord of the city, already silently planning in his mind. However, having a plan also required strength. Otherwise, everything would just be empty talk and ultimately turn into nothing. Nearby, there was a Godzilla monster, currently madly attacking the tiger-like demons in front of it. Although this Godzilla monster awakened, it has already suffered many injuries, with its thighs and belly torn open with many wounds, oozing thick black blood. However, he still hasn't given up, still has no intention of escaping. You bastards, you actually ate my parents. I'm going to eat all of you. I will avenge my parents. The awakened Godzilla monster roared, launching a fierce attack against the tiger-like monsters in front of him. When the monsters invaded, he and his parents sought refuge outside together. But in the end, his parents were targeted by the demon tigers and eaten directly. This awakened individual was also in danger. At the critical moment, he awakened the Godzilla power related to his online alias and immediately transformed into the monster Godzilla, starting the battle. At this moment, the awakened Godzilla monster is crazily slaughtering these monsters, disregarding his own safety. His parents were killed by the monsters right in front of him, causing him immense grief. If it weren't for his own lack of strength, this awakened Godzilla monster would definitely step forward and kill the world-destroying demon ape. And at this moment, the awakened Godzilla monster suddenly noticed a majestic figure heading towards the location of the world-destroying demon ape. Hiss. This. Is this the creator god? And there are two. Pangu and Thanos? This is insane. The awakened Godzilla monster couldn't help but take a cold breath, looking astonished. He originally thought his own abilities were already extraordinary, being able to transform into the monstrous Godzilla. But compared to Sher Hao, he felt incredibly small. In terms of strength, Pangu and Thanos could easily annihilate him with a flick of their fingers. Good. Both Pangu and Thanos have come out. Damn it, your time to die, you monsters. All of you, die. The awakened Godzilla monster couldn't help but feel excited, starting to bravely kill the enemies. Sure how brought him hope and ignited his fighting spirit. Not far away, there was also an awakened Megalodon. This Megalodon could not only fight in the ocean but also on land. Of course, if it could fight in the ocean, its combat power would soar, after all, the ocean was its home field. At this moment, the Megalodon was biting several crocodile-like monster to death, enjoying its meal. Its fierce appearance made many monsters wary and afraid to approach. And this megalodon suddenly noticed the majestic figure of Sher Hao. Seeing Sher Hao enveloped in divine light, holding an incredibly huge divine axe, the megalodon's shark-like eyes, the size of water barrels, involuntarily contracted. Ah! Someone has awakened the power of the creator god, controlling the dual power of Pangu and Thanos. Too strong, this person. The awakened megalodon looked at Sher Hao, showing a shocked expression. Since awakening his abilities, he hadn't paid much attention to many people. Previously, the awakened Megalodon feared the awakened Godzilla, the awakened Vermilion Bird, the awakened Hulk, the awakened Venom, and the awakened Spider-Man. But now, the awakened Megalodon directly ranked Sher Hao first, considering him the most terrifying existence. Although the awakened Megalodon was currently slaughtering monsters, deep down, he was thinking about gaining a strong position among the human race. He used to be afraid of being poor, just a loser. But in the future, he could transform into the powerful Megalodon. If someone didn't respect him, he would eat them. If his confession was rejected, he would eat her. These were the desires in the heart of the awakened Megalodon. Can't offend this person. If possible, I must befriend him. If I can climb this powerful person's leg. What kind of woman wouldn't I have in the future? The Megalodon Awakener had a secret plan in mind and quietly set his sights on Sher Hao, wanting to cling to his thigh. Of course, if Sher Hao didn't think highly of him, then the Megalodon Awakener hoped that Sher Hao would hurry up and die. Such a powerful existence, if it couldn't bring benefits to oneself, then it would be better off dead, right? That's how the world is, not everyone is selfless. Some awakened individuals, although they appear to be fighting against monsters on the surface, secretly their selfishness has overflowed, and they have begun to plan for their own future, wanting to change their own destiny and gain more benefits. Not far away, Spider-Man Awakener, Venom Awakener, and Hulk Awakener are cooperating with each other, fighting together. These three awakened individuals are characters from Western Marvel, each with their own strengths, complementing each other and becoming very powerful. The three of them besieged a huge python and quickly killed it. After killing the python, Hulk approached and began tearing apart its body. 
Venom Awakener approached as well, his body growing snake-like tentacles, searching inside the python's body. Soon, he found a hard object and his face showed joy. Aha! I found you! Magic core! Venom Awakener's face showed joy. The tentacles dragged it out, completely pulling the magic core out of the python's body. In the place where the tentacles curled, there was a fist-sized object, completely black and crystal clear. Moreover, there was a faint black magic aura on it, spreading out. The entire magic core gave off an evil feeling, but it contained an incredibly explosive power. It seemed that as long as the energy within it was absorbed, one could become incredibly powerful. Another magic core in hand. This magic core looks pretty good. Slurp. Venom Awakener couldn't help but open his mouth full of sharp teeth, his long crimson tongue, like a giant snake, licked the magic core fiercely, looking excited. Seeing the thick saliva of venom on the magic core, there was a slippery and disgusting feeling. Hulk immediately became angry. Venom, what are you doing? Do you believe I can smash your head? This magic core, according to the distribution, is mine. Hulk looked extremely angry, raised his fist the size of a sandbag, and was about to hammer Venom's body. Can you kill me? Venom Awakener licked his lips and had a defiant look on his face. Enough. Stop it. According to the distribution, this magic core does indeed belong to Hulk. Spider-Man Awakener stepped forward to mediate. As he spoke, he had a burst of tough spider silk in his hands, which he then retracted, seemingly playing around, but also familiarizing himself with the power within his body. Hurry up! Give it back to me! Hulk's voice was almost a roar. Here you go! Venom Awakener sneered and threw the slippery magic core covered in saliva to Hulk. Humph! Hulk snorted coldly, took the magic core, and began wiping it. You bastard! You've gone too far! You son of a bitch! Hulk cursed, then swallowed the magic core into his body. Ha ha! Venom Awakener laughed and didn't say much. The three of them awakened abilities related to Western Marvel heroes and came together while hunting monsters. During the hunt, they discovered that some monsters had magic cores that could be extracted from their bodies after death. And as long as these magic cores were consumed, one's combat power could be greatly enhanced. Therefore, these three awakened individuals began teaming up to hunt monsters. Just now, they almost fought because of uneven distribution. After all, we just formed a team, and everyone has their own agenda. The relationships between us are all superficial, which is very normal. At this moment, a resounding sound came. Boom! The whole world trembled, as if there was an earthquake. The three awakened individuals couldn't help but look over. When they saw it, they were almost shocked to the point of dropping their jaws. In the picture, there was a man with an extremely majestic figure, emitting a terrifying divine light. He held a towering divine axe in his hand, exuding an extremely formidable aura. Not only that, but above this majestic man's head, there were also two terrifying deities floating. On the left was the primordial god Pangu, with muscles bulging as if he could support the heavens and the earth. On the right was Thanos, shimmering with golden light, exuding an inviolable majesty, making people want to kneel in worship. The commotion just now was caused by the intense clash between Sher Hao and the world-annihilating demon ape. The divine axe in Sher Hao's hand collided directly with the world-annihilating demon ape's towering stone pillar. Immediately, the towering stone pillar shattered into pieces and fell to the ground. The world-annihilating demon ape became furious, pounding its chest violently and roaring towards the sky. Terrifying waves of energy emanated from its body, stirring up countless dust. The whole world became hazy. However, amidst this haze, one could see the shimmering divine light where Sher Hao was, like a brilliant star in the darkness, extremely shocking. Ah! Someone actually dares to challenge that world-annihilating demon ape. Hiss! This is too terrifying. Spider-Man, one of the awakened individuals, couldn't help but gasp in shock, his face full of astonishment. He didn't expect that someone would actually go and fight the world-annihilating demon ape. You should know that the world-annihilating demon ape is extremely powerful. Countless superhumans have died at its hands. Even the Lord of Beihai City, Etian Bay, announced the evacuation of everyone after a battle with the world-annihilating demon ape, warning them not to provoke it. Moreover, Sher Hao actually gained the upper hand and shattered the world-annihilating demon ape's weapon, the towering stone pillar, provoking the furious demon ape. Sher Hao's actions were simply terrifying. These are Pango and Thanos. They have awakened these terrifying powers. No wonder he dares to challenge the world-annihilating demon ape. I'm afraid this demon ape is no match for him. Beside them, the Hulk's mouth widened, as if it could fit two and a half eggs, extremely astonished. He originally thought that he was already very powerful after awakening the powers of a Marvel hero. But he didn't expect that Sher Hao's awakened power was truly formidable. Compared to Sher Hao, he was like a firefly compared to the bright moon. 
It's really Thanos and Pangu. Damn. Someone actually uses these existences as their online usernames. It's truly unbelievable. Venom, another awakened individual, was shocked and couldn't help but curse. He really didn't expect that in this world, there were actually people who used Thanos and Pangu as their online usernames. Even if it was just one of them, it was already incredible. And sure how, he actually possessed both of these primordial gods and awakened his own powers. From now on, he would be invincible. His venom, in front of Thanos and Pango, was simply nothing. Suddenly, Venom's expression became less arrogant. If this world-annihilating demon ape dies, it will definitely drop a very powerful demon core. We must find an opportunity to snatch that demon core. The Hulk, another awakened individual, suddenly became greedy. In his fist-sized eyes, a burst of fiery light emerged. The demon core could enhance the combat power of superhumans. This was something that everyone dreamed of. All right. I was thinking the same thing. Right now, not everyone knows the function of the demon core. We have hope. The Venom Awakener spoke, licking his lips involuntarily. The Venom Awakener set his sights on the demonic core of this world-destroying demon ape. In his opinion, not everyone knew about the existence of the demonic core. Perhaps sure how didn't even know that such a thing existed in this world. If that were the case, the Venom Awakener could secretly take away the demonic core. This end-of-the-world demon ape looked extremely powerful, and its body must contain a powerful demonic core. If he consumed this demonic core, wouldn't his strength skyrocket? Moreover, the Venom Awakener thought to himself, if he continuously improved his strength by consuming the demonic core, he would have more fused demonic cores than the Creator God. In that case, would his future strength surpass that of the Creator God? Thinking like this, the Venom Awakener couldn't help but get excited. Find the right opportunity. If the creator god finishes off the world-destroying demon ape, we'll turn around and leave. Then we'll immediately go and dig out the demonic core. The Hulk clenched his fists and said eagerly. He couldn't wait any longer. Good. We must take the demonic core away before the creator god realizes it. Spider-Man Awakener's eyes gleamed with determination. Although there was only one demonic core, it wasn't easy to divide it equally. But once they got their hands on this good thing, they could consider how to share it later. Not far away. Sure how. Keep it up. Kill this big gorilla. Little fairy awakener Zhong Xin cheered for sure how. At the same time, she noticed that some demons were eyeing her. So Zhong Xin quickly used her little fairy energy to change her position. She didn't want to die or get hurt. If she died, her date with sure how tonight would be ruined. And if she got hurt, she would become a burden to this outstanding man, and their date plan would also be ruined. So she had to make sure she was in good condition. In space, Yi Tian Bei burned a demonic crow to death. At the same time, he paid attention to everything happening on the battlefield. Good. Strong. They truly deserve to be the combination of two creator gods. This opening heaven divine axe is indeed powerful. City Lord Yi Tian Bei was extremely excited. He saw the hope for the future of the human race. This was the first time Yi Tian Bei had seen an awakener of the human race who could shake this world-destroying demon ape. With this, the North Sea city would be saved. As the city lord, he naturally didn't want any problems to occur in the city he belonged to. As for sure how, his figure kept changing, leaving behind golden afterimages in place. This world-destroying demon ape was raging with impotence, continuously destroying the earth and demolishing everything in the city. Although many tall buildings had already been destroyed once, under the wrath of this world-destroying demon ape, these ruined buildings endured its anger for the second, third, fourth time. Under its terrifying attacks, even the unyielding steel and concrete would turn to dust. This showed the horror of its attacking power. Buzz. Sure how found a suitable opportunity, and the power of the laws erupted from his body. The opening heaven divine axe in his hand swung fiercely. Splurt. Blood splattered out like a river. Boom. The right leg of this world-destroying demon ape was cleanly severed by Sure how. Unable to withstand the pressure on its body, the demon ape fell to the ground and began to rage impotently. The battle fluctuations it caused were immense, and many survivors perished because of it. Die. Sure how's face was expressionless. With the power of the creator god, he was invincible now. The opening heaven divine axe in his hand fell once again. Buzz. Divine radiance flickered. Sure how's opening heaven divine axe struck heavily on the massive head of the world-destroying demon ape. Bang. The world-destroying demon monkey's head, as big as a small mountain, exploded directly, with blood and brain matter mixed together looking extremely bloody and terrifying. Meanwhile, Shurhao's body was covered in flickering golden light, his mortal body resisting the gods, displaying an invincible posture. In the sky, the lord of the city, Yi Tianbei, who had transformed into the lord of the vermilion bird, 
noticed the changes on the battlefield and couldn't help but gasp. Hiss. Is it dead? Is this world-destroying demon monkey really gone just like that? Wow, the fighting power of this creator god is too terrifying. Yi Tianbei looked incredulous. He really didn't expect Sher Hao's fighting power to be so terrifying. Looking at the two gods on Sher Hao's body, Yi Tianbei couldn't help but think of something, his expression changing drastically. Legend has it that Pangu created the world, separated Yin and Yang, and transformed into all things. His primordial spirit split into three, becoming the three pure ones. His eyes turned into the sun and moon, giving birth to Dong Wang Tai and the demon emperor Di Jun. His flesh and blood turned into the twelve ancestral witches. His hair and skin turned into the earth and rivers. All things in the world were created by Pangu's body. The person who awakens the power of the creator god Pangu is probably invincible in the world. Moreover, the Bible also records that Thanos is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, and has everything. Thanos created the world in seven days and eventually ascended to heaven. The one who can control the power of Thanos and Pangu, has such terrifying fighting power, is nothing out of the ordinary. Whether the human race can survive the invasion of demons depends on him. Yi Tianbei thought to himself. He suddenly saw Sher Hao's future, which was simply bright, with unlimited potential. In the future, Sher Hao could even reach the highest peak and become a revered powerhouse. He and Sher Hao were people from two different worlds. This child is so terrifying. I must befriend him. At this stage, although this creator god is powerful, he is probably still subject to many restrictions and unable to awaken his full strength. Otherwise, with the power of Pangu and Thanos, they could wipe out all the demons with a single thought. When he grows to a realm that I cannot reach, I must befriend him. This is the only chance in my life to encounter an awakened creator god. Yi Tianbei thought to himself, feeling excited. After a moment of analysis, Lord Yi Tianbei, with a venomous gaze, saw Sher Hao's bright future. Moreover, he planned to befriend Sher Hao now and invest in this awakened creator god in advance. In this way, when the future awakened creator god fully awakens his power, he will become terrifyingly strong. Even if he just gives himself some small favors, it would probably be immensely beneficial to him. It's like the world's richest person treating $1 million as a small favor and giving it to a good friend who has suffered together in the past. After making up his mind, Lord Yi Tianbei ignored the demons in front of him. He turned around and drew a fiery arc in the air, rushing towards Sher Hao's location. In the distance, the awakened little demon fairy, Zhong Xian, had already found a safe place. She saw Sher Hao kill the world-destroying demon monkey. Zhong Xian's face was filled with deep admiration. Wow! So powerful! He truly deserves to be my husband, amazing! So cool, I really like him! I'm so infatuated! Zhong Xian, the awakened little demon fairy, was becoming more and more fond of Sher Hao, this powerful warrior. She liked outstanding men. The stronger Sher Hao became, the more excited Zhong Xian felt. Zhong Xian's thoughts were the same as Lord Yi Tianbei's. She believed that Sher Hao was still in the growth stage and had not yet reached a height that she couldn't reach. So, if she could become his woman while he was still growing, she would definitely be able to enjoy a life of luxury and be protected by him for the rest of her life. It's like there's a saying that expresses the same idea. The saying goes like this, do you want to become a general's wife? If you do, then you have to marry him and support him when he's still a soldier. It's the same principle. Sure how, I'm here. Abracadabra, energy, speed. The little fairy awakening, Zhong Xian, chanted a spell and rushed towards Sher Hao's location. In the distance, a gust of wind blew and transformed into Su Muru, who had arrived at the edge of the battlefield. She witnessed Sher Hao's feet and couldn't help but show a hint of surprise in her beautiful eyes. Sher Hao. Impressive. He actually killed that huge monster. So strong. Su Muru was amazed. She had thought that Sher Hao was powerful, but she didn't expect him to be this strong. His strength left her deeply impressed. At the same time, Sumuro also noticed the immense destruction in the city center of Beihai City. Countless high-rise buildings had been reduced to rubble, and the surrounding area was desolate and ruined. The invasion of these monsters must have caused tremendous economic losses to the entire Beihai City, no, even to the entire Dragon Kingdom. Sumuro's eyes flashed with hatred. These damn monsters had destroyed the beautiful mountains and rivers of the entire Dragon Kingdom, shattered the peaceful years of the human race, and went too far. All the monsters deserved to die. Seeing that Sher Hao was fine, Sumuru felt relieved. At the same time, she also noticed many figures rushing towards Sher Hao's location. It seems that Sher Hao is very popular now. These ability users must be here to pay their respects to him, right? Sumuru thought to herself, looking at Sher Hao from afar, feeling happy for him. She just stood there, watching quietly, without approaching. Not far away, the Venom Awakener, Spider-Man Awakener, 
and Hulk Awakener were all getting restless. Charge! Let's go, hurry! The demon core of this world-destroying ape must be huge. If we consume it, our strength will definitely skyrocket. The Venom Awakener was very excited and quickly ran forward. Hurry up! That Supreme God doesn't seem to have reacted yet. Let's go quickly! The Spider-Man Awakener sprayed tough spider silk onto a building in front of him. With the help of the resilient spider silk, the Spider-Man Awakener quickly changed his shape and rushed towards the corpse of the world-destroying ape. Wait for me! The Hulk Awakener started running, his heavy feet stomping on the ground, making a heavy thumping sound. They all had their eyes on the demon core of the world-destroying ape. Venom, Hulk, and Spider-Man had already discussed it. Whoever found the demon core first would own it, and no one was allowed to snatch it. So they were all very proactive, rushing forward, afraid of being snatched away by others. On Sherhouse's side, he noticed a fierce fire phoenix attacking from the sky, furrowing his brows. Is this vermilion bird coming towards me? Sherhow wondered, holding his heavenly axe and preparing for battle. The fire phoenix quickly slowed down upon seeing this and began to revert back to a human form in midair. The fierce bird head of the fire phoenix dissipated, revealing a human head. It was evident that this human head belonged to a middle-aged man in his forties, with a big backcombed hairstyle, giving off a sense of urban elite. Seeing this head, Sherhow suddenly felt a bit familiar. Hello, Supreme God Awakener. I am the lord of Beihai City, Yi Tian Bei. I saw you kill this world-destroying ape just now, making a tremendous contribution to our Beihai City. I represent the city of Beihai and invite you to take charge of our city, leading all the superhumans of Beihai in battle to completely eradicate these monsters. What do you think? City Lord Yi Tian Bei spoke politely to Sher Hao from midair. His voice spread to the surroundings, and many superhumans and survivors nearby heard Yi Tian Bei's words. Everyone was surprised by what they heard. No one expected that City Lord Yi Tian Bei would directly invite the God of Creation to be their commander and lead the superhumans in battle. This shows that he has great trust in Sher Hao's combat power and character. Sher Hao was about to speak when he noticed three awakened superhumans beside him tampering with the corpse of the world-destroying demon ape that he had just killed. These three awakened superhumans were none other than the Venom Awakener, the Hulk Awakener, and the Spider-Man Awakener. They were tampering with the demon ape's corpse and quickly searching through it. Not only were they searching for the demon core that Sher Hao was concerned about, but they were also destroying the flesh of the demon ape. This made Sher Hao furious. Bastards! Sher Hao angrily cursed. His voice was like a roaring thunder, echoing in the surroundings. Waves of energy surged out stirring up countless dust and dirt. This terrifying momentum frightened Yi Tian Bei, who was talking to Sher Hao. His face instantly turned ugly. Yi Tian Bei didn't understand the situation and thought that Sher Hao was talking to him and cursing him as a bastard. This made him feel as if he had eaten a bitter melon, his expression extremely bitter. This god of creation has such a bad temper. He starts cursing people at the slightest disagreement. He doesn't take into account what I just said. Indeed, this god of creation is so powerful. Why would he be interested in a small city like Beihai? Why would he want to lead superhumans to eradicate these invading monsters? He definitely wants to develop independently and dominate this world. Yi Tianbei's expression was extremely bitter, as if he had eaten a bitter melon. When he heard Sher Hao's curse, he thought that Sher Hao was angrily rejecting his request. Therefore, Yi Tianbei immediately understood Sher Hao's meaning and knew that he was not interested and would not accept his request. If they were to lose the help of this god of creation, even if Beihai City survived for a while, it would eventually be destroyed by these monsters. This was because the strong individuals in Beihai City were too few. Yi Tianbei was extremely unwilling. Damn it, why do powerful superpowers always fall into the hands of those who don't have humanity in their hearts? Sigh. Yi Tianbei sighed in his heart, feeling very puzzled. However, since Sher Hao didn't give him face and was unwilling to help Beihai City in battle, Yi Tianbei had no choice. So, he could only put on an ugly face and turn to continue fighting the demonic eagles and crows in the sky. At this moment, Yi Tian Bei suddenly heard Sher Hao's next words. What are you three idiots doing? Stop immediately. Otherwise, I will kill you right away. Sher Hao's angry voice rang out. That rolling voice was like thunder, booming in the sky and earth, extremely terrifying. The Venom Awakener, the Hulk Awakener, and the Spider-Man Awakener, who were digging for the demon core on the world-destroying demon ape's body, trembled. They knew that the idiots Sher Hao was referring to were the three of them. However, these three heroes from the Marvel Universe did not stop their actions. Damn it. We're about to dig out the demon core. I don't want to give up. The Venom Awakener's eyes flashed with a burning determination. He continued to use his arm, which could transform into sharp blades, to madly cut the flesh of the world-destroying demon ape, 
quickly searching for the existence of the demon core. Has this god of creation discovered us? The Green Hulk Awakener is frantically digging into the body of the Apocalypse Demon Ape, trying to find the demon core from its internal organs. Meanwhile, the Spider-Man Awakener keeps spitting out resilient spider silk, desperately searching for the hard demon core. Faced with the warning voice of Sure How, these three Awakeners did not immediately stop their actions, but instead showed signs of challenging Sure How and continued their search. This furrowed Sure How's brow, and he immediately became murderous. On the other side, Lord Yi Tian Bei felt Sure How's movement and couldn't help but turn his body back to look at Sure How and the Marvel Three Heroes. Yi Tian Bei understood what was going on. So, this bastard was not talking to me, but to these three superhumans. There is still room for negotiation between me and this creator. A glimmer of hope flashed in Yi Tian Bei's fiery eyes. He planned to wait for sure how to finish dealing with his current affairs and then have a good conversation with him. The demon core can be dug out from the bodies of the monsters. These three superhumans have ulterior motives. Instead of hunting down the monsters, they are thinking about taking advantage and trying to get more demon cores. Moreover, they didn't even kill this apocalypse demon ape, yet they are still coveting it. No wonder this creator is angry. If it were me, I would be angry too. If the creator gets angry, you will all die in vain. There was no sympathy in Yi Tian Bei's gaze. He thought these three Marvel Hero Awakeners deserved to die. After these monsters die, there is a chance that demon cores will explode from their bodies. Yi Tian Bei knew this. However, it is difficult to dig out the demon cores, and it takes a certain amount of time and effort. Moreover, the situation was critical just now, with many monsters, so there was no time to deal with the demon cores. Therefore, Yi Tian Bei has been fighting all along, without bothering with the demon cores. He has killed countless monsters, but he is concerned about the humans in Beihai City, so he has been fighting without stopping. Therefore, from the bottom of his heart, Yi Tian Bei looks down on these Marvel 3 Hero Awakeners. Why are they in such a hurry to become stronger? Can't they wait until all the monsters are wiped out before looking for demon cores? In this wave, Yi Tian Bei stands at the graveside of the Marvel 3 Hero Awakeners. Not far away. Ha! Sure how is angry. I really want to go and comfort my husband, so he won't be angry. The little fairy awakener, Zhong Xian, secretly thought, looking at Sure how with affection. However, she stopped not far from Sure how without immediately approaching. It's just that Zhong Xian noticed that Sure how was about to fight again, and if she went over, she might provoke this excellent husband. Hoof! You're looking for death! Sure how snorted coldly, angered by the actions of these three superhumans. In fact, this kind of thing happened in his previous life as well. Some superhumans were very greedy and could fight each other for demon cores, disregarding the lives of humans to an extreme extent. In his previous life, Sure How's immortal sword immortal ability was not the strongest. So, he had worked hard to kill the monsters, only to have these monsters and their demon cores plundered by stronger superhumans. At that time, Sure How was truly bitter and couldn't express his anger. He had accumulated a lot of grievances from his previous life. Now, seeing this kind of behavior happening in front of him, these people have already chosen the path of death. Sure how will never tolerate it. Moreover, the three Marvel Hero Awakeners are just three weaklings. Even if they are killed, it will not affect the fortune of the human race. Die! Sure how shouted lowly, his terrifying figure flew forward, and the Pango Divine Axe in his hand directly struck towards the position of the Venom Awakener. Among the three Marvel Hero Awakeners, this kid is the most enthusiastic. His dark arms turned into sharp long knives, constantly cutting the flesh of the apocalypse demon ape. This behavior infuriated Sure How to the core. Buzz! The divine light shook, and the heavenly axe opened, carrying a terrifying aura, directly killing. Ah! What? No! The Venom Awakener felt the space around him distort, his figure was tightly imprisoned by a terrible force, unable to move at all. Then, he saw an extremely exaggerated divine axe, carrying countless golden lights, coming towards him. At this moment, the Venom Awakener finally felt fear and regret for his excessive actions earlier. This creator god said he would kill me, no nonsense. I've killed many demons, I am a hero of the human race. The Venom Awakener widened his eyes, his face full of unwillingness. At the same time, endless regret surged in his heart. If he could start over again, the Venom Awakener would never let the demonic core cloud his judgment and make the move that violated Sure How. Unfortunately, there is no regret medicine in the world. The Venom Awakener cannot start over. It's all too late. The Divine Axe fell. Splurt. A burst of black blood splattered. The body of the Venom Awakener was directly split in half, then fell to the ground, both the physical body and the soul completely extinguished. Beside him, the Hulk Awakener and the Spider-Man Awakener, sensing Sherhau's action, 
were startled and stopped their movements. When they saw the Venom Awakener die, the two Awakeners finally realized the seriousness of the situation. They now knew that this creator god's temper was unexpectedly violent, killing without hesitation. He was a terrifying person. Although they were afraid, the Hulk Awakener, in the civilized era, liked to hide behind the internet, wielding a keyboard, standing on the high ground of public opinion, criticizing others. So, his inner small universe couldn't help but erupt, and he shouted at Sher Hao. What are you doing? We are awakened beings. Why are you harming your fellow beings? We just killed many demons, we are heroes of the human race. You killed us, your behavior is no different from those beastly demons. You are really excessive. The Hulk Awakener scolded Sher Hao, with a righteous and resolute appearance. He had never lost when criticizing people from the moral high ground. Moreover, he wanted to gain support from everyone through these words. This way, Sher Hao would not dare to act recklessly against him in public due to public opinion. This way, he could survive. After hearing this, the Spider-Man Awakener beside him couldn't help but join in. Yes, you are too much. How can you harm your fellow beings? Venom didn't provoke you. Lord Ji Chang, please speak up for us. We three brothers worked hard to hunt demons, but ended up like this? We refused to accept it. As the Spider-Man Awakener spoke, he also looked towards Lord Yi Tian Bei, hoping that he could help them speak. Some of the awakened beings and survivors around them did not know that demonic cores could explode from within demons. They were slow to react and had no idea about the specific situation, only knowing that Sher Hao had just killed Venom. Now, these two awakened beings, aside from complaining, began to criticize Sher Hao. Some people were actually influenced by the rhythm and believed that Sher Hao was a bad person, harming his fellow beings, and deserved to die just like the demons. However, Sher Hao showed no expression or reaction to their words. In the face of absolute strength, Sher Hao couldn't be bothered to explain or reason anymore. Die! Sher Hao coldly snorted, and the heavenly axe in his hand fell again, the terrifying aura shaking towards the location of the Hulk. Ah! No, don't. My body can't hold on. The Hulk Awakener panicked immediately. He didn't expect that Sher Hao would be too lazy to even speak and directly swung an axe towards him. When he was locked in by the Heavenly Axe, he saw that the Heavenly Axe was getting closer and becoming incredibly huge. He felt the axe energy cutting through his muscles. The awakened green giant realized how serious the situation was. In a scream, a spray of green blood splattered out. The green giant's body was split in half, with intestines and blood spilling all over the ground, very disgusting. Stop. Don't. Don't kill me. The awakened Spider-Man was scared. He immediately ran away. Lord City Master, save me. Save me. The awakened Spider-Man even started begging for help. City Master Yi Tian Bei remained indifferent and didn't pay attention to his words. He he. I will let you die now. Even the King of Hell won't dare to keep you overnight. Sure how sneered. Buzz. The space was restless, Sher Hao flew out and his majestic figure landed behind the awakened Spider-Man, with the terrifying pressure of the twin gods of creation descending. The awakened Spider-Man immediately felt like his body was filled with lead, and his movements became extremely slow. The heavenly axe in Sher Hao's hand swept fiercely. This little spider was immediately cut in half at the waist and died on the spot. There is an old saying in the Dragon Kingdom that killing a chicken to scare the monkeys, killing someone establishes authority. Sher Hao's actions have undermined his own dignity. In the future, if someone wants to plot against him, they will have to consider their own abilities and see if they have the guts. When strength reaches a certain level, Sher Hao will be the ruler of this world. His every move, his words and actions, are the rules of the world, and there is no need to explain to outsiders. People can only follow, respect, and embrace them. Sher Hao then appeared where the world-destroying demon ape was, using his spatial storage ability to quickly collect the damaged body of the demon ape into the cosmic storage space. Although the demon ape's body was damaged, it was still fresh, and the essential parts could still be consumed. The flesh and blood that were relatively undesirable for himself could be considered a delicacy for most survivors. These can be kept to feed a group of survivors in the future. Then, Sher Hao did not spare the bodies of the three Marvel superhero awakeners. He collected all their mutilated bodies into the cosmic storage space. By carefully searching their bodies, there was a chance of finding a magic core. After an esper dies, there is a chance that a magic core, also known as a crystal core, will burst out from their body. However, this depends on the strength of the esper. Usually, only espers with powerful cultivation will have a crystal core burst out after death. Moreover, these three bodies can be used as bait to lure some monsters. Even when Sher Hao becomes powerful enough, he can capture and conquer some monsters, making them his pets. The flesh and blood of these espers are the best feed. The surrounding espers and survivors felt extremely shocked by Sher Hao's actions. 
Many people couldn't figure out whether this twin gods of creation awakener was a good god or a bad god. Some people believed that Shurhao was a good god because he killed the world-destroying demon ape and saved the human race. But there were also people who believed that Shurhao was a bad god, a selfish god, because he disregarded the righteousness of the human race and killed the three Marvel superhero awakeners, causing harm to their own kind, which was simply excessive. At this moment, sitting master Yi Tian Bei, who was above the sky, immediately spoke up. Good. Well done. These Venom Awakeners, Spider-Man Awakeners, and Green Giant Awakeners are all very selfish. I will stay here and kill the enemy. But they are only concerned about the magic cores inside these monsters' bodies. Moreover, this world-destroying demon ape was killed by this twin gods of creation Awakener, so the magic core inside should belong to this twin gods of creation. And the three Marvel heroes with awakened abilities, but they didn't listen to advice and still persisted in their delusion, wanting to seize the opportunity of the creation of the twin gods. They deserve to die. Thank you, twin gods. If it weren't for you, this world-destroying demon ape would have destroyed our entire North Sea city, and the human race in North Sea city would have suffered heavy casualties. Even the survivors and awakened individuals would be driven out of North Sea city and wander outside. You are our hero. Yi Tianbei's voice was very impassioned, resounding throughout the battlefield. All the nearby humans heard it. Many people suddenly realized what was going on. Even the city lord, Yi Tianbei, supported Sher Hao in killing these three Marvel heroes with awakened abilities. It can be seen that these three individuals truly deserve to die. Yi Tianbei's influence was still very significant, whether it was in the civilized era or after the invasion of monsters. Yi Tianbei's contributions to North Sea City were immense and evident to all. Moreover, Yi Tianbei personally called the twin gods heroes. Therefore, Sher Hao was a hero. He was an officially recognized hero. Sher Hao couldn't help but look at Yi Tianbei. In his previous life, he knew a little about Yi Tianbei. The city lord of North Sea City led the awakened individuals in a desperate battle against the monsters, but ultimately suffered a tragic defeat and the city fell. Yi Tianbei still had integrity. Hero. Twin gods, you are our hero. Save us, please save us. Our homeland has been invaded and destroyed by these monsters. Kill them. Twin gods, please eradicate these monsters. The survivors began to shout, placing their hopes on Sher Hao. On the battlefield, everyone responded. They all shouted, hoping that Sher Hao would take action. Seeing this, Yi Tianbei took the opportunity to continue speaking. Awakened ones of the twin gods, please lead the awakened individuals of our North Sea city to fight these monsters to the end, exterminate them all, and save the human race. If the city is destroyed, it's just death. Even if we perish, our names will be remembered for thousands of years. Don't give up hope, under the leadership of the twin gods, we can definitely eradicate these monsters and rebuild a new North Sea city. Yi Tianbei's voice was extremely impassioned and inspiring. As the city lord, he was skilled in public speaking, and his words stirred the emotions of the human race. Instantly, the survivors and awakened individuals around him became highly motivated, as if they had been injected with chicken blood, full of fighting spirit. Moreover, they had sure how backing them up and leading the way. Even the terrifying world-destroying demon ape had been killed. What were the other monsters? Everyone had great confidence and was willing to fight. Please help us, awakened ones of the twin gods. Yi Tianbei looked at Sher Hao and made another plea. Please lead us. Save all of us. The human race needs you. Many awakened individuals and survivors around them shouted loudly at Sher Hao. They all hoped that Sher Hao would make a statement. Sher Hao glanced at Yi Tianbei and then at the surrounding human masses. His deep golden eyes flickered. This Yi Tianbei is quite something. He immediately used the righteousness of the human race to bind me, stirring everyone's emotions, making everyone ask me to take action together. Using this method, making it difficult for me to refuse. Indeed, he is the city lord of North Sea City. Sher Hao looked at Yi Tianbei with deep meaning, knowing that he had cleverly used words to calculate him just now. However, this was not a big deal. Sher Hao himself was going to kill these monsters. Moreover, if he were the only one left alive in this world, how lonely would that be? As long as he didn't harm himself or compromise himself, Sher Hao believes that saving the human race is the right thing to do. Okay. Lord Yi Chang, I am willing to fight with everyone. Sher Hao agreed. His voice sounded like a giant beating a drum, very heavy, echoing around. The crowd heard the words of the twin gods of creation for the first time, and each of them looked surprised. When gods speak, they are very majestic. This is really great. Welcome, twin gods of creation. Yi Tianbei showed an excited smile. In his opinion, with Sher Hao's clear statement to go and kill the demons, it can boost everyone's morale. 
Moreover, this can also prevent some awakened ability users with powerful abilities from rebelling and causing harm to the human race. However, I will take away all the corpses of these demons that can be taken away. You cannot stop me on this. Sure Hao's voice came out again, negotiating with Yi Tian Bei. Although it seemed like a negotiation, Sure Hao seemed more like informing Yi Tian Bei. Yi Tian Bei was stunned. He glanced at the many corpses of the demons around him. Inside the demon corpses, demon cores can be dug out. Taking a demon core can enhance one's cultivation and combat power. This is a good thing. The twin gods of creation are not impulsive. Although they are willing to save the human race, they also have their own selfish motives. Yi Tian Bei can accept this. However, if all the demon cores are taken away by one person, won't the other ability users be left with nothing? Yi Tian Bei looked at Sher Hao. He found that Sher Hao was imposing, with a sharp and fierce gaze, looking like someone who cannot be refused. After thinking for a moment, Yi Tian Bei believed that it was most important to stay alive. Moreover, if this twin god of creation consumes a large number of demon cores and becomes powerful first, and then helps everyone else become stronger, it might be a good thing. The most urgent task is to first eliminate the demons. The division of benefits can be discussed after the situation has settled. In his mind, Yi Tian Bei quickly finished his thoughts and knew what he should do. Moreover, he had no room to refuse now, he could only agree. It is most important to establish an alliance with Sher Hao, eliminate the demons, and this twin god of creation emits a righteous aura, so he is unlikely to be a hypocrite who would harm the human race. No problem. As long as you can take them away, you can take away all the corpses of these demons. Yi Tian Bei agreed immediately. Good. Sher Hao responded calmly, his voice thunderous like a thunderclap. These demon corpses are stored in his spatial storage space, and the flesh can be kept fresh forever. In this way, even if Sher Hao takes away the demon cores, the flesh can still be preserved for the benefit of the entire human race in the future. However, gods do not need to explain every detail. It is enough to take action at critical moments. All ability users, obey the orders of Lord Yi Chang in battle, and I will help you kill those troublesome demons. When saying this, Sher Hao looked at Yi Tian Bei. Leave the weaker demons to you to handle and I will mainly be responsible for helping you hunt down the powerful demons that are difficult to deal with. Otherwise, I don't have much time and energy to command the overall situation. Sher Hao explained the situation to Yi Tian Bei. This battlefield is too vast, and there are many ability users. If Sher Hao leads the ability users into battle, it would be like becoming a commander. Commanders often do not need to fight personally, but observe the overall situation, deploy troops, and make effective use of resources to achieve the best results in killing enemies. This is most suitable for Yi Tian Bei. As for Sher Hao himself, he is like an invincible king of soldiers, wherever he goes, he can conquer. The remaining tasks can be handled by other ability users. After hearing this, Yi Tian Bei immediately understood Sher Hao's meaning. He nodded and said, No problem, I understand the meaning behind your words, twin gods of creation. Just do as you say. Yi Tian Bei said, his eyes flashing with a gleam. He felt that Sher Hao was a smart person, and dealing with him was simply enjoyable. This arrangement was the most suitable. Yi Tian Bei's awakened ability was the Vermilion Bird, which could fly in the sky and have a good view of the overall situation, then deploy troops and command the ability users to charge into battle. Both a commander and an invincible king of soldiers. Yi Tian Bei felt that the entire Beihai city was stable and would not be breached. As for Sher Hao, he looked around and checked the surrounding ability users. There were quite a few of them numbering in the hundreds. However, there were fewer outstanding ability users. The Godzilla Awakener and the Megalodon Awakener were the most outstanding Awakeners on the battlefield. As for the other Awakeners, there were Peppa Pig, the Ninja Sasuke who used Chakra, the Cat King, the Crab, the Giant Turtle, and so on. Weaker ability users could only deal with weaker monsters. If they were to face more powerful monsters, they would need to attack together. There were many invading monsters, but the pressure in the city center had been greatly reduced due to Sher Hao's arrival, and the monsters had been cleared out. Next, they would spread out from the city center and clean up the monsters one by one. Sher Hao did not immediately go to kill the monsters. His figure flickered and he arrived at the center, wielding the heavenly axe and sweeping it fiercely towards the ground. Boom! Countless debris on the ground was swept aside by Sher Hao. Instantly, a relatively clean space appeared on the field. Those who haven't awakened their abilities can settle here for now, Sher Hao's voice rang out. At first, the survivors around didn't know what the creator twin gods were doing. But when they heard Sher Hao's words, they immediately understood what was going on. These survivors were all excited and began to thank Sher Hao. Thank you, creator twin gods. You are our hero. Thank you so much. 
A wave of gratitude came from the surroundings. Then, a large number of survivors rushed in and occupied the space that Sher Hao had just cleared. Here, they would be relatively safer and more comfortable to sit and rest. Moreover, by gathering the survivors together, innocent people would not be harmed during the battle fluctuations. Sher Hao ignored the gratitude of the crowd. His figure flashed, shuttling back and forth on the battlefield. When he killed the monsters, he also took the opportunity to collect some of their corpses into his cosmic storage space. Now, Sher Hao's cosmic storage space had already stored a large amount of monster flesh and blood. If one person were to eat it, Sher Hao would never finish it in his lifetime. But if it were to be distributed, it would be difficult to feed a team of ability users or the survivors of Beihai City. Zhang Xian, the awakened little fairy, looked at the busy Sher Hao, her eyes shining. My husband is really amazing, but he's too busy. He doesn't even have time to pay attention to me. Even so, I will never feel lonely or empty because of this, and I won't do anything excessive out of infidelity. My heart belongs only to my husband. Zhong Xian secretly thought to herself, and even started to self-PUA. But it had to be said that Zhong Xian was quite attractive. She had a well-proportioned and tall figure, a good development, and a delicate face. Especially after awakening her little fairy ability, her temperament had changed a bit, making her even more charming. Although her appearance was good, her inner world was too rich, and she was somewhat detached from worldly matters. Because of her good looks, some of the ability users on the field were attracted to Zhong Xian. At this moment, there was an esper holding a slingshot who walked over. His nose was long, his body muscular, but in just the right way, holding a slingshot. His whole body was dark and muscular, clearly a crooked person, trying to present a graceful appearance. Hi, hello, beautiful miss. Do you have a boyfriend? You are the most beautiful miss I have ever seen, can I be friends with you? This esper greeted Zhong Xian. However, his Mandarin was somewhat non-standard, with a strange accent. Zhong Xian glanced at his skin color and then at his appearance. From the Dryland country? Seeing his dark skin, Zhong Xian immediately realized that he was from the Dryland country. The people from the Dryland country always had a mysterious self-confidence about their bodies, thinking that they were very charming and attractive. Moreover, looking at this black-skinned man from the Dryland country holding a slingshot, Zhong Xian felt a sense of familiarity. Then she remembered that this man had awakened some kind of esper power. Usopp from One Piece? No wonder his nose is so long. And he's also holding a slingshot. Zhong Xian thought to herself, she already understood his esper power. Hello, beautiful miss. The esper Usopp called out to Zhong Xian a couple of times when she ignored him. Seeing that she showed a hint of interest in him and was very enthusiastic towards him, Zhong Xian's beautiful eyes flashed with a hint of disgust. Not at all. Ugly black man. Zhong Xian replied with disdain. She despised the indigenous people of the impoverished dryland country the most. Upon hearing Zhong Xian's words, Usopp's face immediately turned ugly. You, that's too insulting. Usopp, the awakened esper, became angry. He didn't expect this beautiful girl to speak so rudely. Originally, he had planned to give Zhong Xian the best gift, a child. But now it seemed that his beautiful plan had gone down the drain. TCH TCH TCH. Zhong Xian made a face at Usopp, not giving him any face at all. You're too much. I'm angry. Faku you. Usopp, the awakened esper, roared in anger, then picked up the slingshot in his hand and prepared to attack Zhong Xian. On the slingshot pouch, there was a stone aimed at the beautiful face of this foolish woman in front of him. Usopp, the awakened esper, raised his angry eyebrows, loosened his grip, and was about to launch the attack. Balala energy black and hazy teleportation. Zhong Xian took out her magic wand and quickly chanted a spell. Then, a burst of energy surged. Zhong Xian's delicate body flickered and disappeared from where she was standing. When she reappeared, she was already behind Usopp, the awakened esper. Where is she? Usopp, the awakened esper, looked confused, instantly losing his target for attack, and the slingshot didn't launch. Damn dryland old man. Go back home and pick cotton. Zhong Xian muttered under her breath. Then, she began to use Balala energy. Balala energy, Hagen Gigi big energy ball. Zhong Xian chanted the spell and waved her magic wand. A burst of light surged, and a basketball-sized energy ball condensed on the magic wand, shimmering with brilliance, and then fiercely smashed towards Usopp, the awakened esper's head. Ha! Behind my butt. Usopp, the awakened esper, sensed something, and immediately turned his head. And this big energy ball happened to hit him right in the forehead. Wow! Usopp, the awakened esper, was directly knocked out falling to the ground with a thud. Disgusting dryland man. Hurry back to your hometown and pick your cotton. Don't bother us here. Zhong Shen looked at Usopp, the awakened esper, with disdain. Then, 
she activated her Balala energy and left the spot. Zhong Xian wanted to follow Shi Hao. Wherever Shi Hao went, she would go. Zhong Xian had become his number one fan. As for Shi Hao, he, he saw a darkened blade master awakened, holding a demonic blade in his hand, fighting against four giant demonic wolves. This darkened blade master awakened, wielding a bloodthirsty demonic sword, became even more bloodthirsty and ferocious with each swing. Although he was injured, with deep wolf claw wounds all over his body, especially on his muscular chest, blood kept flowing out. However, in the midst of his swings, this darkened blade master seemed to be able to absorb the enemy's blood to strengthen his own combat power, like a demon descending to earth, killing four with one strike. Not bad, this darkened blade master awakened. Sure how thought to himself, feeling that as long as this awakened did not fall and obtain some resources, he would definitely grow in the future. However, Sure how noticed that killing four at once seemed a bit difficult for this darkened blade master. He was retreating step by step and would eventually be exhausted and killed by the monsters. In a flash, he appeared directly in front of the darkened blade master awakened. Sure how began to fulfill his duty as agreed with the lord. Buzz. Sure how didn't speak but silently raised the heavily axe in his hand and slashed towards one of the giant demonic wolves. The explosion of the law of power, the moment the huge divine axe swung out, an extremely exaggerated gust of wind shook the entire space, causing a buzzing sound. The giant demonic wolf locked onto by Shur how suddenly trembled. For the first time, a look of fear of death appeared on its fierce and ferocious wolf head. It's him. The primordial twin gods awakened. Hiss. No wonder it's Pangu and Thanos. Truly powerful. The darkened blade master awakened took a cold breath, feeling shocked by Shur Hao's strength. He originally thought that Shur Hao was not very powerful, just appearing strong. But when Shur Hao came to help him deal with the four giant demonic wolves, the darkened blade master awakened realized that this primordial twin god was so powerful that he couldn't compare to him at all. At this moment, the pressure on the darkened blade master awakened was greatly reduced. He no longer retreated and actively killed one of the giant demonic wolves. With Shur Hao's help, he had confidence. On the other side, Puff, Sure how easily killed the first demonic wolf with the heavenly axe in his hand. The corpse of the wolf was split open, and blood splattered out, extremely tragic. Then, Sure how confronted another demonic wolf and swiftly killed it. Immediately after, it was the third giant demonic wolf, which Sure how easily dealt with as well. When Sure how finished dealing with the three giant demonic wolves, the battle between the darkened blade master awakened and the last demonic wolf had reached a critical point. The darkened blade master awakened exchanged injuries for injuries, and another deep wolf claw wound appeared on his chest, while his bloodthirsty demonic sword took the opportunity to stab into the wolf's head, pinning it to the ground. The bloodthirsty demonic sword greedily absorbed the wolf's blood and flowed into the body of the blade master awakened, helping him recover from his injuries. Primordial twin gods. Thank you for your help. The darkened blade master awakened sincerely thanked Sure Hao. As he spoke, he happened to see a deep abyss appearing on Sher Hao's forehead. A terrifying suction force emanated from the abyss, pulling all four wolves on the ground into the cosmic storage space. Yes, including the last wolf he had killed. Hiss. Seeing Sher Hao's method of taking away the wolves, the darkened blade master awaken couldn't help but take a cold breath. Is this the power of the primordial twin gods? It's truly terrifying. Not only do they possess overwhelming combat power, but they also seem to have an extremely terrifying storage space. This storage space can store everything. If only I had this kind of ability. The darkened blade master awakened felt envious. If he could have the ability to store things, he even thought it would be worth paying a price of 25 years of lifespan. Unfortunately, even if the dark blade sword demon awakener pays the price of 100 coin years of life, he cannot obtain this powerful storage ability. Then, he saw the demon wolf he had worked hard to kill being taken away. The dark blade sword demon awakener's face was somewhat bitter because he knew that the demon wolf's body could be dug out for its demon core. However, the twin gods of creation had just helped him out, and they were so powerful that it seemed only natural for them to take his demon core. So the dark blade sword demon awakener didn't say anything. No need to thank me. Work hard to kill monsters. If you encounter danger, you can call my true name, and I will come to help you. Sure how left these words and then turned and left proudly. Looking at the majestic figure of the creator god, a touch of awe flashed in the dark blade sword demon awakener's crimson blood eyes, truly worthy of being a creator god. I guess I can consider myself acquainted with him. The dark blade sword demon awakener thought to himself. He believed that being able to be friends with Sure How was his honor. Afterwards, the dark blade sword demon awakener wielded the bloodthirsty demon sword and killed a relatively small-sized demon scorpion. As for Sure How, he looked around and searched for some powerful monsters. 
Soon, Shirhao noticed not far away a tree man Makai Awakener being chased by a mammoth giant. The tree man Makai Awakener awakened the ability of Makai, the tree of life, from the game League of Legends. He constantly threw small tree saplings towards the ground. The saplings would move towards the monsters and explode, causing some damage and restricting the movement speed of these monsters. The tree man Makai wandered on the battlefield, originally helping his allies control and restrict the monsters. However, he accidentally provoked this mammoth giant. And this mammoth giant was stubborn. It was infuriated and only wanted to kill the tree man Makai. Thus, the scene of the tree man Makai being chased and killed occurred. Seeing this, Shirhao's figure flashed and immediately appeared in front of the tree man Makai Awakener. Step back behind me, and I will protect you. Shirhao's voice resounded like thunder, and it was as enchanting as the Bible. The creator twin gods have arrived. We're saved. You beast, dare to chase me. You're going to die soon, not only you, but your whole family will die. After the tree man Makai stopped, his eyes gleamed, and he angrily cursed the mammoth giant that was chasing him. Truly worthy of being an awakened hero in League of Legends. Turns out you're a civilized Zonite. As soon as you open your mouth, it's all about dragging your whole family along. Sure how felt somewhat amused. Then, he swung his extremely exaggerated divine axe in his hand and fiercely chopped towards the mammoth giant in front of him. Buzz. The air vibrated, the axe energy rippled, and a dazzling golden divine light shone, extremely dazzling. Roar. The mammoth giant sensed the danger and couldn't help but roar in anger. It was like a drawn arrow and had to be released, so it launched its most fierce attack towards Sure How. What if it hit the opponent? But there was no what if. The divine axe carried a wild axe energy and directly chopped down. Splurt. Blood splattered. The mammoth giant was directly split in half, and its body crashed to the ground. Seeing that the mammoth giant was killed by a single axe, the tree man Makai Awakener took a deep breath. Hiss. So strong. While sighing at Shirhao's strength, the tree man Makai Awakener's gaze fell on the corpse of the mammoth giant. He somewhat wanted to take the mammoth giant's demon core. However, Shirhao's actions were faster, and he directly took away the corpse of the mammoth giant along with it. This. The tree man Makai Awakener could only watch helplessly. However, he didn't dare to have any complaints. On the contrary, the tree man Makai Awakener thanked Sure How sincerely. Creator God, you are truly too strong. I, Maokai, am willing to follow you and become one of your fierce generals. Creator God, thank you so much. This awakened tree person, Maokai, expressed his gratitude to Sure How. It must be said that he had a way with cursing people, as well as expressing gratitude. No need to thank me. If you encounter trouble, call my true name and I will come to help you immediately. Sure How calmly left behind these words and then departed. This statement had become Sure How's common phrase. Every time he helped someone, he would leave these words behind and then leave gracefully. On this battlefield, the number of superhumans and survivors saved by Sure How was increasing. Everyone was becoming more convinced and respectful of Sure How. The title of Creator God Sure How began to spread in the surrounding area. At this moment, a transparent green deer appeared in the distance, bounding towards Sure How's location. Surprisingly, this ethereal deer was able to speak. The demons are coming. The gods dream during the day, and the sun rises from the west. Some gods live in the sky, some gods live in mushrooms. What a dear girl, she must be the least cute child in the world. The ethereal deer spoke some gentle words. Behind her, however, were seven demonic tigers chasing after her fiercely. Panic appeared on the deer's face. Sure how took a step forward and proactively approached the deer. Yao, king, Yao sister? Sure how looked at the deer and immediately thought of Yao's sister from the game, a support hero. When she encountered control, Yao's sister would enter an ethereal state, immune to all attacks. However, there was a time limit. When the ethereal state disappeared, she would return to her original form. As expected, after two and a half breaths, Sure How saw the ethereal green deer transform into a deer girl with a primitive but extremely well-proportioned and petite body, long pink hair, and a pair of delicate antlers. This deer girl Yao's sister looked beautiful and cute, capable of arousing one's protective instincts. All things have spirits, and life is eternal. Yao's sister lightly opened her cherry lips and chanted. Then, she ran up to Sher Hao. Sher Hao had already arrived in front of Yao's sister. Afterwards, Yao's sister activated her ultimate skill, Independence on the Mountain, and directly attached herself to the top of Sher Hao's head, providing him with a life shield. Thus, a peculiar scene unfolded. At this moment, not only did the image of the creator god Pangu and the Phantom of Thanos appear above Sher Hao's head, but Yao's sister's figure also appeared. Wow. The dual gods of creation. We're saved. I want to stay on his head forever, protecting him and letting him protect me. Amazing. Yao's sister was extremely happy. 
she felt that she had found a reliance. Yao's sister, as a hero, was very fragile and could only unleash her true value by relying on a strong ally. As an awakened Yao sister, she felt extremely excited and fortunate to have found Sher Hao, the creator god. This was even more impressive than being an awakened Marco Polo or Yunjong Jun. She planned to stick around and not leave. Wherever Sher Hao went, Yao's sister would go too. Not far away, Zhong Xian, an awakened little fairy, saw the scene and immediately felt a surge of jealousy. Her proud chest heaved up and down. Ah woo woo. My husband has been occupied by Yao's sister. He's my husband, after all. I haven't even ridden on my husband's head. But this Yao sister is actually riding on my husband's head. Zhong Xian was infuriated. She didn't expect that there would be an awakened Yao sister on this battlefield. This was simply a vixen trying to steal her husband's heart. No, it was more than just his heart. Even his body was going to be stolen. Zhong Xian was about to cry. In the distance, Su Mura was stunned when she saw Yao Mei floating above Sher Hao's head. Hmm. Sure enough, Sher Hao is excellent now. He even has attractive girls actively pursuing him. Su Muro muttered to herself a few times. For some reason, she felt a little uncomfortable. But when she felt uncomfortable, Su Muro quickly shook her head and tried to shake off the distracting thoughts. What's wrong with me? Why do I have this strange feeling? I actually care about Sher Hao. No. He's my student. Su Mura shook her head, telling herself not to overthink. Women like successful men. Even Su Mura was no exception. Moreover, the environment has changed now. In the past, people looked at family background, money, job, and health. But now, the only criterion for women to find a husband is their supernatural ability and whether it is powerful. With powerful supernatural abilities and strong fists, you can get anything. This is a world where strength is respected. On the field, many awakened players noticed the commotion around Sher Hao. They all showed envy. Wow! Having Yame stepping on his head voluntarily, that's too blissful, right? Yes, I'm so jealous. I also want a Yao Mei to step on my head and fight with me. Don't just look at Yao Mei stepping on his head now. When they go home, he can step on Yao Mei's head. Damn, I'm so jealous. Many awakened players and survivors around were discussing this matter, all showing envy. And these envious people are often men. Some women, on the other hand, became jealous. Sure how is too powerful. As long as he wants, he can have countless beauties throwing themselves at him. It's like Principal Wang in the civilized era. Wherever he goes, he opens his arms and beautiful women willingly come into his embrace. Nearby, there happened to be an awakened player named Yun Zhongjuan, who was looking at Sher Hao and the Yao Mei on his head with a complex expression. Ah, my Yao Mei didn't come to step on my head, but she stepped on this god of creation's head, that's too much. Does this god of creation need your assistance when he's so powerful? Clearly, we are a pair in the game. Damn it, it's fine if you step on Marco Polo's head in the game. In reality, stepping on someone else's head is just ignoring me. That's too much. Yun Zhongjuan, the awakened player, was almost infuriated. He felt extremely unwilling and unbalanced in his heart. However, Yun Zhongjuan knew that his strength was not as good as Sher Hao's, so he could only watch from afar and silently complain in his heart. If resentment could kill, then Yun Zhongjuan would have torn Sher Hao to pieces. But unfortunately, resentment cannot kill. He could only silently feel uncomfortable in his heart. On the other side, Yao Mei swung a wooden staff and waved it forward. Immediately, a green light flickered, and a green energy ball condensed and shot towards the seven-headed demon tiger in front of Sher Hao. Two of the demon tigers were hit by the energy ball and were momentarily controlled, pausing for two and a half breaths. Then, Yao Mei activated another skill, continuously releasing small energy balls to attack these demon tigers and launch a sustained attack on them. Yao Mei's attacks were weak, and the life shield she provided was also thin. But her taunting ability was excellent. Roar! Roar! The seven demon tigers roared angrily and fiercely pounced on Sher Hao, provoked by Yao Mei. They fought as a group, forming a flanking attack. Sher Hao was stunned when he saw this. This Yao Mei, she doesn't have any damage, but she seems to cause trouble. Sher Hao thought to himself. He glanced at the seven demon tigers. Sher Hao found that if it were someone else, they could at most kill two demon tigers and then be torn apart by the other demon tigers. However, this is sure how we're talking about. He is the awakened dual god of creation. How could he fear all of this? Die. He muttered under his breath, sounding like a thunderclap. Sure how's muscles tensed as the terrifying power of the laws erupted from the heavenly opening divine axe in his hand, sweeping around him. Buzz. The exaggerated divine axe emitted a terrifying golden holy light, carrying a horrifying aura, shaking the surroundings. Boom. Splat. In an instant, all seven demon tigers were beheaded by the divine axe as they leaped to attack. 
The bodies of each demon tiger were split in half and fell to the ground. Is that all? Sher Hao's expression was cold as he calmly looked at the corpses of the demon tigers. The life shield from Yao Mei, which had been protecting him, had not even shattered yet. Yao Mei, who was above Sher Hao's head, looked at the seven demon tigers lying dead on the ground, her face filled with astonishment. Her cherry mouth opened wide, as if it could fit two and a half quail eggs, showing her extreme shock. Wow! So powerful! You truly deserve to be the awakened dual god of creation. I will follow you forever. I will always fight by your side. Yao Mei, the awakened one, waved the delicate wooden staff in her hand, her face filled with excitement. Her voice was pleasant, soft, and sweet. At this moment, Sher Hao finally understood why so many men liked Yao Mei. Sher Hao did not respond to Yao Mei's words. If she wanted to stay, let her stay. If she didn't want to stay, she could leave on her own. He did not take pleasure in material things nor did he feel sorrow for himself. Sher Hao's mind was calm and undisturbed. He quickly approached and activated his spatial storage ability, collecting all the corpses of the demon tigers into his storage space. At this moment, a fierce bird-like figure, like a thunderbolt, quickly flew over. Sher Hao placed the heavenly opening divine axe in front of him, prepared to kill it. However, the silver-white figure that flew towards him stopped in mid-air. Sher Hao glanced at him and immediately recognized who it was. It was the awakened one, Cloud Sovereign Yunzhongjin, respected dual god of creation. Yao Mei and I are a pair. I want to take Yao Mei away, is that possible? Cloud Sovereign Yunzhongjin mustered up great courage and spoke. He still wanted to give it a try. After all, in the world of kings, he and Yao Mei were naturally a pair. Moreover, he was quite handsome. Although his combat power could not compare to Sher Hao, what if Yao Mei, the awakened one, saw him and fell in love with him? After hearing this, Sher Hao immediately understood what was going on. There were many eyes around them, watching Sher Hao and Cloud Sovereign Yun Sanjin, enjoying the show. You may leave with her if Yao Mei is willing to go with you. I won't force her. Sher Hao said calmly. If Yao Mei wanted to leave, he wouldn't stop her. Upon hearing this, Cloud Sovereign Yun Sanjin's face lit up with joy. He realized that the dual god of creation was quite easy to talk to. So, Cloud Sovereign Yun Sanjin looked at Yao Mei with an affectionate gaze. Yao Mei, come with me. Come to my side. I will take you to explore the world. Cloud Sovereign Yun Sanjin said, his voice gentle. He had a look of longing on his face as he gazed at Yao Mei. She was so beautiful. Cloud Sovereign Yun Sanjin's eyes were filled with intense desire. He wanted to be with her and live a happy life together. However, Yao Mei's face remained indifferent. You're obsessed with playing games, aren't you? I am a human, an awakened one. I just possess the abilities from the game. But that doesn't mean we are a couple or that I have to be your girlfriend. Leave quickly. I don't want to see you. Seeing you annoys me. I want to follow the twin gods of creation. I want to fight alongside them. Yao Mei said angrily. She couldn't stand the Cloud Jun Awakener in front of her, feeling like he had gone crazy playing games and came to bother her. When the Cloud Jun Awakener heard this, his face immediately turned ugly. You, you, you. How can you say that about me? We are a pair in the game. Can't we be a pair in real life too? The Cloud Jun Awakener said affectionately. No, I don't know you. Yao Mei Awakener firmly rejected him. Sher Hao listened to their conversation and his mouth twitched slightly. This is so ridiculous, Sher Hao secretly commented. Twin gods of creation, let's leave quickly, I don't want to see this person. Let's go hunt monsters, Yame said, urging Sher Hao to leave. The Cloud Jun Awakener looked reluctant. Even though we don't know each other, can't you give me a chance? The Cloud Jun Awakener insisted, wanting to try again. Get lost, you crazy brother. I don't want to know you. Yao Mei was very annoyed, feeling harassed. The onlookers around them laughed one after another at this ridiculous scene. Everyone thought that the Cloud Jun Awakener was daydreaming and trying to reach for something beyond his grasp, finding it all very funny. Sher Hao also became impatient and wanted to leave to continue fighting. At this moment, a figure in the distance, shimmering with dazzling light, quickly ran over. Sher Hao took a closer look and immediately recognized the person. It was the previous Ultraman Tiga. Something bad has happened. Sher Hao, hurry and go to Yijong for help. We encountered a wave of beasts, with a giant pangolin monster leading the pack, invading us. Ultraman Tiga and some other awakened beings are desperately resisting. Hurry back and help. Otherwise, the whole school will be doomed. Ultraman Tiga gasped for breath, but still anxiously said. His voice was full of urgency, this matter was extremely serious. Sher Hao frowned upon hearing this. He didn't expect that after leaving for a while, the school would be invaded by monsters again. And the Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Tiga he arranged couldn't defeat them, and Ultraman Tiga even came to ask for help. 
Okay, I understand. I'll go back now. Sure, Hao replied calmly. Yao Mei, who was on top of his head, was very excited and full of fighting spirit. Great, we can fight together. Twin gods of creation, I will protect you. This is Yao Yao's duty. Yao Mei said, her voice sweet. At the same time, she remembered Sher Hao's name in her heart, it was Sher Hao. Yao Mei repeated the name in her heart several times, feeling that it sounded good and had a certain charm. Hmm. Sher Hao responded indifferently, his figure swayed and flew towards the location of Ijong's school. Ultra Mantiga followed suit. At the same time, the Ultra Mantiga Awakener was surprised. Ha! Isn't this King Yao Mei? She's actually following the twin gods of creation on their heads. No wonder she's the twin gods of creation, so popular. The Ultra Mantiga Awakener secretly thought. At the same time, he felt a little envious. Although he was an Ultraman Awakener, in the end, he was still human, not a real Ultraman, just someone who possessed the abilities of Ultra Mantiga. Being human, he had emotions and desires, and was easily attracted to beautiful women, wanting to possess them. If possible, the Ultra Mantiga Awakener wanted Yao Mei to ride on his head. If there were no sure how and no twin gods of creation awakeners in this world, it was very likely that the King Yao Mei Awakener would be riding on the head of Ultra Mantiga. But unfortunately, in this world, there is no if. So, Ultra Mantiga could only silently envy in his heart, not daring to show it, let alone snatch the beauty. Seeing Sher Hao, Ultra Mantiga, and King Yame leaving, the awakened Yun Jung Jun's face was extremely ugly, as if he had eaten bitter melon. Damn it! Where did I, Yun Jung Jun, lose? The awakened Yun Jung Jun's face was extremely bitter. However, he didn't dare to make a sound and could only watch Sher Hao leave with King Yame unwillingly. The surrounding ability users and survivors naturally heard the conversation between Sher Hao and Ultra Mantiga just now, and they were all dumbfounded. Damn, this is Ultra Mantiga and he actually shows such respect to the creator god. It seems that the creator god is very powerful and has a wide network of contacts. They seem to have mentioned a middle school campus, are they going to another battlefield? Indeed, the creator god is truly busy, unable to kill all the enemies. Everyone enthusiastically discussed this matter and watched the majestic creator twin gods leave. Since Sher Hao arrived at the city center battlefield, he has helped many ability users, killed many monsters, and saved many survivors. So, the pressure here has decreased significantly. If Sher Hao leaves, it won't have a big impact. The remaining situation can be left to these ability users, which is enough. In the sky, City Lord Yi Tian Bei heard the conversation between Sher Hao and Ultra Mantiga, and saw them leaving. A look of surprise flashed in his fiery eyes. I didn't expect this creator twin gods to actually know Ultra Mantiga's awakened individual. And this Ultra Mantiga awakened individual seems to be a follower of the creator twin gods. These creator twin gods are too powerful. I have to go and get acquainted. Yi Tian Bei thought to himself. He made up his mind silently and his figure flickered, leaving a brilliant arc of flames in the sky, instantly catching up with Sher Hao and Ultra Mantiga. Respected awakened individuals of the creator twin gods and Ultra Mantiga, the head in the flame phoenix in the air transformed into a human head and spoke human language, with a very sincere and polite appearance. Sher Hao glanced at Yi Tian Bei and said calmly, No need, Lord Yi, you should guard this place well and lead everyone to eliminate the monsters. I will be back soon. Alright, respected awakened individuals of the creator twin gods. Yi Tian Bei respectfully replied, I will be here, waiting for your good news. Hmm. After a brief exchange, both sides went in different directions and busied themselves with their own affairs. That flame phoenix is city Lord Yi Tian Bei of our Beihai city, right? Ultra Mantiga said in surprise. He didn't expect that city lord Yi Tian Bei had awakened the ability of the flame phoenix, which was quite powerful. Moreover, city lord Yi showed great respect for Sher Hao. This made Ultra Mantiga believe in his heart that he had not followed the wrong person. That's right, Sher Hao replied calmly. When he spoke, his voice was thunderous, like thunder exploding, and it sounded like the chanting of the mad titan, with a lingering Sanskrit sound. Therefore, Sher Hao, who had awakened the ability of the creator twin gods, cherished his words and spoke as little as possible. After receiving confirmation, the awakened Ultra Mantiga was shocked in his heart and felt that he had not followed the wrong person. King Yao Mei, who was above Sher Hao's head, listened to the conversation between the two and suddenly felt a sense of admiration. This awakened individual of the creator twin gods is really powerful. I want to become his woman and follow him for a lifetime. From now on, I will stick to him and fight alongside him. In the long run, he will definitely fall in love with me. King Yame thought to herself, then she glanced at Sher Hao's majestic figure, his muscular body, and those bulging. This made her blush. I hate skinny dogs, but he's too fierce. My body can't handle it. 
Wang Zheyame is a bit troubled, and her face turned red. Ha! Huh, strange. Why am I thinking so far? Thinking about having a baby. Can't think randomly. Wang Zheyame shook her head and shook off the distractions. However, when you start to pay attention to someone in your heart, it takes root and grows, and you become more and more interested in that person, and you like them more and more. In simpler terms, Wang Zheyame has fallen in love. On the other side, Sher Hao and Ultraman Tiga rushed quickly. When the awakened little fairy Zhong Xian saw Sher Hao leaving, her mouth pouted and she became a little angry. This bad Yao Mei, she stole my husband, it's so annoying. No, she didn't steal my husband, she just won't leave. My husband is now helping to eliminate monsters, I have to catch up quickly. Otherwise, I won't have a husband. The awakened little fairy Zhong Xian muttered. Then, she activated her magical energy and chased after Sher Hao. On the other side, Sumuro heard the conversation between Ultraman Tiga and Sher Hao, and a worried expression flashed across her face. The monsters that even two Ultramen couldn't deal with seemed to be launching a fierce attack on the school again. Sher Hao went back to rescue. I have to go back and take a look. Sumuro's beautiful eyes were filled with worry. When she thought about it, her proud and delicate body swayed and turned into a gust of wind, floating towards the direction Sher Hao went. Sumuro's special ability is the wind. This ability makes her invincible as long as she releases it, and no monster can attack her. Of course, in certain environments, such as narrow indoor spaces, this ability becomes useless and she cannot be invincible. Time flies. Sher Hao quickly arrived at the battlefield of the first middle school. When he arrived, he saw a mess. On the battlefield, Ultraman Tiga was already covered in blood, with many deep wounds on his body. He covered his chest and struggled to stand up, his hands in a fighting stance and in front of him was a huge armadillo beast. Around them, many monsters were charging. All the superhumans in the school were blocking them and fighting against these smaller monsters. The main force of these superhumans is the remaining dragon group from the previous battle, including Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, and Brachiosaurus, etc. However, often one dragon has to face attacks from at least two monsters. So the school suffered heavy losses, and many superhumans were terminated and collapsed on the ground. The ordinary students and teachers of the school all retreated to the back, trembling. The superhumans in front were blocking the monsters, preventing them from harming the ordinary people behind them. However, the power of the superhumans is limited, and they are being forced to retreat by the monsters. They can't hold on for long. Boom! The leading armadillo beast charged directly, sending Ultraman Tiga flying. Boom! Ultraman Tiga crashed heavily onto the ground, his body in pain, but he was like an indestructible cockroach struggling to get up and staggering in place, with a risk of falling. Don't be afraid, I'm here to help you. Sher Hao's majestic voice resounded and covered the entire scene. He wielded the heavenly axe and rushed out, aiming for the armadillo beast. This armadillo beast was covered in dark and hard scales, each scale was the size of a basin, shining under the sunlight. The most astonishing thing was its head, which had an extremely sharp giant drill, as if it could penetrate everything. Just now, Ultraman Tiga's abdomen was pierced by this giant drill leaving a huge wound that looked terrifying. It's sure how. The awakened twin gods are here. Now we're stable. These beasts, they all deserve to die. Ultraman Tiga breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the savior arrive. Then, as if completing his mission, he fell to the ground with a loud thud, lying on the earth, exhausted. Tiga. It shows return. He's here to help us. Ultraman Dina awakened, his face full of concern, quickly coming to Tiga's side to protect him. When some monsters tried to harm Tiga, Ultraman Dino would intervene. Leave it to me now. You guys deal with those small monsters. Sho's voice resonated once again, making everyone feel reassured. With Sho's help, everyone felt at ease. Sho has returned. Our hero from A1 is here to save us. Sho has saved us twice now. He truly deserves to be proud of A1. The surrounding Esper and surviving students all had a glimmer in their eyes. These Espers were all filled with morale, no longer afraid of these monsters, and fought back. The despair on the faces of the surviving students faded away, replaced with hope in their eyes. At the same time, many people began to sing praises for Sho. This student who used to be unnoticed in school stepped forward after the invasion of monsters into the real world and saved everyone. Sho, a true hero. Under the gaze of the crowd, Sho wielded the exaggerated heavenly axe and actively attacked the giant armadillo beast in front of him. Beast, you've harmed the lives of my people. Today, I'll offer you as a sacrifice. Sho snorted coldly, and the power of the law of strength erupted from his body, releasing a terrifying aura. With the heavenly axe in hand, Sho swung it fiercely towards the head of the armadillo beast. Buzz! The powerful axe energy in the heavenly axe resonated, 
causing the entire space to distort as if it was about to shatter. Golden light flickered, covering the surroundings, blindingly bright. Roar! The armadillo beast let out a roar. Then, it stomped on the ground with a thunderous sound, as if an earthquake had occurred. It charged towards Sho and collided with him. A Yao, I've brought you misfortune. Yao, who was above Sho's head, suddenly activated her own skill. A green light flickered, and a green energy ball condensed, about the size of a basketball, directly shooting towards the body of the armadillo beast. Bang! The green energy ball hit the body of the armadillo beast, causing its momentum to pause for a moment. Its charge was immediately interrupted. Sho looked at this scene, momentarily stunned. Although Yao doesn't have any attack power, her control and interrupting effects are quite good. If King Zhang Liang were here, these monsters would all be controlled to death. Sho had a thought in his mind, feeling that King Yao was quite formidable. Taking advantage of the time gap created by Yao's interruption of the beast's charge, Sho's heavenly axe had already struck. Bang! A thick stream of blood splattered out. The heavenly axe directly slashed the body of the armadillo beast, causing it to split open. Flesh and blood separated, blood spurted out, and its internal organs poured out. The armadillo beast let out a resentful roar before collapsing to the ground with a loud crash. This sharp horn is not bad. It's both a collectible and a high-quality medicinal material. Sho glanced at the sharp horn on top of the armadillo beast's head and thought to himself. However, he didn't have the intention to deal with the horn right now. The cosmic storage space opened at the center of Sho's eyebrows, creating a powerful suction force that directly sucked in all parts of the armadillo beast's body. This ensured its freshness. At this moment, the armadillo beast's blood was still hot. When it was taken out from the cosmic storage space later, it would still be scorching hot. Ultraman Tiga, seeing Sher Hao kill this giant pangolin beast, finally understood the huge gap between himself and Sher Hao. After all, Ultraman Tiga can only use the power of light. But Sher Hao is a god, the creator of the world, the two creation gods Pangu and Thanos created everything in the world and naturally have the ability to destroy everything in the world. Awesome. Sher Hao. Great creation gods. You're amazing. A Yao, thumbs up for you. On top of Sher Hao's head, Yame clapped her hands, looking very happy. At the same time, she twisted her body like a member of a cheerleading squad, dancing and encouraging Sher Hao. Yame's voice is sweet, and her appearance is gentle and cute. This immediately attracted the attention of many students. Wow, is this the King Yame? Yame is so beautiful, really beautiful. She's stepping on Sher Hao's head. Wow, Sher Hao is so lucky, I'm so jealous. Ah, a woman actually succeeded, how annoying. Many students and teachers around had envy on their faces. It's because they saw the extremely beautiful King Yame floating above Sher Hao's head. King Yame is very beautiful, even more beautiful than the school flower, and is a beauty that many men dream of. But now she belongs to Sher Hao. So everyone is so envious that their bodies are about to break. At the same time, in the school, there are many female students who feel very uncomfortable seeing that Sher Hao is already taken. Many people want to date Sher Hao. But unfortunately, Sher Hao is too outstanding and already has King Yao Mei. Many girls feel ashamed and think they are not as good as King Yao Mei and not worthy of Sher Hao. Sher Hao is now the center of attention and is the hero of the entire school. If it weren't for the current urgent situation, Sher Hao might really be awarded various honors. Sher Hao doesn't care how others see him at the moment. His figure flickered and immediately rushed out to help the surrounding superhumans clear away these monsters. The strongest monster is already dead, and the remaining monsters are all small fries. So with Sher Hao's help, everyone felt the pressure greatly reduced and quickly started to eliminate these monsters. These relatively small pangolin monsters, as well as some monster tigers, pythons, scorpions, and other monsters, were quickly cleared away. And their bodies were all collected by Sher Hao into his own universe storage space. This process lasted for about two and a half hours. After clearing away the monsters, Sher Hao said to the students, teachers, and superhumans in the school, everyone can move to the city center. It's relatively safe over there. The mayor of Beihai City, Yi Tian Bei, will take care of everyone. Sher Hao's voice spread and entered the ears of everyone. He brought hope to everyone. After hearing this, everyone was extremely excited. Wow! Sher Hao is really strong. In just one day, he actually got to know the mayor of our Beihai City. Yes, listen to Sher Hao's words, this mayor Yi really listens to Sher Hao. That's great, we have a backer, we can survive. It's really great, we don't have to die. Everyone was very happy. Okay, let's go back to the city center. Don't worry, we'll go find Mayor Yi. We'll all go. At the same time, everyone responded to Sher Hao, expressing their understanding of the situation. All superhumans, protect these students and teachers well. 
Don't let anyone get hurt. If there's anything, let Ultra Mantiga come and inform me. Sure Hao quickly gave these two instructions. After all, this is his alma mater. When Sure Hao awakened his superpowers, it was in his alma mater. He has a special feeling for his alma mater. So, Sure Hao takes care of everything and everyone at his alma mater. One should not forget their roots, it is only natural. Moreover, this time he came to protect everyone and also hunted down many monsters, gaining fresh flesh and more magic cores. After finishing his instructions, Sure Hao looked at Ultraman Tiga and said, Tiga, you've worked hard. Take good care of yourself, we'll handle everything from here. Yes, we believe in you, the awakened twin gods of creation. Ultraman Tiga nodded repeatedly in response. Both Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Dina were relatively reliable superhumans. Sure Hao trusted them more, so he would assign them some tasks. And Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Dina did not disappoint, they performed well and were reassuring. Not far away, Xia Moxian awakened Zhong Xian struggled hard, using her Bala Bala energy to catch up. At this moment, she was panting heavily, and the treasure hidden in her clothes was fluctuating up and down. Zhong Xian was exhausted. As soon as she arrived, Zhong Xian heard Shi Hao giving instructions and immediately understood that Shi Hao was about to leave. Ah, I just arrived. My husband Shi Hao is leaving me again. It's terrible. I've been chasing after this man all my life. I'm like the Kwafu who chases the sun, exhausted. Zhong Xian's beautiful face drooped, showing a tired expression. She looked at the King Yao Mei on top of Shi Hao's head and couldn't help but envy her. If I had known, I would have changed my screen name to King Yao Mei. That way, I could hang on top of my husband's head for a lifetime, without having to work so hard. That way, I wouldn't have to chase the sun so hard like Kwafu. Ah, ah, ah. Zhong Xian sighed repeatedly. If heaven were willing to give her a chance, she would definitely change her screen name. Unfortunately, heaven would not give Zhong Xian such an opportunity. She couldn't change her screen name, nor could she regain a completely new superpower. At this moment, Shi Hao's gaze fell on Zhong Xian. Shi Hao was the awakened twin gods of creation, able to hear from all directions and see in all directions. His insight was very keen. In an instant, Shi Hao noticed Zhong Xian. Looking at Zhong Xian's well-developed chest, fluctuating up and down, Shi Hao was somewhat surprised. Ha! This little fairy's perseverance is really impressive. She actually chased all the way here. She really is persistent. Shi Hao secretly thought, extremely surprised. Zhong Xian felt that she had been noticed by Shi Hao and couldn't help but focus her gaze on him, locking eyes with this awakened twin gods of creation. With their eyes meeting, Zhong Xian's body softened, her gaze becoming fiery, and she looked pitiful. Husband Shi Hao. Zhong Xian murmured, her eyes full of longing, hoping that Shi Hao would take her in. Shi Hao said, Zhong Xian, stay with the team at the school, don't wander around. I'll come back later. Seeing this little fairy running around just to chase after him was really tiring. So, Shi Hao simply let her stay at the school with the teachers and students. If there was still fate in the future, Shi Hao would come find her and fulfill her desires. Listening to Shi Hao's words, Zhong Xian felt a bit displeased. She wanted to be with Shi Hao more than staying at the school, following him like King Yao Mei. However, Zhong Xian wanted to show some obedience and consideration. So, Zhong Xian agreed to what Shi Hao said. Yes, okay. Shi Hao, I'll listen to you. I will protect everyone. Zhong Xian straightened her impressive chest, looking confident. At the same time, she behaved very obediently and compliantly, hoping to be so sensible and not at all rude or arrogant, in order to make sure how happy. Shi Hao nodded in response, indicating that there was no problem. Afterwards, the awakened little fairy, Zhong Xian, joined the team of supernaturals at Ijong School and began to protect everyone. Many students and teachers around Zhong Xian were very interested in her. It was because this little fairy had a great figure, with a prominent front and a raised back, and fair skin like milk. Wherever a beauty goes, she is popular. Upon her arrival, she received a warm welcome, which put Zhong Xian at ease. Not far away, Su Muru also arrived. She overheard the conversation between Shi Hao and Zhong Xian. Su Muru thought for a moment, she could transform into wind, so if something happened in the school, she could rush to Shi Hao's location and inform him immediately. Therefore, Su Muru also planned to stay in the school and help the survivors there evacuate. As for Shi Hao, after he finished explaining things, he hurried to the central location. There were still some demons causing trouble in the central area. Shi Hao had to go and help. Moreover, after helping out, all the survivors and supernaturals in Beihai City would probably need to reorganize and arrange new places for them to live. At that time, Shi Hao also needed to choose a suitable place and find some reliable supernaturals to help him dig out magic cores. The world is being invaded by demons, and some animals and plants around the world will also undergo changes. 
Later on, the whole earth will start to expand, the surface will become harder, and it will not be scarred by the impact of battles. However, during the period of the earth's expansion, hardening, and enlargement, all the buildings on this earth will probably collapse because of changes in the surface and underground structures. Reinforced concrete will be broken, and all buildings will collapse. By then, a new city will definitely need to be built. Before the formation of the new city, the supernaturals will be the solid city walls, protecting all the survivors within the city walls. When Shurhao set off, he thought about these things. These were all things Shurhao experienced in his previous life. However, at that time, there were no awakened individuals as outstanding as himself in Beihai City. This led to the complete destruction of Beihai City later on. But before the city was destroyed, Shurhao heard some satellite broadcasts spreading news. It was that the Dragon Kingdom would establish five major cities to resist these invading demons. If any survivors or supernaturals heard the news, they could go to these four major cities and jointly shoulder the responsibility of the survival of the human race. These five major cities are Baidou City, Nanjiang City, Zhengyu City, Xijing City, and Donghai City. These were the new five cities formed by the fusion of official forces. Other cities have basically been abandoned, and there will be no strong official forces involved. The abandoned cities, big and small, have to rely on their own efforts to escape from their original cities and rush to the new cities, joining and integrating into the new cities. However, Shur Hao died in his previous life and did not see the five new cities. But Shur Hao felt that in this life, with his existence, Beihai City would not be destroyed. By then, behind the Dragon Kingdom, there would be Beihai City and Baida City, the two major cities that had undergone changes. And the Dragon Kingdom would no longer be the five new cities, but the six new cities. And all of this would require Shur Hao's great efforts. Beihai City was where Shur Hao lived. Honestly, Shur Hao was unwilling to give up Beihai City and join other new cities. Of course, if it really came to a point where it was necessary, Shur Hao would discuss with city lord Yi Tian Bei and have everyone move to a new city. Shur Hao's principle was to achieve the well-being of the world and be virtuous when in poverty. In a truly desperate situation, Shur Hao would prioritize self-preservation over self-sacrifice. Above Shur Hao's head, Wang Jiayame recalled the figure of the little fairy Zhong Xian just now, feeling a twinge of jealousy. Hoof, trying to steal my man. That's too much. But I can always stay above Shur Hao's head, you can't. Hoof, I win, he he. So happy. Wang Jiayao Mei felt victorious and very happy. It is normal for women to be jealous and competitive with each other, just as men can be jealous of each other. Sometimes, men can even fight to the death because of a woman. Otherwise, Lao Wang wouldn't have climbed to the rooftop at great risk and died from falling blood. On Shi Hao's side, his figure floated in the void, empowered by the power of Thanos. Although in the void, Shi Hao's body continued to move forward. Soon, Shi Hao returned to the center of Beihai City. Shi Hao saw Yi Tian Bei transformed into a flaming vermilion bird, battling some flying demon creatures in midair. These creatures included demon crows and demon eagles, very fierce. Among the demon crows and demon eagles, there were two big bosses, with huge sizes. These two big bosses were very formidable. Yi Tian Bei, in the form of a flaming vermilion bird, mainly adopted a pulling principle, constantly pulling and engaging in guerrilla warfare. During Yi Tianbei's movements, he evaded the attacks of the two giant creatures and took the opportunity to kill some weaker demons, thereby weakening the overall strength of the demon army. This could greatly relieve the pressure on the human race. Seeing this, Shi Hao shouted, Lord Yi, I'll assist you. As he spoke, Shi Hao wielded the extremely exaggerated heavenly axe and flew into the sky. The power of Thanos allowed Shi Hao to fly. Unfortunately, this power was not fully developed. Although he could fly, his flying speed was not very fast compared to these creatures. However, these creatures were eager to prove themselves and many of them actively attacked Shur Hao instead of tactically retreating. This gave Shur Hao an opportunity. Hoof. They're just small fries. They actually dared to attack me? They're seeking death. A fierce killing intent flashed in Shur Hao's deep golden eyes. Then, Shur Hao swung the heavenly axe in his hand continuously. Buzz. The light of the divine axe resonated. Immediately, countless demon eagles and demon crows were killed by Shur Hao. The bodies of these creatures fell from the sky and crashed heavily onto the ground. Yi Tian Bei saw Shur Hao, the awakened creator twin god, coming to help and felt a significant reduction in pressure. Great! Shur Hao is here to help me. Truly worthy of being the creator twin god, with his help, my pressure has greatly reduced. Yi Tian Bei thought to himself, feeling extremely excited. This was the first time Shur Hao had helped him hunt demons. It must be said that the feeling of fighting alongside a powerful ally was truly wonderful. Yi Tian Bei unleashed his full power, 
constantly opening his vermilion bird's giant beak and spewing out terrifying flames to battle these creatures. Many demons were burned by the intense flames, lost their balance, and crashed to the ground. This battle was extremely exhilarating, making Yi Tian Bei feel very satisfied. It was like when you're playing a game and encounter the top-ranked player on the server, fighting side by side with them. At this moment, you can fully unleash your abilities, not afraid of losing, and engage in an exciting battle. Now, City Lord Yi Tian Bei had this feeling. Above Shurhao's head, Wang Jiayame continuously released her skills, either controlling and restraining these creatures or dealing minimal damage to attract their hatred. Wang Jiayame now felt very involved and happy. Great! Another monster has been slain. This is thanks to Yao. God, you're amazing. Yao, you're amazing too. In the midst of the fight, the King Yao sister sometimes murmurs softly. She continues to cooperate with Shur Hao in battle. Monsters in the sky are being killed one after another. The survivors and ability users on the ground, upon seeing this, all let out excited voices. Ah, ha, this is great. The awakened ones of the twin gods of creation have returned. Look up in the sky, those flying monsters are constantly falling and being killed. This is a good sign. Come on, we can win. Beat these damn monsters back to where they came from. Yes, send them back to their old homes. Not only that, we will also pursue these temporal and spatial turbulence and completely destroy their homes. These ability users and survivors all let out excited voices, each one filled with great enthusiasm. The morale of the human race suddenly soared. However, some of the awakened ones with online usernames had ulterior motives. Three awakened ones with online usernames actually began collecting the corpses of fallen monsters on the ground, attempting to extract the magic cores from their bodies. One ability user held a sword of raging fire and used it to continuously dig into the corpses of these monsters, searching for magic cores. Another ability user had skin that turned into a special steel material and kept digging for magic cores. The last ability user was covered in stone, resembling a stone man, and also continuously dug for magic cores. Sure how, in the sky, saw all of this. He couldn't help but snort. Who is digging for magic cores? Stop your foolish actions. Otherwise, don't blame me for being impolite. Sure how's voice, like rolling thunder, resounded in the sky. The entire space became slightly distorted as a result. The three awakened ones who were digging for magic cores were suddenly startled. They didn't expect that Sher Hao, who was engaged in battle, was actually paying attention to the movements on the ground. This twin god of creation had eyes that were too sharp, observing every move below. Originally, the three of them planned to take advantage of the situation. Now that they had been exposed, they all became honest and stopped their actions. After all, they had already seen the consequences of the three Marvel heroes awakened ones, and these three didn't want to die. Seeing that his threat was effective, Sher Hao shifted his gaze away and continued to battle the monsters in the sky. That's too much. You better behave. Yao is watching you. Don't touch what doesn't belong to you. Otherwise, Yao will give you a slap. The awakened Yao sister spoke angrily. She also warned the ability users on the ground, causing everyone to refrain from acting recklessly. At the same time, the awakened Yao sister widened her beautiful eyes and observed every move below, like a surveillance camera. Being watched by the awakened Yao sister, these people indeed became much more honest. There was no choice, when this world became more peaceful, there would always be some avatar awakened ones who would start to stir, wanting to seize various resources. Sure Hao could understand this point. However, these people were seizing the resources that Sure Hao had personally hunted and killed monsters for. This was something Sure Hao couldn't forgive. He wouldn't say anything if they were robbing others, but if they were robbing him, Sure Hao would be displeased. The intimidation worked. Sure Hao continued to slay monsters. Yi Tian Bei said to Sure Hao, Sure Hao, those two big ones are the kings among them. I'll leave them to you. I'll hold back and kill the smaller ones. At this moment, in the sky, the most troublesome ones were the King Eagle and the King Crow. They entangled with Yi Tian Bei, constantly pursuing him. So, Yi Tian, the Lord of the North City, quickly sent a distress signal to Sure Hao for help. Good. Leave it to me. Sure Hao nodded and responded. Then, Shurhao's figure flashed and he rushed towards the location of the two eagle kings and crow kings ahead. Yao Mei, release your skills, lure them and draw their hatred. Shurhao quickly commanded Yao Mei to help. Although Shurhao could float in the sky, his movement speed was too slow, so he needed the help of King Yao Mei to attract their hatred. As long as the eagle king and crow king attacked actively, Shurhao could easily control them. Whom? My god. King Yao Mei, the awakened one, sweetly replied to Shurhao. Then, King Yame began to release her own energy balls to attack and control the Eagle King and Crow King. These demons invaded to exterminate the human race. So, when the Eagle King and Crow King were attacked by King Yame, they were immediately enraged. 
They abandoned their original target, Yi Tian, and turned to attack Shi Hao. Buzz. The Eagle King and Crow King flapped their huge wings together and suddenly flew into the sky at a very fast speed. Their speed was extremely fast, and their mouths were extremely sharp. In the moment they charged, they were like two giant arrows, piercing through the air. The air began to emit a buzzing and restless sound. The speed of the two giant arrows was so fast that it was difficult to catch with the naked eye, only a blur could be seen. They seemed to be able to break through any defense. Great God! A Yao is ready for battle. Energy balls are ready to be unleashed. The awakened King Yao Mei's voice came sweetly, reassuring Sher Hao. Listening to King Yao Mei's voice, Sher Hao felt much more at ease. In fact, Sher Hao was not very afraid. Because the power bestowed upon him by Thanos, besides flying and shielding, was the ultimate life recovery ability. Thanos was immortal, surpassing all rules. As long as Sher Hao was still alive, he would not die. His injuries, no matter how severe, would quickly recover without leaving any lingering illnesses, and he would return to his peak state. However, Sher Hao's awakened power was not comprehensive at the moment. If there was an extremely powerful existence that could instantly crush Sher Hao, preventing him from recovering, then Sher Hao would die. But let's get back to the point. At this moment, Sher Hao was in a very critical battle. However, everyone had great trust in the abilities of this creator of the dual gods and believed that he would win. Do you also want to taste a Yao's control? King Yao Mei immediately released an energy ball and accurately controlled the Crow King. This Crow King, originally very fast like an arrow, immediately became sluggish and its speed dropped to zero, freezing in place, upon being controlled by King Yao Mei's energy ball. Discovering the truth, it immediately became angry and flapped its wings again, launching an attack with a buzzing sound. The other Eagle King had already swooped down. Ha! Trash! Die! Sher Hao's face was full of disdain as he fiercely swung his heavenly axe. Terrifying axe energy rippled around, causing the entire space to twist madly, giving a sense of fragmentation. Puff! A burst of blood suddenly splattered from the air. This attacking Eagle King was directly split in half in mid-air, its body falling straight to the ground, continuously spraying blood. In an instant, the sky seemed to rain blood. It gave a sense of bloody beauty. Looking at the falling body of the Eagle King, Sher Hao had no expression on his face. His deep golden eyes then stared at the Crow King beside it. Die! Sher Hao lowly shouted, and the power laws on his muscular body erupted once again. A majestic divine power surged out like seawater. In his hand, he held an extremely exaggerated heaven-opening divine axe and launched an attack. Boom! Waves of divine axe energy shook and emitted a buzzing sound. Puff! Then, the heaven-opening divine axe killed the demon Crow King. The fate of the demon Crow King and the demon Eagle King was the same. Their bodies were directly split in half by the exaggerated giant axe. The splattered blood rained down like a blood shower. Great! So powerful! Great God! You are truly amazing! King Yao Mei looked at Sher Hao with admiration. She really admired Sher Hao's abilities and developed a sense of admiration and love for him. If possible, King Yao Mei really wanted to bear children for this great deity, pass on the lineage, and benefit the human race. In the distance, City Lord Yi Tian Bei saw the simultaneous fall of the Demon Eagle King and the Demon Crow King, with a pleased smile on his face. Sure how? Awaken twin gods. You are truly powerful. Dealing with these two kings of birds makes the rest much easier. Thank you so much. Yi Tian Bei, who had transformed into the Vermilion Bird of the Blaze, expressed his gratitude. Sure how's combat power was extremely fierce, just as Yi Tian Bei had imagined. He felt that with Sure how in North Sea City, it was the fortune of the entire city. Countless ancestral graves in North Sea City were emitting green smoke, which brought them good luck and the protection of Sher Hao. Sher Hao nodded slightly without saying much. After seeing that the battlefield in the sky had become much easier, he flickered and headed downwards. Now, Sher Hao wanted to collect the bodies of the Demon Eagle King, the Demon Crow King, and some other demons, and store them in his spatial storage space. There was a large quantity of fresh meat, which could be processed into canned meat to feed many people. As for the demon cores, Sher Hao would consume some himself, and if there were any leftovers, he would distribute them to those loyal and powerful awakened individuals. He must control these resources in his own hands. Otherwise, North Sea City would be in chaos later on. Without proper planning, the city would not be able to withstand the invasion of the next wave of demons. Therefore, Sher Hao, who had experienced the previous life, had to plan ahead and use strong measures. Otherwise, everything would be in vain. Collect. Sher Hao released his spatial storage space ability and continuously absorbed the bodies of these demons. Of course, he prioritized absorbing the bodies of powerful demons. The surrounding ability users and survivors couldn't help but show envy. They all wanted to have such a powerful ability as Sher Hao's. 
A portable space would make life very convenient. Not far away, the awakened great white shark muttered to himself, fortunately, I'm smart. Every time I hunt demons, I eat them directly. Not only do I taste the fresh meat, but I also eat the demon cores. Tsk tsk, the taste of the demon cores mixed with the demon meat is really refreshing. Especially after strengthening my own combat power, my whole body feels very comfortable. This feeling is even more satisfying. The awakened great white shark looked pleased. He transformed into a giant shark with a huge body, capable of eating many things. Therefore, when this awakened great white shark was in battle, he would devour demons and swallow their demon cores, taking advantage of the situation. At this moment, not far away, a nimble cat suddenly ran towards Sher Hao. It was a magical cat emitting a faint magical energy, with purple magical light flashing as it moved. Its speed was extremely fast, and it instantly arrived in front of Sher Hao. Sher Hao naturally noticed this nimble magical cat and felt that it was cute and familiar. And at this moment, this agile magic cat leaped up and lazily lay on Sher Hao's broad right shoulder. Moreover, this magic cat entered a peculiar state, just like Wang Zheyame, it was in an invincible state where it couldn't be moved or harmed. Instantly, Sher Hao felt that all aspects of his attributes had been strengthened. Immediately, Sher Hao understood who this agile magic cat was. Yumi, the magic cat from League of Legends. I didn't expect that in this world, someone's online nickname would be Yumi the magic cat, and they have awakened their online nickname ability. I have Wang Zheyame above my head, and now I have Yumi the magic cat on my shoulder. This is truly adding wings to a tiger. Sure how thought to himself. When he was in the civilized era, he played many games. So, sure how naturally knew who Wang Zheyame and Yumi the magic cat were. The skills of Wang Zheyame and Yumi the magic cat were very similar, both mainly attached to teammates, entering an invincible state, and during that time, they would release skills to assist teammates in dealing damage. Now that he had Wang Zheyame awakened in Yumi the magic cat, Sher Hao's control chain was considered sufficient. In future battles, with Yumi and Yame cooperating with each other, they could execute perfect control. Meanwhile, Sher Hao would unleash terrifying power laws to kill enemies. With this combo, Sher Hao would be invincible in the world and in the sky. Wang Zheyame looked at the cat on Sher Hao's shoulder and immediately showed a look of fondness. Ha! Huh, kitty! There's actually a cute little kitty here? Are you also an awakened online nickname user? Wang Zheyame was very interested in Yumi the magic cat on Sher Hao's shoulder. However, she didn't know what role this cat had. Little girls all like to raise dogs and cats, they are very fond of cute animals. Therefore, Wang Zheyame instantly liked Yumi the magic cat and wanted to pet it. Meow I am an awakened online nickname user. Yumi the magic cat made a meowing sound. Then, she let out a soft and beautiful voice, a bit like an elegant lady. This voice was very pleasant to listen to, it made people feel relaxed and comfortable. After hearing this, Sher Hao was stunned for a moment. He didn't expect that on his right shoulder, there was actually a beauty who had transformed into Yumi the magic cat. In fact, Sher Hao had just noticed it. With a man on the left and a woman on the right, Yumi the magic cat lying on his right shoulder must be a woman. However, whether she was beautiful or not, that was unknown. After all, Sher Hao only heard her voice, which was pleasant to listen to. But whether she was as beautiful as Tank Kayabiluo, that would depend on her real appearance. So you really are an awakened online nickname user. Your voice is really nice to listen to, so soothing and charming. Wang Zheyame couldn't help but speak. Her eyes sparkled, she really liked this kind of voice. However, Wang Zheyame also had some worries, afraid that Yumi the magic cat would compete with her for men. Meow Yumi the magic cat made a lazy sound and didn't reply. Then, she had a lazy expression on her face, half closed her eyes, looking like she was about to fall asleep. At the same time, Yumi the magic cat's fluffy tail would occasionally pat Sher Hao's shoulder, as if expressing that it was safe and comfortable here. Sher Hao looked at the little cat and smiled lightly. Yumi, if you want to lie here, then lie down. But when it's time to fight, you need to help. You can't just laze around here. Understand? Sher Hao communicated with Yumi the magic cat and looked at her with interest. Honestly, Sher Hao also quite liked cute little cats. Meow, I understand, I can fight, don't worry. Yumi the magic cat replied seriously with a determined face. Previously, she was lying on the shoulder of the awakened wolverine, helping him in battle. However, that awakened wolverine was too weak. The magic cat Yumi noticed the presence of Sher Hao and found a good opportunity, so she quickly came over and lay on Sher Hao's body. Listening to Yumi's words, Sher Hao felt relieved, that's good. And not far away, the wolverine awakener, holding a very sharp wolf claw, had a painful and lost expression on his face. Sigh. My Yumi, finally left me. I'm too weak, I can't compare to this primordial god awakener. Sigh. 
Am I really inferior to the primordial twin god Awakener as a Marvel hero Awakener? I refuse to accept it. The Wolverine Awakener looked at Yumi on sure how shoulder and couldn't help but sigh. And he had a face full of unwillingness. This Wolverine Awakener was very unwilling. He even had an impulse to challenge Sher Hao and take back everything that belonged to him. However, his own combat power was a bit weak, so this Wolverine Awakener had a hesitant look. Come on, what are you afraid of? I can help you. Beside him, there was a crimson venom, speaking up. This venom was different from the previous black venom. This venom was called Crimson Slaughter, a madman who loved killing. You'll help me? The other venom is already dead, and you're going to help me? If you're not afraid of death, then go, don't drag me into it. The Wolverine Awakener shook his head and directly refused. Although the Wolverine Awakener possessed terrifying explosive power and had a fast recovery speed, even if his body was pierced by bullets, he could still recover quickly. But if he were to be chopped down by Sher Hao's axe, he would die directly, with no follow-up. He didn't dare to provoke Sher Hao. TSK TSK TSK. Yumi ran away with someone else. You don't even dare to fart. I think you should be called Wolverine Turtle, not Wolverine. The Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener mocked and even laughed arrogantly. Just now, he saw the Wolverine Awakener lying on Sher Hao with a lazy magic cat Yumi, and he was very envious. And now, the magic cat Yumi Awakener chose the more powerful Sher Hao. So the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener came over to mock the Wolverine Awakener and encouraged him to take risks. And at this moment, there was a Joker Awakener on the side, playing with a pair of sharp daggers in his hand, as if performing magic tricks, the sharp daggers in his hand were constantly switching between his two hands without hurting his fingers. Kill. What are you afraid of? Kill. I'll help you, kill everything. The Joker Awakener licked his tongue and showed a crazy expression. When humans awaken their pseudonym superpowers, they may be influenced by the superpowers themselves, causing their personalities to undergo significant changes. For example, this Joker Awakener, Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener, their dark sides are infinitely magnified. Resisting monsters is just self-preservation for them. Destroying the world is their pleasure. Just like not far away, there was a Hannibal Awakener. At this moment, the Hannibal Awakener was licking his own tongue, with an excited expression on his face. He held a very sharp kitchen knife in his hand and walked towards a dead superpower. The Hannibal Awakener had a very satisfied look on his face. Powerful superpowers, delicious, delicious. The Hannibal Awakener was very excited, licking the kitchen knife in his hand, and his expression was full of sickness. The awakened pseudonyms on the internet are mixed. There are righteous superpowers, and there are also evil superpowers. That's how the world is, either black or white, both coexist. Give it up, just you? Just a madman, without any ability. The Wolverine Awakener shook his head and rejected the Joker Awakener's proposal. He felt that this Joker Awakener was simply a madman, a madman who only wanted to cause destruction. To be honest, Wolverine Awakeners are a bit eager to use their sharp claws to solve the problem, so as not to let this clown mess with them. However, the Joker Awakener doesn't seem to care. He has a crazy smile on his face, with a hint of contemplation in his expression. After a moment of contemplation, he seems to have come up with an idea. Got it. I need a lot of bombs. I want to create a huge art piece that will make all humans and creatures remember me. He he he. The Joker Awakener laughed, with a sinister gleam in his eyes. That's enough. You guys can go crazy on your own. The Wolverine Awakener muttered under his breath, then turned and left. Compared to explosives, the Wolverine Awakener believes that he needs magic cores more. As long as he consumes enough magic cores, the Wolverine Awakener feels that he can possess the power comparable to that of the Genesis Twin Gods Awakener. However, the Genesis Twin Gods also consume magic cores, which gives the Wolverine Awakener a headache. On the other hand, the Crimson Venom Awakener wore an evil smile. He looked at the Joker Awakener with great admiration. Ha ha ha. I've found someone with similar interests. Joker Awakener, I can help you get explosives. Let's cooperate. The Crimson Venom Awakener laughed and patted the Joker Awakener's shoulder. Ha ha ha. Good, good, good. The Joker Awakener laughed and also patted the Crimson Venom Awakener's shoulder. The two of them looked like brothers. Meanwhile, the Wolverine Awakener started to think. The greater the power, the greater the responsibility. The taller the tree, the stronger the wind. The Genesis Twin God's Awakener is so strong, he will definitely be targeted by more crazies like the Joker Awakener in the future. By then, there will definitely be more creatures targeting him. By then, the Genesis Twin Gods will be outnumbered and may lose. Yumi, my magical cat, I fell in love with you the moment I heard your voice. I will take you back. The Wolverine Awakener's eyes were filled with determination. 
He wanted to reclaim everything that belonged to him, just like the nearby cloud awakening awakener. He saw that there was a magical cat named Yumi on Shurhao's right shoulder, which made him very uncomfortable. He already has Wangje Yame, and now he has Yumi too. Can I have Yame back? The cloud awakening awakener thought to himself, his eyes filled with longing. Around him, many survivors and ability users noticed the magical cat Yumi on Shurhao's right shoulder and couldn't help but envy him. That's Yumi. This Genesis Twin God's Awakener is so lucky, not only does he have Wangje Yame, but also Yumi. I'm so jealous. Yes, I'm very envious. I'm so envious that I'm about to burst. This magical cat Yumi seems to be a stunning beauty, and her voice is so pleasant. Yes, her voice is so pleasant. It's hard to imagine how wonderful it would be in bed. Stop it, I'm already so envious. Envious, jealous, and hateful. I also want to have the treatment of the Genesis Twin God's Awakener. That's only if you have their strength. Many people around were discussing enthusiastically. They were all envious of sure how's current situation, being embraced by beautiful women. It was an explosive feeling. As for sure how, he worked hard to collect the bodies of various creatures into his cosmic storage space. During the process, he didn't let go of the bodies of some ability users and also stored them in his cosmic storage space. Boom! At this moment, a loud rumbling sound suddenly came from the distance. Along with the rumbling sound, a large amount of dust flew up in the distance, making the whole world look hazy. It can be seen from this that there must have been a fierce battle not far away. Then, a huge eagle flew over from a distance. This eagle, judging from its appearance, was very powerful, with feathers as strong as molten iron. But this huge war eagle looked extremely panicked, as if it had experienced something terrible. From its appearance, sure how could determine that this war eagle was an awakened netizen, not a monster. What happened? Are there large monsters in the distance? Sure how thought to himself, immediately feeling the urge to fight. Ha! There's a war eagle fleeing. What's happening? We probably need to help. Wang Jiayame spoke to Sure Hao, her voice sweet. Hmm. Sure Hao responded calmly. Meow you are you ready for battle? Wang Jiayao may asked the magic cat Yumi. Meow always ready. Yumi responded. She was no longer in her lazy state, her eyes filled with determination. And Yumi, the magic cat, also brought out a magic book that had been pressed under her body and began flipping through its pages. After the war eagle approached, its fierce eagle head transformed into a human face. It was the face of a middle-aged man, looking resolute. However, on this resolute face, there was a look of worry and anxiety. Something's wrong. The North CSSS level prison has been breached. There are prisoners who have awakened powerful netizen abilities and have broken through. Now, our military strength has been severely damaged. Those who are capable, please come out and help in the fight. The war eagle was very anxious, quickly explaining the situation and earnestly requesting the assistance of the present awakened individuals. He looked around and saw the awakened individuals with large bodies, such as the awakened swordfish, awakened Godzilla, the awakened crimson antivirus venom, and the awakened clown, feeling that there might be a chance for a battle. If these awakened netizens are willing to help against those dead prisoners, it will surely be a 50-50 chance, and we can have a fight. The War Eagle awakened thought to himself, feeling that there were still talented individuals in the North Sea City. However, suddenly, the War Eagle awakened's gaze fell on Sher Hao. Hiss. This. Is this Pangu and Thanos? One person has awakened the power of two creation gods, this is too terrifying. And, what is that? A very beautiful dear woman. It seems to be Wang Jie Yame. Not only that, there is a cat on his broad right arm, reading a magic book. This person is too strong. The War Eagle Awakened couldn't help but take a cold breath. He didn't expect that such terrifying awakened netizens would appear in the North Sea City. In this case, as long as Sure Hao was willing to take action, those dead prisoners would surely die today. Thinking of this, the War Eagle Awakened became excited. Captain Wei, are you saying that the SSS level prison's dead prisoners have awakened powerful netizen abilities, breached the prison, and escaped? A voice came, filled with anger and killing intent. The War Eagle Awakened felt familiar and couldn't help but look over. With a look, the War Eagle Awakened was dumbfounded. He saw Yi Tianbei, the city lord, who had transformed into a blazing phoenix and soared in the sky. Flames burned on its body, causing the temperature around it to rise sharply, emitting an unparalleled pressure that made people dare not oppose it. Even Lord Yi has awakened powerful netizen abilities. Yes, I understand. Lord Ye's code name within the official organization is Xu Kei. So, it's perfectly normal for him to awaken netizen abilities and gain the power of the Blazing Phoenix. Just like how I am known as the Warhawk within the organization. The awakened Warhawk immediately understood what was going on. 
Surprised, he quickly replied, You're right, Lord Yeching, the situation is very dangerous now. Those prisoners, in this civilized era, find pleasure in destroying the world. Now that they have awakened powerful online abilities, they have started to wreak havoc in our city. Many of our team members and survivors have already perished. The most terrifying are the five individuals with the codenames Bull Demon King, Poison Scorpion, Poison Snake, Fierce Boar, and Ghost Hand. These five are the most formidable, and they have a group of subordinates too. It's chaotic over there. As the Warhawk spoke, he looked in the direction he came from, where thick smoke billowed and intense collisions could be heard from time to time. That was where Bull Demon King, Poison Scorpion, Ghost Hand, and others, after breaking out of prison, were causing massive destruction and engaging in battles with righteous online awakened individuals. Upon hearing this, Yeching's fiery eyes flashed with anger. Hoof. To think that these fugitives took advantage and escaped from prison. Regaining their freedom, they show no gratitude and instead engage in destruction. Captain Wei, these fugitives have awakened online abilities and possess formidable combat power. We must eliminate all of them. Otherwise, we will face endless trouble. Ye Cheng spoke up. He had already harbored murderous intent, and at this moment, a strong flame ignited on his body, causing the temperature around him to rise sharply, making many people feel hot enough to take off their clothes. I know that. That's why I came seeking assistance. The Warhawk responded. Their conversation was public and not treated as confidential. Therefore, many survivors and individuals with abilities in the vicinity heard everything. They all became anxious and fearful. Damn it, those prisoners in the SSS prison have awakened online abilities. We're done for. Those are all scum among the human race, harming their own kind. They deserve to die. This is outrageous. Even these prisoners can awaken online abilities. Why can't I awaken? I really want to awaken online abilities and join the fight. We should run quickly. Those people kill without hesitation. They can kill dozens of people in just two and a half minutes. It's extremely terrifying. That's right. If we don't run now, when they come, even if they die, they will drag down many innocent people with them. That prisoner Bull Demon King actually awakened online abilities. Damn. This villain made international news when he was captured. He dominated the hot search rankings. I thought he would never cause trouble again, but I didn't expect him to break through the SSS level prison today. We need to run for our lives. Even if we can defeat the gods, we still need to escape to avoid being dragged down to hell. The surrounding survivors began to discuss fervently, like a boiling oil pot, filled with intense agitation. They all appeared fearful, and some had already started running towards a safer place in the distance. The SSS level prison was a well-known prison in Beihai City, where extremely brutal prisoners were held. These prisoners were executed one by one. However, there were still some prisoners who hadn't been executed, mainly because they held some secrets and were waiting to be unearthed. And now, they had caught up with the apocalypse and unexpectedly awakened online abilities. This allowed these prisoners to see the light of day once again. This luck was fair to everyone, not just favoring the good but also favoring the bad. Nearby, some individuals with weaker combat abilities felt fear just by listening. Although they have awakened their online pseudonyms, their own abilities are relatively weak. Before obtaining these abilities, they were just ordinary people and did not receive professional training. Therefore, they feel scared and want to escape, which is normal. Not far away, the Crimson Slaughter Venom licked his lips and said, I seem to have found an organization. If they can win, I want to join them. The Crimson Slaughter Venom is naturally violent and enjoys killing. He wants to join the organization of people like the Bull Demon King and the Ghost Hand. Beside the Crimson Slaughter Venom, the Joker Awakener revealed a crazy smile. They can definitely get explosives. As long as these people can survive, I want to join them. He he. Next, I want to enjoy the beautiful battle scenes. The Joker Awakener laughed, and his laughter and smile sent shivers down people's spines. Some awakened individuals and survivors around them instinctively distanced themselves. The Wolverine Awakener remained silent. He was a selfish person who would stand with whoever could help him survive and benefit him. Slurp. We can find more food soon. The Hannibal Awakener showed an excited smile and licked the sharp knife and fork in his hand. He loved beautiful food the most. And on this battlefield, there was fresh food everywhere, very delicious. Hannibal felt like he was at a buffet, and it was free, so he felt like a winner in life. In the sky, Lord Yi Tian Bei looked at Chur Hao and quickly said, Respected Awakeners of the Twin Gods of Creation, please help us, fight with us, and eliminate those death row prisoners with online pseudonyms and abilities. Otherwise, our North Sea City will be finished. In North Sea City, the most powerful awakened individual was Sher Hao. He awakened the powers of Thanos and Pangu, and was assisted by the awakened individuals King Yao Mei and Magic Cat Yumi. 
Lord Yi Tianbei believed that Shi Hao could successfully kill the enemies. Please, awakeners of the twin gods of creation, take action. Captain Wei, who had transformed into a battle hawk, also pleaded with a very respectful tone. He was a shrewd person and, through observation, noticed that Lord Yi Tianbei showed great respect towards Shi Hao, indicating that Shi Hao was very powerful. Shi Hao had already heard their conversation and knew what was going on. In fact, in his previous life, Shi Hao had a general idea of the death row prisoners from the SSS level prison coming out to destroy North Sea City. However, in his previous life, Shi Hao's abilities were too weak. Although he awakened the ability of the Wine Sword Immortal, which could control thousands of swords, the problem was that this was the civilized era. Where would he find thousands of swords just invaded by monsters? So, he couldn't fight these death row prisoners at all. In this life, however, this responsibility fell on his shoulders. Shi Hao naturally couldn't refuse. Moreover, the bodies of these powerful awakened individuals would definitely contain magic cores, also known as crystal cores. Consuming them would bring tremendous benefits to the body. Whether it was for the magic cores or for fame and fortune, Shi Hao had to take action. Besides, North Sea City was his hometown, and Shi Hao didn't want his hometown to be destroyed. No problem. Lord Yi, Captain Wei, leave these death row prisoners to me, Shi Hao proudly said. As he spoke, his voice rolled out like thunder, resonating between heaven and earth, full of momentum. Upon hearing this powerful and thunderous voice, Lord Yi and Captain Wei, the two awakened individuals, felt relieved. Good, this is great. With you here, we can rest assured. Captain Wei showed an excited smile. This time, they finally got some reinforcements. Great God, with Yao by your side, Yao will fight with you to the end. We fear nothing, and we will be invincible. Wang Jiao clenched her fists tightly, showing a determined look. Her voice was pleasant to listen to, but also inspiring. After hearing her words, many superhumans and survivors around became confident. Meow go for it. Don't be afraid. Yumi, the magical cat, also spoke with a pleasant voice, expressing her own determination. Fight with me. Shi Hao shouted, holding the panga giant axe in his hand, and actively rushed towards the thick smoke ahead. Now, about 80% of the monsters in the North Sea City have been cleared. The most powerful monsters have been killed. The remaining monsters are just some small fry that many internet-named superhumans can handle. Now, the most urgent task is to subdue the death row prisoners who have awakened their internet-named abilities. In a certain sense, these death row prisoners are even more excessive than the monsters invading the earth. After Shi Hao rushed out, Yi Tianbei, who had transformed into Zhu Kei, left a trail of flames in the sky and also actively rushed forward. Captain Wei, who had transformed into a war eagle, spread his wings and swiftly flew away. The awakened individuals, such as the Megalodon Awakener, Godzilla Awakener, Wolverine Awakener, and Zhong Kuei Awakener, were all very conscious and rushed to the battlefield. The survivors stayed where they were and dared not move. Here, Shi Hao quickly arrived at the battlefield. When he arrived, he immediately saw a huge demon bull rampaging. The demon bull was pitch black all over, with a terrifying black mist emanating from its body, giving off an eerie feeling. Its eyes were crimson, about the size of a basketball. Its horns were extremely huge, exuding an imposing aura as if it could break through any defense in the world. Boom! As the bull demon king ran, the ground trembled violently, as if a giant was beating a drum, causing countless debris from buildings to jump around. Puff! In front of the bull demon king, there was a huge turtle that was immediately pierced through its shell and slammed into various building materials in front, causing severe impact on the ground. Captain Wei, who was in the sky, couldn't help but let out a mournful cry. Turtle! Old one, don't die. Captain Wei's eyes were filled with grief and anger. This giant turtle was one of Captain Wei's subordinates, codenamed Turtle within the organization. After awakening his internet-named ability, he could transform into a giant turtle with strong defense and biting power. However, the mobility of this giant turtle was too weak. It was directly crushed by the bull demon king, continuously dragged, and suffered secondary damage. Seeing his subordinate being severely injured and on the verge of death, Captain Wei was truly burning with anger and extremely distressed. Bastard! Your opponent is me! Shi Hao shouted, holding the exaggerated pango axe in his hand, and actively rushed out. In his deep golden eyes, a fierce killing intent burst forth. At this moment, Shi Hao had the intention to kill. These bastards had such powerful internet-named abilities, yet they didn't go after the monsters invading the earth, but instead turned their blades against their own compatriots. This was simply unforgivable. Along with Shi Hao's attack, Wang Jiao, the awakened individual, and Yumi, the awakened magical cat, were both prepared. Once Shi Hao launched his attack, at the right moment, 
the two beauties would use their control skills to interrupt the enemy's attacks and help Sher Hao win. Seeing Sher Hao wielding the heavenly god axe and launching an attack, the bull demon king that had previously knocked the giant turtle away immediately noticed Sher Hao's presence. The bull demon king immediately became serious. Its crimson eyes stared closely at Sher Hao. Anyone who knew about Pangu and Thanos would know the death row prisoner who awakened the power of the bull demon king naturally knew how terrifying these two were. It's actually the awakeners of Pangu and Thanos. This person's strength is incredibly terrifying. I never expected that someone in the North Sea City would awaken such a dangerous ability. Today, there will be a fierce battle. Damn, this is really damn. In this way, my plan to destroy the entire North Sea City is going to be ruined. The Bull Demon King Awakener felt extremely angry. He didn't expect to encounter such a terrifying powerhouse like Sure How after breaking out of the SSS level prison. How can he fight this? Honestly, the battle hasn't even started yet. The Bull Demon King Awakener felt inferior and didn't feel like fighting anymore. In the sky, a blazing fire swept by. Yi Tian, the Lord of the North City, transformed into the Vermilion Bird of the Blaze and looked down coldly. Bull Demon King, you bastard. You should have stayed hidden in the prison. How dare you come out and cause trouble. Now, this world is already in chaos, and the secrets you hold are useless. Today, you will undoubtedly be killed by us here. Yi Tian angrily spoke, his fiery eyes filled with killing intent. This awakener with the codename Bull Demon King is related to a criminal organization and knows some secrets and hideouts. However, this person is very stubborn and won't reveal anything. So, his life has been hanging by a thread, enduring torture every day, trying to extract valuable information. But who knew that with the invasion of these monsters, the entire human race suffered a major blow. Fortunately, some lucky humans began to awaken powerful abilities to resist these monsters. This Bull Demon King Awakener also awakened a powerful internet alias ability as a result. Now, his secrets are useless. It's because some of those criminals might have been devoured by the monsters, while others who awaken strong internet alias abilities might continue to roam free. With the information provided by this Bull Demon King Awakener, it is impossible to arrest those people or find their hideouts. Everything will have to start from scratch. And these evil ability users who pose a threat to the North Sea City must all be eliminated to maintain the city's safety and order. Kill. Awakener of the Creator, kill this Bull Demon King Awakener. He is the most powerful criminal. Once he is killed, the other criminals will be as weak as chickens and dogs, unable to withstand a single blow. Beside him, Captain Wei, who transformed into a war hawk, shouted angrily. His hawk-like eyes were filled with fierce killing intent. Just now, Captain Wei witnessed his subordinates being seriously injured by this Bull Demon King Awakener, now barely clinging to life, like a candle in the wind, with a faint risk of death. Now, Captain Wei's mind is filled with revenge, hoping that Sher Hao will act quickly and kill this ringleader. Just you guys? You want to kill me? Even if I die, I will bring down the entire North Sea City and make you accompany me in death. The Bull Demon King Awakener roared in anger, then stomped on the ground and let out a long howl towards the sky. His voice reverberated throughout the world, causing half of the North Sea City to feel like an earthquake had occurred, with the space starting to distort and a faint feeling of fragmentation. Around him, some weaker ability users and survivors immediately felt extremely frightened, trembling uncontrollably, and fled the battlefield. Scorpion, Snake, Ghost Hand, Fierce Boar, and everyone, fight with me. Kill one, break even, kill two, profit, kill three, make a killing. Today, let the North Sea City become a ruined city. Release all the anger in your hearts. The Bull Demon King Awakener roared in anger. He led his subordinates and launched a counterattack, launching indiscriminate attacks. Standing beside the Bull Demon King Awakener were countless internet alias Awakeners, fighting side by side with him. The most eye-catching are the five Awaken users with the usernames Poison Scorpion, Poison Snake, Ghost Hand, and Fierce Boar, who seem like generals. The Poison Scorpion is an extremely large shoe, resembling a villa. Whether it's the fangs or the large stinger, they all contain terrifying venom. Being bitten by this poison scorpion basically means there is no chance of survival. The poison snake is a purple-eyed cobra that is over 30 meters long, extremely terrifying. When it moves, countless buildings and public facilities are destroyed. The ghost hand is two giant black ghost hands that suddenly appear on the ground, surrounded by a black ghostly aura. Its attack method is extremely strange and can crush those with special abilities. The black ghostly aura has a stunning effect. The fierce boar is a wild boar the size of a castle, charging and attacking everything around it indiscriminately, very savage. Killing one person, losing money. Killing two people, making a profit. Kill, kill, kill. 
These awaken users with usernames start roaring and launch indiscriminate attacks on everything around them. As long as there are survivors, as long as they are enemies, these awakened users will launch fierce attacks without discrimination. Little Poison Snake, your opponent is me. The awakened user of the Megalodon roars angrily and actively kills the Poison Snake. Little Mountain Boar, your opponent is me. The awakened user of Godzilla roars and actively attacks the castle-like fierce boar. Poison Scorpion? I, the lord of this city, will burn you to death. Yi Tian Bei, the lord of the North City, carries the phoenix flame and actively kills the poison scorpion with its deadly venom. Ghost Hand? I will deal with you. The awakened user of Zhong Kue roars, holding a long chain weapon in hand, and actively kills the ghost hand standing on the ground. In addition, many other awakened users with usernames join the battle. The situation is about to explode, the whole scene is extremely intense. Bold Demon King? Little Karami. With your physique, you're not even as good as the previous world-destroying demon ape. Sure how looks at the awakened user of the bull demon king with a disdainful expression on his face. At the same time, Sure how notices the bull demon king's pair of horns, which look good and can be collected as a treasure later. Kill. Follow me and charge out. Sure how shouts slowly, wielding the exaggerated heavenly axe and actively charging out. A terrifying power law erupts from Sure how's muscular body. Buzz. A golden divine light surges, extremely dazzling. The entire space begins to distort crazily, as if it is about to shatter. At this moment, Sure How is filled with a strong killing intent and is determined to kill this awakened user of the Bull Demon. The awakened user of the Bull Demon King knows that he is no match for Sure How. He doesn't choose to confront him head on but turns around and charges towards an Esper who is controlling over a hundred long swords. Hoomph! Running? No way! Sure How coldly snorts, and his speed suddenly explodes. On Sure How's shoulder, the awakened user of the magic cat, Yumi, has been looking for the right opportunity. At this moment, Yumi sees the awakened user of the Bull Demon King retreating. She seizes the opportunity and activates her skill. Wandering Flying Missile. Slow down. On the body of the awakened user of the magic cat, Yumi, a magic ball missile condenses and, under her control, shoots out and lands steadily on the body of the awakened user of the Bull Demon King, making a loud bang sound. Immediately, the speed of this awakened user of the Bull Demon King is reduced, becoming extremely slow. Damn! What is this? The awakened user of the Bull Demon King is very confused. He feels like his body has been forcibly filled with lead water, and his mobility has become extremely slow. This makes his mood somewhat bad, and his state of mind becomes somewhat panicked. Fortunately, there is an awakened user of the Creator to help. Otherwise, I'm done for, I'll run. The Awakener who controlled a hundred long swords immediately turned around and fled, not daring to linger in battle. When he was targeted by the Bull Demon King Awakener just now, he felt hopeless. But fortunately, Sure How intervened in time, giving him a buffer to escape. Otherwise, he might really be dead. On the other side, heal, accelerate. Magic Cat Yumi once again activated her skill. This is a skill that can heal injuries and provide acceleration. Immediately, Sure How felt his body become much lighter and launched a fierce attack forward. Not bad, this Yumi. Sure How felt quite satisfied in his heart and liked this magic cat. And above Sure How's head, King Yao Mei, upon seeing the Bull Demon King Awakener being restricted, refused to be weak. Shoot, 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 I'll shoot. When the King Yao Mei Awakener entered the attack range, she immediately activated her control skill. A spirit ball condensed. Although it was only the size of a basketball, it sprinted forward incredibly lightly and finally landed on the Bull Demon King Awakener. Bang! The spirit ball shattered. This Bull Demon King Awakener, under the skill of King Yao Mei, was restricted and paused for two breaths. What was even more terrifying was that his just gathered momentum was immediately interrupted, and he needed to launch a charge again. What ability is this? Damn! So strong? Such a huge gap? This is impossible. He's very powerful, I know, but the gap can't be this big. I have no room to fight back. The Bull Demon King Awakener was overwhelmed with shock. He didn't expect Sure How's strength to be so terrifying that he could still control him while launching an attack. This ability was extremely terrifying. The Bull Demon King Awakener began to doubt his life. At this moment, Sure How had already arrived. The heavenly axe in his hand, at this moment, displayed an unstoppable and terrifying momentum. Die! Sure How shouted loudly, and the heavenly axe directly fell down fiercely. This Bull Demon King Awakener was controlled by the skills of the King Yao Mei Awakener and the Magic Cat Yumi Awakener throughout the entire process, looking like he doubted his life. He didn't have any room to resist at all. At this moment, 
The divine axe had already killed him, and the bull demon king awakener didn't even make a gesture to resist. Splurt! Blood splattered, and divine light shone. This extremely huge bull demon king awakener was instantly split in half and fell on the spot. That's all? Sure Hao's expression was full of contempt. When he first received Captain Wei's notification, he thought this bull demon king awakener was very powerful. Now, after a battle, Sure Hao realized that the opponent was nothing more than that, simply weak. But in fact, it wasn't that this bull demon king awakener was too weak. It was that Sure Hao was too strong, and he also had the assistance of King Yao Mei and Magic Cat Yumi awakeners, greatly increasing his combat power. If Sure Hao in this life didn't possess the power of the awakening of Pangu, Thanos, and the universe, then this North Sea city would probably be truly finished, destroyed by the Bull Demon King Awakener. Great job, Sure Hao, amazing. Great God. A Yao gives you a thumbs up. King Yao Mei showed an excited smile and spoke. She was good at boosting morale and enjoyed interacting with Sure Hao. Although Sure Hao didn't respond to King Yao Mei's words every time, she was still enthusiastic. Meow I haven't used my ultimate move yet. Is it over already? So fast, in a flash. Too weak. Magic Cat Yumi said indifferently, disdainful of this bull demon king awakener's weakness, feeling unsatisfied with not having a satisfying battle. Indeed weak. Sure how muttered. Then, his majestic body swayed and he appeared in front, directly activating the spatial storage ability of the universe, collecting the body of this bull demon king awakened individual. Good, very good. This creation god is truly powerful. I have avenged my brother. Captain Wei of the prison, feeling excited, burst into laughter. Ha ha ha, good. This beast is dead. My North Sea city is secure. Lord Yi Tianbei laughed heartily, his expression filled with excitement, then released terrifying flames and continuously attacked the huge scorpion in front of him. On the other side, Sher Hao's gaze shifted towards the location of the awakened individual Zhong Kuei. At this moment, Zhong Kuei, the awakened individual, was in a weak position and retreating step by step in his battle against the ghost hand. There were also two ability users releasing flames fighting alongside Zhong Kuei. Despite the three against one, they couldn't defeat them. Sure how naturally had to help the weaker allies and turn the tide. Looking at the two ghost hands continuously striking the ground, Sure how's expression was extremely indifferent. I will crush your black hands. Sure how snorted coldly, his words filled with killing intent. Sure how hated black the most. It was because in this world, there was a country called the Dryland Kingdom. In the Dryland Kingdom, all the humans had extremely dark skin. These black people from the Dryland Kingdom often plotted against the people of the Dragon Kingdom where Sher Hao was from during the civilized era. Therefore, Sher Hao hated these people from the Dryland Kingdom. Seeing these black ghost hands, Sher Hao felt an inexplicable sense of resistance in his heart. His figure flickered and Sher Hao was already wielding an incredibly huge divine axe, charging over. Seeing Sher Hao approaching, the ghost hand awakened individual was immediately startled. Oh no. The bull demon king boss has already been killed by this awakened individual of the creation god. And the primary target of this awakened individual of the creation god is me. I'm done for. The ghost hand awakened individual immediately lost his will to fight. He had originally planned to deal with several other awakened individuals with online usernames before Sher Hao made a move and then quickly escape. But he didn't expect that this Zhong Kuei awakened individual and the two flame awakened individuals would be so difficult to deal with. The ghost hand awakened individual couldn't gain the upper hand against them, while Sher Hao had already come to help. Damn. Really damn. The ghost hand awakened individual cursed in his heart. At this moment, he felt extremely desperate. Even his boss had been killed. He was definitely going to be killed too. He regretted it, if he had known, he would have just run away. Who knew that the bull demon king boss would be so unreliable? Beside him. Great. It's the awakened individual of the creation god. With his help, we're safe. Yes, we're safe. Clear the area and don't interfere with the awakened individual of the creation god. Zhong Kuei, the awakened individual, and the two flame awakened individuals quickly retreated to the side, clearing the battlefield. In their opinion, with Sher Hao making a move, they could just watch quietly. As for Sher Hao, the awakened individual of the king of kings above his head condensed a spirit ball and shot it out directly. Get up. The king of kings awakened individual murmured, her beautiful eyes filled with intense fighting spirit. The spirit ball flew out and immediately restricted the movement of the ghost hand. Whoosh. Then, the magic cat Yumi's wandering flying missile flew out. After this magic ball landed on the ghost hand, it caused a small amount of damage and also restricted its movement speed. In fact, sure how alone was enough without their help. It was because these two huge ghost hands couldn't move. 
If it wanted to move, then these ghost hands would need to deactivate their abilities, revert to human form, and then move. And at this critical moment, if it did so, it would only accelerate its death. I'm not willing. I haven't lived enough yet. Kill, kill, kill. The ghost hand awakened individual roared in anger and began to madly strike towards Sher Hao. And Sher Hao's expression remained indifferent. Behead. Sher Hao let out a low roar, and the heavenly axe in his hand came crashing down. In Sher Hao's eyes, this awakened ghost hand was nothing more than a jumping clown, not worth mentioning. Buzz. The golden light on the divine axe surged, emitting a loud buzzing sound. At the same time, powerful divine axe energy radiated, carrying a terrifying pressure like the sea, extremely frightening. The entire space twisted madly, as if it was about to shatter. No! The awakened ghost hand let out a hysterical scream. He didn't want to die. However, what awaited him was a plain and unadorned strike from Sher Hao's divine axe. Poo! Strange black blood splattered out. The scene was extremely magnificent. The ten fingers on the giant ghost hand all broke and fell to the ground. Although it lost its attacking ability, it was still alive. So, Sher Hao swung the heavenly axe in his hand horizontally, like smashing garlic, and slammed it down fiercely. Boom! The ghost hands were immediately smashed into pulp by Sher Hao's divine axe, and the ground sank, revealing a huge divine axe imprint, with black blood overflowing around it. This scene had a strange sense of violent beauty. When the heavenly axe was put away, the ghost hand had already merged with the earth and died. On the ground, a black crystal nucleus appeared directly, about the size of a fist, sparkling and translucent. This crystal nucleus was embedded in the ground and was not shattered by Sher Hao's attack just now. Crystal nucleus? Very good, it actually exploded directly, saving the trouble of digging. Sher Hao was very satisfied. Then, Sher Hao's figure flickered and arrived at the location of the crystal nucleus. The cosmic storage space ability operated in his forehead, forming a terrifying attraction, directly pulling the crystal nucleus into the space. Now was not a good time to fuse the crystal nucleus and break through cultivation. Sher Hao needed to find a suitable opportunity. First, he would eliminate all these dead prisoners and demons. Then, Sher Hao would consume the crystal nucleus to enhance his own cultivation. His gaze shifted, and Sher Hao looked at the huge scorpion beside him. At this moment, the giant scorpion was being continuously burned by the phoenix flames of Lord Yi Tian Bei, looking very painful. After transforming into the phoenix of flames, Yi Tian Bei could fly in the sky and continuously release flames to attack the scorpion. The scorpion couldn't fly and could only endure the attacks in place. Kill. Sher Hao didn't hesitate and chose to help. It was because Sher Hao had set his sights on the crystal nucleus of this scorpion. His figure flickered, and the huge heavenly axe in his hand came crashing down. Buzz. The entire space began to emit a buzzing sound, creating a huge disturbance and a strong sense of oppression. Lord Yi Tian Bei nodded repeatedly when he saw this. Good. As expected of the awakened creator, truly formidable. This scorpion is doomed. A burst of brilliance flashed in Lord Yi Tian Bei's eyes. He didn't mind sure how snatching his crystal nucleus. As the lord of the city, Yi Tian Bei only wanted to protect his North Sea city. The awakened King Yao and the awakened magic cat, Yumi, both knew that Sher Hao would definitely be able to kill this giant scorpion. So, they didn't make a move. Hiss. This. This attack is really fierce. The giant scorpion felt the tremendous pressure coming from behind and couldn't help but inhale sharply, its expression becoming extremely serious. This awakened giant scorpion was startled. However, it was extremely unwilling. Damn it, this dead phoenix is restricting my attacks in the sky. Now, this creator is launching an attack on me, I'm really done for, but I refuse to accept it. I will sting you to death. The awakened scorpion let out an angry voice. At the same time, it began to swing its huge tail stinger, wanting to sting Sher Hao. But Sher Hao's gaze turned cold, launching attacks while changing his own figure. Puff! A burst of purple venom splashed out. The venomous scorpion awakened with its poisonous stinger was immediately chopped off by Sher Hao's heavenly axe and fell to the ground. Ah! It hurts! My tail is broken. The venomous scorpion awakened saw its stinger chopped off and immediately felt an intense pain in its body. Its entire body was on the verge of collapse. I'll crush you. The venomous scorpion awakened shouted angrily. Its huge pincers suddenly opened, and its thick legs began to move rapidly. The venomous scorpion awakened wanted to fight to the death. You want to fight desperately? Are you worthy? Sher Hao's expression was extremely indifferent, not taking the venomous scorpion awakened seriously. Then, Sher Hao swung his heavenly axe again and fiercely attacked. The giant axe collided directly with the giant pincers of the giant scorpion. Puff! Another burst of purple venom splashed out. 
The giant pincers of the giant scorpion were directly chopped off by Sher How and fell to the ground. It hurts. It's broken. My pincers. The giant venomous scorpion awakened looked desperate. Its body was now enduring immense pain. It realized that Sher How seemed to be deliberately torturing it, first cutting off its stinger and then cutting off its pincers. This was torture and humiliation. Facing the death row prisoners, Sher How's face was cold and indifferent, naturally not discussing any emotional or moral matters with them. Die. Sher How calmly uttered a word, like a thunderclap. Then, Sher How swung his massive divine axe and fiercely chopped down. No. The venomous scorpion awakened screamed in agony. Immediately after, its body was engulfed by the massive axe. Puff. Purple blood splattered out. The venomous scorpion awakened was split in half. Sher How, you're amazing. Truly a god, so powerful. Wang Zhiyao may exclaimed in admiration. She really liked Sher How and felt that he was incredibly strong. Following such a man was fantastic and made her feel safe. Meow impressive. The magic cat Yumi awakened also expressed admiration. She had previously fought alongside the Wolverine awakened because there was no better choice. Now that she saw how powerful Sher How was, the magic cat Yumi awakened felt that she had made the right choice and decided to stay by Sher How's side in the future. Sher How, thank you for helping me. Lord Yi Tian Bei thanked Sher How. It's nothing. Sher How replied indifferently. Then, Sher How approached and began to collect the body of the giant venomous scorpion into his cosmic storage space. Seeing these monsters and the bodies of the awakened, being collected into the cosmic storage space by Sher How, Lord Yi Tian Bei felt envy and wanted to ask about it. However, he restrained himself. After all, Sher How was too powerful. Lord Yi Tian Bei was worried that his inquiry would be too abrupt and would offend Sher How, which would not be good. Sher How was very strong, and if he was not treated well and became an enemy, then the North Sea city would be in trouble. One must be tolerant towards such a powerful individual. As Sher How's gaze shifted, he saw the awakened great white shark, who had already swallowed the poison snake awakened into its body. Obviously, the poison snake awakened was too weak and couldn't defeat the great white shark awakened at all. Looking at the massive body of the great white shark awakened and its crimson eyes, Sher How nodded inwardly. This great white shark awakened is quite cunning. It actually swallowed these monsters and the bodies of the awakened into its stomach. Not only did it replenish its strength by eating meat, but it also unknowingly consumed crystal cores to strengthen itself. No wonder the great white shark awakened becomes stronger with each battle and stronger with each challenge. Sure how felt that this awakened megalodon would become one of the pillars of Beihai City in the future, cooperating with Yi Tian Bei, the city lord, to resist the invasion of foreign monsters. Of course, the premise for all of this is that this awakened megalodon is not selfish and is willing to dedicate itself to the human race. But you can't be sure about this thing. After all, even sure how himself has selfish motives. He only hopes to help more people in the process of becoming stronger. His gaze swept over again. Sher How saw that the awakened Godzilla next to him had already beaten the awakened wild boar into a pile of flesh and started devouring it. Obviously, this awakened Godzilla, like the awakened Megalodon, was very cunning. They fought while eating meat and consuming crystal cores to strengthen themselves. Sher How did not stop them. It was their own ability to consume the monsters and awakened beings they killed. Sher How did not take their food. With a turn of his gaze, Sher How took steps to clean up the remaining evil awakened beings and monsters around him. Time continued to pass. Soon, all these evil awakened beings and monsters were killed by Sher How. Without causing any trouble, their bodies were all stored in the cosmic storage space by Sher How. The surroundings became much calmer. Captain Wei of the prison flew over. Sher How, the primordial god awakened being, your name is Sher How? Thank you so much for taking action. If it weren't for you, with these dead prisoners causing such a commotion, Beihai City would have suffered countless casualties. And you just helped us take revenge and restore the prison, thank you so much. Captain Wei sincerely thanked Sher Hao. Moreover, Sher Hao's strength was too powerful, and there was a hint of wanting to befriend him in his words. Sher Hao naturally sensed the signal of making friends released by Captain Wei. This was normal. With Sher Hao's strength, anyone with a head and face in Beihai City would naturally want to befriend him. Whether Beihai City can continue to exist in the future depends on whether Sher Hao is willing to help or not. Listening to Captain Wei's gratitude, Sher Hao waved his hand and calmly replied, No need to thank me. These are just small tasks. The next task is to build Beihai City well. You need to pay more attention to these points. Sher Hao, like a leader, assigned tasks to Captain Wei. Captain Wei of the prison seemed to have a considerable influence. Around him, there were many superhumans gathered at the moment. Sher Hao estimated that these superhumans were Captain Wei's former subordinates. 
And beside Yi Tian Bei, the city lord, there were also many trusted followers. Please rest assured. Building Beihai City is a big matter. I, Wei Wuxiang, will do my best. This is also my duty. Captain Wei of the prison patted his chest, looking very serious and giving a reliable feeling. At the same time, Captain Wei also mentioned his name. Sure Hao remembered his name. Whom? Sure Hao nodded lightly without saying much. It was because his voice was too loud and would cause quite a stir. On the other side, seeing that the crisis in the prison had been resolved, Yi Tian Bei began to shout at the surrounding superhumans, those awakened netizens with fast movement speed nearby, follow me to the outskirts of Beihai City and clean up all the remaining monsters. As soon as Yi Tian Bei's voice fell, some loyal netizen awakened beings responded. Yes, Lord Yi, we will set off immediately. We have an obligation to eliminate monsters. Let's go and eliminate the monsters. Let's go, everyone. Immediately, some netizen awakened beings spread outwards to find and hunt down these remaining, weaker monsters. With these awakened netizens setting the pace, some social figures with awakened netizen powers immediately joined in and began participating in the action to eliminate the monsters. Before leaving, Yi Tianbei looked at Sher Hao. Respected creator god awakener, you will temporarily oversee the situation here. Only with you here can everyone feel at ease. We will go and clean up the weaker monsters and be back soon. Yi Tianbei said to Sher Hao. He hoped that Sher Hao would stay here first, like a mascot, bringing a sense of security and belief to everyone. Although Sher Hao wanted to go into battle, he thought that there were only a few remaining monsters, and they were extremely weak. It would be enough to leave them to these ordinary awakened netizens to deal with. It would be a waste of time and energy for him to take action. So Sher Hao agreed. Lord Yi, you may go. Sher Hao nodded and agreed directly. Afterwards, Yi Tianbei led a team and left the area, starting to kill those monsters. Not only did Yi Tianbei leave, even Captain Wei Wu from the prison led a group of loyal subordinates and went out again to completely eliminate the remaining monsters. Sher Hao stayed behind to oversee the situation. Although it was said that he was overseeing the situation, in reality, he stood there like a statue. When the survivors saw Sher Hao's figure, they felt a sense of security. Many survivors began to communicate with each other. Did you see? This is the luck of our Beihai city. Yes, with this creator god awakener, our Beihai city hasn't been destroyed. That's right, I think other big cities have already been destroyed, only our Beihai city still exists. We're so lucky, really lucky. But our homeland is no longer the same, it has become a ruin. I really don't know where to live tonight. Yes, we don't have any supplies left, I'm starving. Sigh, everything was fine, how did the monsters invade? I don't understand, is this the end of the world for us? The end of the world has indeed come, but with the protection of the creator god awakener, we won't die. That's right, we won't die, but human civilization may need to be rebuilt. Yes, I originally thought the future belonged to technology, but now it seems that the future belongs to the awakened netizens. No, the future is a combination of technology and awakened netizens. When these survivors had a moment to spare, they began to engage in lively discussions, like a boiling pot, discussing various topics. Some discussed the awakened netizens, some discussed worshipping Sher Hao, some discussed survival supplies, and others discussed the reconstruction of human civilization in the future. Everyone was full of confusion about the future and engaged in intense discussions. In a corner, the Joker Awakener and the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener were whispering to each other. When this creator god Awakener is not around, shall we quietly kill some survivors for fun? The Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener revealed an evil smile and spoke. Venom really liked a chemical substance called phenethylamine. This special chemical substance was found in the human brain, chocolate, and some seafood. So the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener wanted to massacre some survivors, innocent people, to satisfy his evil desires. On the other hand, the Joker Awakener showed a crazy smile. No, that's not enough. There must be a grand art performance. Let everyone remember it forever, an unforgettable kind of art. That's when it will be meaningful. The Joker Awakener opened his hands wide and explained his blueprint. Yes, yes, killing on one side, art on the other. Wow, life is so beautiful. The Scarlet Venom Awakener laughed out loud. These two lunatics started muttering to each other, enjoying their conversation. After all, they both enjoyed causing destruction and harming the innocent to satisfy their twisted minds. Madmen. They're truly mad. The Wolverine Awakener, not far away, cursed silently in his heart after hearing this. Then, he looked at Sher Hao with a conflicted expression. The Wolverine Awakener considered himself not a good person, and since the magic cat Yumi Awakener left him to follow Sher Hao, his mood had been extremely bad and he didn't want to do anything good. 
However, the Wolverine Awakener still felt that the Joker Awakener and the Scarlet Venom Awakener were too dangerous. If he didn't get rid of them, he feared that he would suffer in the future. After much thought, the Wolverine Awakener decided to seek help from Sher Ho and have him deal with these two lunatics. After all, the plans between the Joker Awakener and the Scarlet Venom Awakener had exceeded his expectations. While thinking this, the Wolverine Awakener quietly moved towards Sher Ho's location. The Scarlet Venom Awakener sensed a subtle disturbance in the air. There's a rat. SSS. The Scarlet Venom Awakener licked his snake-like red tongue and said, A rat? Where? Kill it. The Joker Awakener said with a sickly face, Over there. It's that non-conformist rat. He wants to do something bad. He's asking for death. The Scarlet Venom Awakener's eyes flashed with a fierce killing intent. Then, his body flickered, and his two powerful legs sprang up like springs, while his hands transformed into electric drills, looking extremely sharp as he attacked the Wolverine Awakener. The Wolverine Awakener sensed something and felt a chill down his spine. Damn. How did he notice me? Damn. This is scary. The Wolverine Awakener suddenly felt a cold sweat. He didn't expect the Scarlet Venom Awakener to suddenly attack him, seemingly wanting to kill him to silence him. Obviously, the other party had figured out his intentions and knew that he was going to complain to Sure How. However, the Wolverine Awakener wasn't a pushover either. He immediately burst into speed, trying to shake off the Scarlet Venom Awakener. But the Scarlet Venom Awakener was even faster, and his sharp electric drills immediately pierced the Wolverine Awakener's body. Ah! Wow! It hurts! My body is breaking! The Wolverine Awakener let out a scream of pain. Then, he shouted towards Sher Hao's direction again. Creator, save me! Yumi, save me! The Wolverine shouted, trying to get Sher Hao and Yumi's attention. Damn! Bastard! The Scarlet Venom Awakener's expression twisted upon seeing this. His extremely red, snake-like tongue stretched out, his mouth opened wide, and he fiercely bit towards the Wolverine Awakener's head. But the Wolverine Awakener was already prepared. He thrust his left wolf claw towards himself, aiming to stab the Scarlet Venom Awakener's tongue. The Scarlet Venom Awakener was almost pierced through his tongue, which made him furious. He crazily used his sharp electric drills to attack the Wolverine Awakener's body, creating one blood hole after another, with blood gushing out. Meow. Sure how, the Wolverine Awakener over there needs our help. Go save him. The magic cat Yumi Awakener anxiously said. She saw the Wolverine Awakened, attacked by the Crimson Venom Awakened, blood continuously flowing from her body, looking extremely miserable. Earlier, the magic cat Yumi Awakened, followed the Wolverine Awakened and fought against some monsters for a while, then followed Sure how. Seeing her former follower now in such a tragic situation, the magic cat Yumi Awakened couldn't bear it. Great God, let's go help. A Yao, I'm ready. King Yao Mei spoke up. In her beautiful eyes, there was a strong desire for battle. If it weren't for the distance being a bit far, King Yao Mei would have released her skills long ago. I know. I'll assist you. Beast, how dare you harm your own kind. Sure Hao shouted, flying forward. Soon, Sure Hao arrived at the location of the Wolverine Awakened. A Yao, let yourself fly. King Yao Mei immediately released an energy ball, shooting it directly at the Crimson Venom Awakened temporarily controlling it for a brief moment. Meanwhile, the magic cat Yumi awakened beside her released hovering missiles, one of which landed directly on the Crimson Venom awakened, slowing down its movement speed and making it feel weak, unable to move. Damn it! Support came so quickly. How can your body be so strong and yet you're not dead? The Crimson Venom awakened cursed loudly. He never expected the Wolverine awakened's physical body to be so tough. He failed to kill it in the shortest amount of time. This was a serious mistake, underestimating its combat power. Die. Sure how swung his axe, and terrifying power laws erupted from his body. Buzz. Golden divine light surged, and the axe energy on the heavenly axe vibrated. The entire space began to distort, with a faint risk of shattering. Ah, no. The crimson venom awakened screamed in agony. Then, splat. A burst of crimson liquid splashed out. The body of the crimson venom awakened was directly split in half and fell to the ground. Hoomph. Sure how snorted coldly, extending his left hand and fiercely squeezing the remaining body of the Crimson Venom awakened. Bang. A burst of venomous blood and flesh sprayed out, falling to the ground. Then, Sure how reached out with his big hand again, squeezing the other half of the remaining body of the Crimson Venom awakened. Bang. Another burst of venomous blood and flesh sprayed out, with liquid continuously falling to the ground. At the same time, a crimson, crystal clear core appeared in Sure how's hand. The cosmic storage space operated, and Sure How stored the core. The core of the Crimson Venom Awakened was immediately placed into the cosmic storage space by Sure How. 
At this point, its long life came to an end. In the distance, idiot. Haha, <laughs> idiot. This red rat is an idiot. The Joker awakened let out a low scream, then hid his figure among the ruins, disappearing from sure how in the other's sight. When the Crimson Venom awakened made a move, the Joker awakened sensed that something was wrong. He decisively chose to betray his teammates. Sure enough, the Crimson Venom Awakened was too arrogant and was directly killed by Sher Hal. If the Green Hills are preserved, there will be firewood to burn. The Joker Awakened planned to preserve his life first and then find a way to create a grand art performance. As for Sher Hal, while the Wolverine Awakened had strong healing abilities, her wounds began to heal. The Wolverine Awakened herself possessed extremely strong healing abilities. As long as she didn't die, all the fatal injuries on her body would slowly recover. While the Wolverine was slowly healing her injuries, her face became bitter. Just because the Wolverine Awakener found that the magic cat Yumi Awakener did not jump onto him voluntarily and release that healing skill to help him recover from his injuries. It seems that this magic cat Yumi Awakener really doesn't like him and doesn't want to follow him anymore. This suddenly made the Wolverine Awakener feel heartbroken and empty inside. What's going on? Sure how asked. Just now, after hearing the cry for help, Sure how rushed over as soon as possible. When he arrived, Sher Howe also quickly dealt with the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener. Just now, the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener and the Joker Awakener were discussing causing a big destruction. So, I came to tell you about this and ask for your help. But who would have thought that the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener discovered my movements and came over to try to kill me and silence me? Luckily you intervened in time, otherwise I would be dead. The Wolverine Awakener quickly explained the situation. After hearing this, Sher Howe nodded, understanding what was going on. What about the Joker Awakener? Sure how asked, scanning the surroundings but not seeing any trace of the Joker Awakener. The Crimson Slaughter Venom and the Joker were both evil villains in the original world. And now, someone has awakened their extraordinary abilities, naturally inheriting some evil characteristics and wanting to harm the human race, which is normal. Faced with such awakened individuals, sure how would not tolerate them and plan to deal with them to prevent them from becoming a disaster and a crisis for the human race. He ran away. That guy is very cunning. He probably sensed that something was wrong and ran away directly. The Wolverine Awakener said helplessly. When the Crimson Slaughter Venom attacked the Wolverine just now, the Joker Awakener ran away. I see. I will be vigilant. Sure how nodded and replied. After the matter was resolved, Sure how's figure flickered and left the spot, heading to another open area. At the same time, Sure how would use the heavenly axe in his hand to continuously clear more open land. In this way, the survivors would have more places to rest. And perhaps for a long time to come, everyone would have to live a life of roughing it. Especially for those ordinary awakeners who have not awakened extraordinary abilities, they would have to endure hardships in the future. As for awakeners like Sure how who possess powerful extraordinary abilities, they would enjoy high treatment, living and eating well. After all, their strength is strong and they have put in a lot of effort, so they deserve it. At the same time, in the secret base of the Dragon Nation. In the high-level conference room. At this moment, the conference table was filled with high-ranking officials of the Dragon Nation. The Minister of Satellite Department, the Legion Commander, the Ruler of the Dragon Nation, the Lord of the Northern Capital City, the Minister of Information Department, and other important figures were all gathered here. I yeah, what is the situation in the entire Dragon Nation now? A heavy voice came, like the beating of a drum. The one speaking was the ruler of the Dragon Nation, Long Zhangguo. Long Zhangguo was stroking his golden beard, exuding a sense of majesty. Even his hair was emitting a golden light, and even his eyes were golden. At the same time, a terrifying beast aura emanated from him, very frightening. Long Zhangguo, as the ruler of the Dragon Nation, his code name, online name, and so on, are all related to the ancestral dragon of the Dragon Nation. Therefore, Long Zhang Guo and the members of his family who have awakened their online name extraordinary abilities are all related to the ancestral dragon. He can transform into a five-clawed golden dragon and has extremely strong combat power. Not optimistic. According to satellite data, the entire Dragon Nation, and even the whole world, is being invaded by various monsters. These monsters are causing massive destruction, cities collapsing, mountains and rivers breaking. The human race is in great danger. Bai Jia sighed and said. Bai Jia is the minister of the satellite department. Through various types of satellites arranged by the Dragon Kingdom, she can monitor the current invasion situation of the monsters. Currently, many major cities are facing the risk of being destroyed. I didn't ask you to talk about this. What I want to know is the situation in the Dragon Kingdom. Long Zhang Guo frowned and asked. In the Dragon Kingdom, there are five major cities that are the core. 
These five cities are the Northern Capital City, Southern River City, Central Domain City, Western Border City, and Eastern Sea City. During the civilized era, these five cities were the core and had many forces stationed there. After the invasion of these monsters, many awakened individuals with internet usernames appeared among the station army forces. The special abilities of these awakened individuals are related to their code names. It should be noted that the code names used in the army often include the four divine beasts, Xuanwu, Baihu, Zhu Kei, and Qinglong, as well as other code names such as Hongmeng, Sanqing, and Siyu. This has led to the emergence of a group of powerful awakened individuals in the Dragon Kingdom's army. Under the guidance from above, these awakened individuals quickly eliminated the monsters in the five major cities and gradually spread out to help nearby major cities solve the crisis of monster invasion. However, there are simply too many monsters. The power of the army is ultimately limited. Many small and large cities need to rely on their own efforts. This, by Jia kept flipping through the satellite records and information videos of various cities, her face looking grim. The scenes on these videos were simply unbearable. Countless humans fell into the hands of the invading monsters. Countless iconic buildings collapsed. The situation of the entire human race was very pessimistic. Sigh. These monsters are truly despicable. Yuan Qingxin, the lord of the northern capital city, sighed and angrily slammed his fist on the table, making a loud bang sound. One day, the human race will definitely lead a powerful army of awakened individuals to break through these monsters. Send them all back into the chaotic flow of time and space. The Legion commander, Zhang Tian, also had an angry expression on his face. His large iron fists were creaking as he clenched them. Bai Jia still had a worried expression on her face as she continued to flip through the synchronized satellite videos on her large tablet. Suddenly, Bai Jia came across a large city. Although the city was in ruins, there was no sign of the monster's presence. Seeing this, Bai Jia, the minister of the satellite department, showed a strange expression on her usually calm face. This. There's something strange about this city, Bai Jia immediately said. Then, she began to manipulate the large screen behind her to show the real-time situation inside the North Sea City. Legion Commander Zhang Tian, Dragon Kingdom Ruler Long Zhangguo, Lord of the Northern Capital City Yuan Qingxin, Minister of Information Tangming, and some other high-ranking officials all looked over. A glimmer of light flashed in Long Zhangguo's deep golden eyes. Isn't this a city without any trace of monsters? Have they been completely eliminated? Long Zhangguo couldn't help but speak, looking very surprised. The surrounding high-ranking officials also had surprised expressions on their faces. They saw the situation in the North Sea City on the screen. There were many survivors and awakened individuals gathering in the central area of the city. However, there was no sign of any monsters, not even their corpses. However, there were many traces of battle and a lot of blood, indicating a fierce fight had taken place. No monsters in sight. Not even the corpses of the monsters? What's going on? Legion Commander Zhang Tian muttered to himself, looking curious. The North Sea City gave off a strange feeling. There were signs of a great battle, but no bodies could be seen. Not only are there no corpses of monsters, but there are also no corpses of awakened players. This is very strange. Did the corpses of these monsters and awakened players just disappear into thin air? Or were they devoured? It's too bizarre. Switch the screens, let's see what's going on, said Yuan Qingxin, the lord of the Baidu City. He felt very curious. Not only Yuan Chengxin, but also the high-ranking officials around him, all stared intently at the Beihai city. They had seen many cities. These cities were all under attack by monsters, suffering greatly. But now, Beihai city no longer showed any battle scenes, only everyone resting after the war. Everyone was very curious about what had happened in Beihai city and how it had been achieved. Bai Jia quickly took control and, with the help of her subordinates, continuously brought up the real-time footage of Beihai city. In addition, Bai Jia also began to retrieve some historical footage to show the situation in Beihai City several hours ago. The high-ranking officials watched attentively. Soon, everyone saw a majestic figure in the real-time footage. This figure held an extremely exaggerated heavenly axe in his hand. Above his head floated two majestic divine figures and a delicate figure. The majestic divine figures were none other than the primordial god Pangu and Thanos, shining with golden light, giving a sense of great dignity. The small figure was a beautiful deer woman, surrounded by shimmering light. Not only that, there was also a cute magic cat lying on the right shoulder of this majestic figure. Seeing this figure, everyone gasped in surprise, looking extremely shocked. This, is this Pangu and Thanos? I didn't expect that there would be an awakened player in Beihai City with such terrifying power. Long Zhangguo, the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, said in astonishment. For the first time, his majestic face showed a hint of surprise and loss of composure. 
This scene was too shocking. Long Zhang was speculated in his heart and was already very certain. He knew that the reason why there were no monster figures in Beihai City, but there were traces of a great battle, must be related to this awakened player. After noticing Xiao Hao's presence, Bai Jia zoomed in on the footage and gave Xiao Hao a close-up. It's actually a combination of Pangu and Thanos. One person actually awakened such a powerful online nickname ability. How can Beihai City be breached? Strong, too strong. This person can serve as the commander of the awakened players in my Dragon Kingdom Legion. John Tian's breathing became a bit rapid, and flashes of light burst in his deep black eyes. He seemed to have discovered a treasure, staring intently at Sher Hao. Within the Dragon Kingdom Legion, there was an urgent need for a commander with extremely powerful online nickname abilities to suppress the situation. Otherwise, the Dragon Kingdom Legion might collapse directly. This was because many of the awakened players who were originally in subordinate positions within the Legion had become too powerful, giving them a sense of being above the leader. Moreover, everyone had awakened their online nickname abilities and did not want to be governed by the weak. So, without someone stronger stepping forward, the Legion might fall apart. Jean Tian, the commander of the Legion, saw potential in Xiao Hao and hoped to win him over to his camp and let him lead the entire Legion. Tang Ming, the Minister of Information, spoke up. This person is indeed powerful, awakening the power of Thanos and Panga, the two primordial gods. His power must be very strong, and he will continue to grow in the future, becoming a nightmare for the invading monsters. This kind of strong person appearing in our Dragon Kingdom is a great fortune for our Dragon Kingdom. However, this person's origin, background, and personality are unknown, so we need to investigate before entrusting them with an important task. Otherwise, it would be digging our own grave and could potentially destroy our Dragon Kingdom. Tang Ming's words were clear. It is possible to give Sher Hao an important position, but it must be investigated thoroughly. Otherwise, it is easy to do good things with good intentions and cause the destruction of the Dragon Kingdom. Tang Ming, this is what you should do as the head of the information department. Investigate the cause of the monster invasion, investigate the powerful anomalies in the entire Dragon Kingdom, this is your responsibility. Now, you need to quickly gather and organize information about this awakened netizen. I want to see it. The ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Long Zhang Guo, immediately spoke, assigning the task to Tang Ming. Tang Ming is the head of the information department and is responsible for collecting various information. He has eyes all over the world. I understand this. I will activate the sources in Beihai City to gather information for me. This will take some time, said Tang Ming, immediately accepting the task. You have three days, Long Zhang Guo said in a deep voice. His awakened netizen ability is that of the ancestral dragon. When Long Zhang Guo speaks, his voice truly resembles the roar of a dragon, extremely heavy. Listening to Long Zhang Guo's words, Tang Ming patted his chest and immediately promised, No problem, I guarantee the completion of the mission. At this time, Bai Jia, the Minister of Satellites, had already captured the scenes of Sher Hao awakening the power of Thanos and Pangu, constantly fighting against monsters, and displayed them on the big screen. The scene was at the location of Beihai City No. 1 Middle School. At that time, countless chaotic void streams appeared in the sky, and numerous huge monsters descended upon the world, beginning large-scale destruction. The teachers and students of Beihai City were in the midst of a hundred-day oath-taking ceremony. Faced with the invasion of monsters, these teachers and students immediately became chaotic, fleeing like ants. During this period, some teachers and students awakened powerful netizen abilities and stood up to fight against the monsters. King Li Bai, King Lu Ban No. 7, Rex Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, and so on. These awakened netizens fought madly against the monsters, but were ultimately defeated. This scene was familiar to all the high-ranking officials present because the encounters in all the cities of the Dragon Kingdom were basically the same. The monsters invaded, and netizen anomalies resisted, but these netizen anomalies retreated one after another, eventually leading to the destruction of the city. At this moment, all the high-ranking officials stared at the big screen, watching attentively. When all the teachers and students of No. 1 middle school were frantically fleeing, in a corner, the inconspicuous and underestimated sure how awakened the power of Pangu and Thanos. He woke up from a coma, rising like a sleeping lion, striding towards the powerful monsters. His school uniform gradually faded away, his weak body began to expand, becoming majestic, and a golden light appeared on his body. In the end, Sure Hao stood tall like a giant, between heaven and earth. On Sure Hao's shoulders, the illusions of the primordial god Pangu and Thanos appeared. With the power of the two awakened gods, Sure Hao began to slaughter in all directions, leading other awakened netizens to continuously defeat the monsters and protect No. 1 Middle School. Not only that, 
Shirhao also went to the distance to help the entire Beihai city overcome the crisis. Seeing this scene, all the high-ranking officials were surprised and their hearts surged with excitement, watching with blood boiling. Great! I didn't expect such a powerful awakened netizen to appear within Beihai city. With his own strength, he actually changed the decline of Beihai city and saved countless lives. This netizen awakened is truly amazing. It is a great fortune for our dragon kingdom to have such talent. The ruler of the dragon kingdom, Long Zhangwa, burst into laughter, the sound echoing loudly and shaking the entire office. Long Zhangwa was very satisfied with Sher Hao's performance. In fact, he even had the intention of recruiting him. As the ruler of the dragon kingdom, Long Zhangwa naturally hoped to bring Sher Hao under his command, making him a key general in his hands. He wanted not only to help the city of Beihai overcome the crisis, but also to lead the entire dragon kingdom in resolving the crisis and eradicating those monsters. Moreover, he wanted the dragon kingdom to become a superpower in the future world. Old Lon, this awakened netizen is too powerful. Send a satellite communication to Beihai City and transfer this awakened netizen to my headquarters in the capital of the north. With him, the city of the north will never be lost. At this moment, the lord of the north city, Yu Wenxingxin, spoke up. Although the North City currently had a powerful legion stationed there and had cleared many monsters, Yu and Qingxin still worried that their strength was not enough, which could lead to the destruction of the city later on. But if Sher Hao joined them, then the North City would truly be impregnable. That's exactly what I had in mind. Long Zhangwa nodded. Then, with his majestic golden eyes, he looked at Bai Jia. Bai Jia, immediately send a communication to Beihai City and have all the powerful awakened netizens there gather and come to my capital in the North. We will fight side by side. Long Zhangwa began giving orders. Yes, understood. Bai Jia respectfully replied and began to act. Beside them, Tang Ming, the Minister of Information, frowned slightly. He said, but if all the powerful awakened netizens in Beihai City withdraw, then Beihai City will surely be destroyed. How should we deal with the survivors? Tang Ming felt that the survivors of Beihai City were a thorny issue and not easy to handle. After all, they were too weak and had no netizen abilities. Without protection, they would ultimately meet a tragic end. As long as they are willing, let all the survivors of Beihai City also gather and come to my capital in the north. My capital in the north is willing to accept them. This is also giving face to that awakened netizen. A glimmer of determination flashed in Long Zhangwa's deep golden eyes as he spoke. In order to have sure how join the north city, Long Zhangwa was offering great benefits. It should be noted that it was extremely difficult for the citizens of other major cities to join the North City under normal circumstances. Now, the North City was opening its doors to Beihai City first and was willing to accept the survivors of Beihai City. This was great news for them. However, the only thing to worry about was the distance between Beihai City and the North City. The survivors of Beihai City would likely have to go through a difficult journey and even pay a heavy price to safely reach the North City. But that was a matter for later. Right now, the high-ranking officials of the Dragon Kingdom needed a definite answer from Sher Hao. If Sher Hao agreed to come, then the high-ranking officials of the Dragon Kingdom would arrange for Legion members to help, escort, and support him. Bai Jia quickly went to work. Meanwhile, all the high-ranking officials of the Dragon Kingdom closely watched Sher Hao's every move. As for Sher Hao, he continued to clear out open areas, providing a place for the survivors. Wang Jia Yaomei watched this scene and constantly praised Sher Hao. Sher Hao, you are a great god. You are so kind. I really like you. Wang Jiayame, an awakened netizen, had an admiring look on her face. She felt that Sher Hao was powerful and had a good personality. Following such a man was truly her great fortune. Meow that's right. The awakened netizen, Yumi the magic cat, occasionally chimed in. Sher Hao did not respond with any words, but listening to their words, he felt that his efforts were being rewarded. This is pretty good. In the distance, a group of survivors came towards us. This group of survivors, when Sher Hao looked at them, felt very familiar. In front of the group, Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Taro were leading the way. On the left and right sides of the group, there were various dinosaurs from Jurassic Park and some awakened netizens silently guarding. In the center of the mighty group were teachers, students, and some surviving members of society from Ijeon. When they saw Sher Hao's figure from afar, they all showed expressions of joy. Look, this is Sher Hao, the awakened strong one from our class 3 of grade 3. That's right, he's the talent from my class, hee hee. Sher Hao, so handsome, it's great to be his classmate. Absolutely, if it weren't for Sher Hao, we would have died long ago. He is the hero of our Ijeong, the hero of our human race. Long live Sher Hao. Thank goodness for Sher Hao. The teachers and students of Ijeong looked proud. Each person had a proud expression. They were proud of Sher Hao. 
Sumuru, she was Shirhao's beautiful homeroom teacher. At this moment, Sumuru was in the group, listening to the conversations of the surrounding teachers and students, and couldn't help but show a gentle smile. Sure how, he is my student. I didn't expect that he would become the hero of the human race now. This feeling is truly magical. Sumuru felt a sense of unreality. But at the same time, she felt proud, proud of Sure how. In the group, many female students started to tidy up their hairstyles and corners, wanting to leave a good impression on Sure how. Sure how was too powerful, and now he had become the standard for many girls to choose a partner, the object of many girls' admiration. Now, as long as Sure how was willing, as long as he raised his arm, beautiful girls would immediately take the initiative to embrace him, even willingly put on sexy clothes, lie on the bed, and call him daddy twice. This was reality. This was the chaotic world after the invasion of monsters. As long as you have strength, you can have everything you want. Not far away, Xiaomaxian awakened individual Zhong Shen, at this moment, stared closely at Sher Hao in the distance. Sher Hao, my husband, I'm here. Woo woo. I hope my husband's heart won't be tempted away by the awakened individual Wang Jiao. Please. Xiaomaxian awakened individual Zhong Xian's eyes were filled with admiration, secretly saying in her heart. She really loved Sher Hao. And at this moment, beside Xiaomaxian awakened individual Zhong Xian, there was a big man with freckles all over his face. He asked with concern, Zhong Xian, what are you looking at? What are you daydreaming about? Can you tell me? The big man looked curious and concerned. This big man, like Zhong Xian, was also an awakened individual of Xiaomaxian. However, Zhong Xian was a female Xiaomaxian, while this person was a male Xiaomaxian, and he looked a bit sleazy. Zhong Xian was speechless and pursed her lips. Stop bothering me. You die Zhong, go play by yourself. Zhong Xian didn't want to see this male Xiaomaxian. If it weren't for the fact that he, like her, was an awakened individual with Xiaomaxian abilities, Zhong Xian really didn't want to have anything to do with him. But, I'm just like you, an awakened individual of Xiaomaxian. We should be together, to restore the glory of Xiaomaxian, you know, the male Xiaomaxian Yuda Zhong said seriously. And, his eyes flickered with a gleam as he looked Zhong Xian up and down. This male Xiaomaxian Yuda Zhong felt that Zhong Xian had a great figure, the kind that was slim but also pleasantly plump. Moreover, she was an awakened individual of Xiaomaxian. Honestly, Yu Da Zhong was very moved and really wanted to have her. Zhong Xian saw that he had a sleazy aura and didn't want to talk to him. But Yu Da Zhong, like a sticky plaster, stuck to her side. Zhong Xian was getting annoyed. On Sher Hao's side, he saw that all the teachers and students from Yijong had arrived safely and couldn't help but feel relieved. At this moment, Ultraman Tiga awakened and took a step forward, arriving in front of Sher Hao. Apart from Wang Jiayame, he also saw the magical cat Yumi on Sher Hao's body. This surprised Ultraman Tiga, this magical cat Yumi has actually possessed Sher Hao. I also want to have a similar ability and attach myself to Sher Hao. Ultraman Tiga awakened thought to himself, feeling a bit envious. With this, there was no need for Feng Do. After some thoughts flashed through his mind, Ultraman Tiga awakened took the initiative to greet and said, Sher Hao, I have safely brought all the teachers and students from Ijong. They are right behind me. He listened to Sher Hao's words and protected the teachers and students from Ijong, safely bringing them to the central area of Beihai City. Sher Hao saw this and nodded, saying, Hmm, I see. You did well. Next, arrange for them to choose an area here and settle down. The situation is critical now, and the environment is simple, so don't be too picky. Sher Hao paid special attention to his alma mater. At the same time, Sher Hao couldn't easily show himself so he could only delegate tasks to Ultraman Tiga Awaken to handle. Sure how trusted his ability to handle things. Hmm, don't worry. I will take care of these things. Ultraman Tiga Awaken nodded and replied friendly. He wanted to be friends with Sure how, so he would immediately do what Sure how instructed. Hmm. The conversation between the two quickly ended. Magical Cat Yumi Awakened, seeing Ultraman Tiga Awakened, was unexpectedly respectful and eager to please, which surprised her. If it weren't for Sher Hao, she would definitely choose to follow Ultraman Tiga Awakened. But now, Sher Hao was so powerful. Magical Cat Yumi Awakened couldn't bear to leave. Now, Beihai City has become calm, and there are no more sightings of monsters. Of course, there are no more sightings of the awakened netizens causing trouble either. Now, all Sher Hao can do is continuously open up clean and spacious areas for everyone to rest. On the other side, Yi Tian Bei, the city lord, was holding an official satellite communication device and receiving messages from Minister Bai Jie of the satellite department. Understood. I understand. Hmm. I will convey your instructions to Sher Hao and the survivors of Beihai City. 
I will discuss with them and seek Sher Hao's opinion. Rest assured, Sher Hao is reliable and trustworthy. Yes, Sher Hao's background is not a problem, I can guarantee that. I will talk to Sher Hao about this matter. Please rest assured, we will protect everyone and hold Beihai City well. Good, good. If the Legion comes to support, our pressure will be greatly reduced. Hmm, yes, I promise to complete the mission. City Lord Yi Tianbei's expression was solemn as he continuously responded to the words of the big shots in the satellite communication device. He didn't expect that the headquarters of the Dragon Country would actually call him on a satellite phone. Moreover, the high-level officials of the Dragon Country, who hold power, all knew about Beihai City and knew about Shurhao's achievements. At this moment, all the high-level officials of the Dragon Country were paying attention to Beihai City and Shurhao. The task given to Yi Tianbei was simple, which was to persuade her how to go to the capital city and join the Legion, becoming the leader of the awakened netizens of the Dragon Country, leading the army to resist the invasion of foreign monsters. This was the ultimate honor. If Shur Hao agreed, then all the survivors and awakened netizens of Beihai City would receive the protection of the Dragon Country's elite forces and move to the capital city. In this way, everyone's future is secure. After receiving this news, Yi Tianbei was very excited and thrilled. He was feeling a headache for the future of the survivors and awakened netizens in the entire North Sea City. Now, the headquarters of the Dragon Nation has called directly. This means that as long as this matter is handled well, all the citizens of the North Sea City will survive and continue their lives. Moreover, the northern capital is the most prosperous city in the entire Dragon Nation. Its status is equivalent to Chang'an City for the Tang Dynasty and Tokyo City for Japan. It is a super metropolis. In the civilized era before, many people racked their brains to try to develop in the northern capital, but the threshold was too high to enter. And now, in this era of monster invasion, crises are everywhere. The Dragon Nation has definitely concentrated a large number of awakened netizens to guard the northern capital. And for the survivors and awakened netizens of the North Sea City, being able to join the northern capital is a great opportunity. It is a lucky thing for everyone, a good thing that brings good fortune. You guys take care of the remaining monsters. I'm going to find the awakened twin gods. Yi Tianbei immediately gave instructions to the netizen ability users beside him. Yes, sir. We guarantee to complete the mission. Then, these awakened netizens respectfully replied and went to hunt down the monsters. These remaining monsters are not strong, and the awakened netizens of the North Sea City can easily deal with them. Meanwhile, Lord Yi Tianbei spread his wings and flew high into the distance. Instead of immediately looking for Sher Hao, he found Wei Wu Xiang, the prison warden who had transformed into a fierce war eagle. Captain Wei, I have urgent matters to discuss with you. Yi Tianbei said anxiously but excitedly. Seeing Yi Tianbei's eager appearance, Wei Wu Xiang was taken aback, and then his fierce eagle head transformed into a resolute face. What happened? Is there good news? Wei Wu Xiang asked. And he speculated in his heart that Yi Tianbei must have encountered some good news. Otherwise, why would the usually calm Yi Tianbei appear so agitated? Yes. Good news. Yi Tianbei nodded repeatedly. Here's what happened. A satellite message came from the northern capital. The message specifically mentioned Sher Hao. Yi Tianbei quickly recounted the events, speaking with great enthusiasm and still showing an excited expression. Wei Wu Xiang, the prison warden of the SSS city prison in the North Sea City, enjoyed a high status even in the civilized era. And now, with his awakened ability to transform into a war eagle, he possessed a formidable netizen ability. Therefore, Lord Yi Tianbei was very willing to discuss important matters with Wei Wu Xiang. This was a big deal, and Lord Yi Tianbei believed that he shouldn't act autocratically on his own. He needed to listen to others' opinions and consider reasonable ideas. Wei Wu Xiang was very serious and listened to Lord Yi Tianbei's words. However, his brows furrowed. Are they trying to recruit people from us? Wei Wu Xian's expression was not very good. Yi Tianbei shook his head and said, They're not trying to recruit, they're trying to invite. Old Wei, what's wrong with you? You seem a bit resistant and concerned about this matter. Yi Tianbei was extremely observant and immediately noticed something amiss in Wei Wu Xian's expression. Sigh. Wei Wu Xiang sighed and then began to explain. This Sher Hao possesses the awakened abilities of the primordial god Pangu and Thanos. Sher Hao's netizen ability is extremely powerful. And someone with such great power definitely has their own ambitions. I'm afraid Sher Hao won't be willing to submit to anyone or become a subordinate. Even if you are the lord of Beihai City and I am the warden of the SSS level prison, we are still polite to Sher Hao. It seems like we are on equal footing with Sher Hao, but in reality, we are indebted to him and lower than him. Sher Hao has a temper and wouldn't like being ordered or commanded by others. So far, 
when we talk to him, we use a tone of negotiation. Fortunately, sure how is a person who understands righteousness and is willing to stand up for humanity and kill these demons? But if it's in the capital city, it's hard to say. The situation there is special. Sure how probably won't carry out tasks that he doesn't want to do. Moreover, sure how is so powerful, he is the awakened of both the destroyer and the creator, which is equivalent to being the ruler of the entire world and universe. Many high-ranking officials there will probably see sure how as a threat. As people in high positions, you know that when someone's status and life are threatened, they will do crazy things. Whether they come to recruit or abduct people in the capital city, it's not a good thing. Wei Wuxian looked worried and expressed his concerns. He analyzed the situation thoroughly and didn't just focus on the present, but also thought about the future. So when he heard the information brought by Lord Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxian's brows furrowed, showing no signs of happiness. After hearing this, Lord Yi Tianbei immediately fell silent and wiped the smile off his face. Wei Wuxian hit the nail on the head. This matter is a double-edged sword, with advantages and disadvantages. It is indeed as Wei Wuxiang said, Sure Hao's personality and strength probably won't allow him to obediently follow anyone's orders. Both Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang fell silent, unable to speak for a long time. Captain Wei, are you suggesting that we pretend not to know about this matter? The capital city is far away from Beihai City. They can't enforce military orders there. Even if we anger them, they won't have the mood or strength to blame or punish us. Beyond their reach? Is that what you mean, old Wei? Yi Tianbei blinked and asked. This is a big matter, and Yi Tianbei wanted to discuss it with Wei Wuxiang first to come up with a reasonable solution. This involves the future of all survivors in Beihai City and cannot be decided hastily. Wei Wuxiang nodded, then shook his head. Seeing his expression, Yi Tianbei was speechless, feeling anxious. What exactly are you trying to say? Yi Tianbei asked directly, wanting to know what Wei Wuxiang was thinking. Wei Wuxiang didn't hide anything, but spoke directly. Tell Sher how about this matter directly. If he is willing to go to the capital city, then we go. If he is unwilling, then report it truthfully to the capital city. When telling Sher how, we can reveal some of our insights to him and see what he thinks. This way, we won't offend either side. In Beihai City, we can still have some control. But in the capital city, we won't be ourselves anymore and we'll have to listen to them. However, it is also relatively safer. Let's follow what I just said and test Sher how first. This is a big matter that can't be decided in just a few words. Wei Wuxiang spoke up and shared his thoughts. In fact, before the message came from the capital city, Wei Wuxiang had thought about joining forces with Shi how to establish a new city in the apocalypse and resist these invading demons together. But now, with the message from the capital city, things have become a bit tricky. Okay, old Wei, I understand what you mean. In that case, you go with me and test Shi Hao's intentions. If I say something inappropriate, I'll rely on you to smooth things over for me. Yi Tianbei nodded and spoke. In Yi Tianbei's opinion, Wei Wuxiang held a high position and was quite cunning. With Wei Wuxiang's support, handling difficult matters would be easier. Let's go. We'll go together. Wei Wuxiang nodded and agreed. After the two made up their minds, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang immediately set off for Shi Hao's location. They arrived at the center of Beihai City and immediately saw the towering figure of Shi Hao continuously clearing the area and settling the survivors. Sure Hao's performance deeply impressed Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang. They felt that this awakened creator of the twin gods was kind-hearted and righteous, not a selfish person. They approached Sure Hao. Seeing the arrival of the fierce vermilion bird and the fierce warhawk, Sure Hao immediately knew they had something to discuss. Speak. What do you need? If you need help, I will help. Sure Hao said calmly, stopping his actions. It's like this. We have a few important things to discuss. It's not convenient to talk here. Please come to the corner so we can discuss it properly. The fierce head of the vermilion bird transformed into a resolute face, showing a respectful expression. Yes, sure how, this matter is urgent, so we need to discuss it privately and not let it leak. Beside them, the terrifying eagle head of the fierce warhawk also transformed into a strong face, with a polite expression. After hearing this, sure how immediately understood what was going on. I understand. Sure how responded calmly, very composed. He gave people a sense of calmness and stability, as if Mount Tai was collapsing but he remained unfazed. This brought a great sense of security to many people. The awakened King Yao and the awakened magic cat Yumi were both very curious and wanted to know what Lord Yi Tianbei and Warden Wei Wuxiang were going to discuss. They remained silent and planned to follow Sure how They would hear the important matters then. At this moment, Sure how's voice came. King Yao and magic cat Yumi. You two should get off me first and release the possession state. I need to deal with something. 
Sure Hao spoke, his tone firm and unquestionable. Since it was an important matter, the awakened King Yao and the awakened magic cat Yumi couldn't listen. Sure Hao was very cautious about the two of them. He had to be cautious. Although the awakened King Yao and the awakened magic cat Yumi fought alongside him, they hadn't known each other for long and didn't fully understand each other. Sure Hao always had a guarded mentality towards them and couldn't completely trust them. It's better to be more cautious. Sure Hao had seen too many awakened individuals who were betrayed by their close friends and loved ones. He naturally had to be cautious. After hearing Sure Hao's words, the awakened King Yao and the awakened magic cat Yumi, although a little unhappy, understood. All right, great god. Then, Yao will come down first. Wait, you must come back. Don't abandon Yao. King Yao said coquettishly, with a pitiful tone. Her voice was very pleasant and sweet, making people like it. What a beauty. This is truly an extraordinary beauty. Although Lord Yi Tianbei and Warden Wei Wuxiang were not interested in women, when they saw the awakened King Yao and heard her voice, they couldn't help but feel emotional. This King Yao appeared extremely pure and petite, giving people a sense of purity. Her body emitted a misty aura, and her small face looked extremely innocent and childish. But in front of King Yao, her chest, wrapped in clothes, was well developed, like a ripe peach, making people drool. She was truly an extraordinary beauty. Even the strongest man, if he gets the King Yao Mei, will gradually loosen his belt and become thin-faced. Miao Sure Hao, I'll listen to you. I'm here, waiting for you to come back. Yumi, the awakened magic cat, said sensibly. Her voice is that of a mature woman, very pleasant to listen to. Just by listening to this voice, one can imagine a mature woman wearing a tight skirt, wrapped in black stockings, and wearing frameless glasses. Gorgeous. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang couldn't help but feel envious and thought that this awakened magic cat Yumi must be extremely beautiful, a top-notch beauty. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang were a little envious of Sher Hao's life, having a beautiful woman actively throwing herself at him, it's simply amazing. Of course, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang are both powerful individuals and have a high status in Beihai City, with a certain degree of influence. If they were willing, many beautiful women would come knocking on their doors and willingly offer themselves. However, both Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang are married and getting older, lacking the energy of youth, they can no longer play around. They just look and sigh. If they could make themselves 30 years younger, then Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang might indulge themselves. But these are just their thoughts and they haven't expressed them. On this side, don't worry, I will come back, Sher Hao said calmly, his voice booming like thunder. With Sher Hao's words, both the awakened King Yao Mei and the awakened magic cat Yumi felt relieved. Afterwards, the awakened King Yao Mei cancelled her ability possession state and materialized, landing on the ground. She was surrounded by a shimmering light, looking extremely holy and pure, appearing independent from the world, untainted by dust. Honestly, the awakened King Yao Mei, this little dear girl, is quite pretty. It's just that Sher Hao is too strong. Sometimes, Sher Hao worries that if he were to have an intimate relationship with the awakened King Yao Mei, she might feel a sense of torture and suffer greatly. At this moment, Yumi, the magic cat, was clinging to Sher Hao's right shoulder, holding a magic book, and jumped down, leaving a graceful arc in midair. However, the awakened magic cat Yumi did not land, but possessed the awakened King Yao Mei, being held in her arms. The awakened King Yao Mei blinked her beautiful eyes, looking incredulous. She didn't expect that Yumi, the magic cat, would come to her on her own. It's so cute. The awakened King Yao Mei couldn't help but extend her fair little hand and gently stroke Yumi's cat body. Who can resist the joy of petting a cat? Meow Yumi, the awakened magic cat, felt a wave of comfort and let out a contented meow. He he. So cute. I really like it. The awakened King Yao Mei's eyes sparkled with light. She really liked Yumi, the magic cat. However, Yumi's true form is that of a mature beauty. But Yumi has become accustomed to maintaining her online pseudonym ability state and only wants to maintain the form of a cat, acting as a lying cat. So, she has no intention of releasing her online pseudonym ability and instead looks lazy, lying in the soft embrace of the awakened King Yao Mei. Not far away, many people who saw this couldn't help but want to exchange places with Yumi. Sure Hao saw that the two of them were getting along fine and felt relieved. Don't move from where you are. I'll be back soon. Sure Hao left these words behind. Hmm. We understand. The awakened King Yao Mei and the awakened magic cat Yumi both looked obedient, very well behaved. Let's go. Sher Hao said to Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang. Let's go. This way. Yi Tianbei said. Then, transformed into the blazing vermilion bird, Yi Tianbei began to lead the way. Wei Wuxiang and Sher Hao followed closely. They headed east and quickly arrived at a deserted place. Upon arriving, Yi Tianbei looked at Sher Hao's majestic figure then at his own vermilion bird's flaming body, and the resolute body of the warhawk beside him. 
This matter is very important. Let's first deactivate our online pseudonym abilities, restore our true forms, and then have a good chat. Yi Tianbei spoke respectfully, looking at Sher Hao and asking for his opinion. Sure. Sher Hao nodded in agreement. I have no problem either. Wei Wu Xiang spoke up. Then, Sher Hao, Yi Tianbei, and Wei Wu Xiang began to deactivate their online pseudonym abilities. There was no one here, so they didn't have to worry about their conversation being overheard. Sher Hao's majestic figure began to shrink and return to its normal appearance. At the same time, the illusions of Thanos and Pangu above his head began to disappear. Yi Tianbei's flaming vermilion bird body also began to shrink, the flames extinguished, and he returned to his original form. Wei Wu Xiang, who had transformed into a warhawk, also shrank in size, his resolute feathers fading away, and he returned to his original form. Time passed quickly. Soon, Shi Hao, Yi Tianbei, and Wei Wu Xiang had all returned to their normal appearances. However, because their clothes had been torn apart by the powerful forces when they activated their online pseudonym abilities, they were now completely naked. This created a very strange and comical scene. Shi Hao, Yi Tianbei, and Wei Wu Xiang looked at each other. The situation was awkward and bizarre. Ah, this. Yi Tianbei hadn't expected this, and immediately showed an embarrassed smile. Ha ha, Wei Wu Xiang burst into laughter to ease the awkwardness. Shi Hao furrowed his brows. He noticed that after awakening his online pseudonym abilities and inheriting the dual powers of Pangu and Thanos, his physical body had undergone a tremendous change. Shi Hao had grown taller, and not only that, his muscles had become very strong and solid, with eight pack abs. His physique was perfect, like a statue, and if he were to participate in a modeling competition, he would surely win the world championship. Not only that, Shi Hao felt a surge of power throughout his body, his energy was extremely abundant, and his memory had been enhanced. In this state, Shi Hao was full of vitality and confidence. What surprised him the most was that his potential had been greatly amplified due to the dual divine powers. It was now extremely exaggerated. Shi Hao stood in place, arms outstretched, giving the impression of the Chinese character. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu Xiang looked at Shi Hao and felt a sense of astonishment. They both felt that Shi Hao's physique was too perfect, like a perfect sculpture crafted by a master. Not only that, Shi Hao exuded a strong sense of masculinity, which was extremely exaggerated. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu Xiang suddenly felt a bit inferior. They felt that they were not as good as Shi Hao. Wow. Shi Hao looks young. I didn't expect his physique to be so strong and perfect. Is this the physique that someone of his age should have? Even the physique of those black guys from the arid country, who have always been proud of their bodies, is not as perfect as Sher Hao's. I'm envious. If I had this physique, my wife would be so happy. Yi Tianbei took a deep breath, very surprised. And he was very envious of Sher Hao's excellent physique. At the same time, he felt a wave of inferiority. Wow. This physique is truly extraordinary. I'm a man, but when I see Sher Hao's physique, I can't help but praise it. It's really amazing, so perfect. I'm so envious, so impressive. Incredible. Wei Wu Xiang's mouth hung open, as if it could fit two and a half eggs inside. He didn't expect that Sher Hao's figure would be so good, and he was extremely envious. At the same time, Wei Wu Xiang also felt very inferior. Sher Hao's figure was too perfect and strong, the kind of figure that made male superhumans feel inferior and female superhumans feel scared and attracted to. Sher Hao had a unique advantage. If he went to the brothel, those experienced women would probably be scared and demand double the price after seeing Sher Hao's excellent figure. Let me put it this way. Others lying in bed can form the shape of the character or. But when Sher Hao lies in bed, the shape he forms is the character. Sher Hao has a good figure and is very handsome, but he is still slightly inferior to the readers of this book. It seems that I need to find some stores and stock up on some clothes during this time. Sher Hao secretly decided. After using the ability of the online pseudonym, it is easy to cause the clothes on his body to break. Therefore, Sher Hao needs to store more clothes. Now, although this world has been invaded by monsters and many large buildings have become ruins, there are still some buildings that have been lucky enough not to be destroyed. As long as he looks carefully, Sher Hao believes that he can easily find a mall and stock up on clothing and other supplies. After thinking briefly, Sher Hao stopped thinking about this matter. After a short silence, Sher Hao cleared his throat and took the initiative to say, Lord Yi Chang, Director Wei Yu, what can I do for you? But feel free to speak. Shi Hao went straight to the point, seemingly unaffected by the previous incident. After returning to his original form, when Shi Hao speaks, it is not as loud as before, like thunder or a giant drum, and does not cause much commotion. However, Shi Hao's voice still gives people a sense of majesty. Moreover, it gives people a feeling as if reciting scriptures, making people want to hear more. 
Listening to Sher Hao's words, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang quickly adjusted their state and returned to their normal appearance. Sher Hao. Here's the situation. The northern capital, which is the most prosperous city in our dragon country, has received satellite communication. The high-level officials of dragon country want to invite you to the northern capital to command the online pseudonym Awaken Army, defend the security of dragon country, and eliminate these monsters. Sure how, what do you think about this matter? Will you go? They have promised a lot of benefits. Sure how, if you go to the northern capital, you will definitely be highly valued and enjoy high treatment. And all the people of my North Sea city will have the qualification to join the northern capital and become a part of it. Not only that, they are also willing to send a team of online pseudonym awakened soldiers to help us transfer survivors over long distances. Sure how, this matter is of great importance, think carefully. Yi Tianbei patiently and seriously explained the situation. He spoke in the original words without any modification. As for his and Wei Wuxiang's opinions, Yi Tianbei did not mention them. After finishing speaking, Yi Tianbei stared at Sher Hao, observing his expression and wanting to know how he would answer. Wei Wuxiang was also observing Sher Hao's expression, trying to figure out his true attitude. After hearing this, Sher Hao had no expression on his face, but he was surprised in his heart. The efficiency of the northern capital is unexpectedly high. They already know about my existence. Sher Hao thought to himself. He didn't expect this. Originally, Sher Hao thought that the high-level officials of Dragon Country would probably notice him months later. But the efficiency there was very high, and they discovered his existence all at once, and wanted to recruit him to the northern capital. How should he choose? Honestly, Sher Hao hadn't thought about it before. So now, he started to think without any expression on his face. Since mastering the dual divine powers, Sher Hao has greatly improved the development of his body and can greatly control it. Controlling micro-expressions is very easy for Sher Hao. He began to weigh the pros and cons in his heart. The northern capital is the largest and most prosperous city in the Dragon Kingdom. On that side, there is a powerful legion of awakened netizens guarding it, so it won't fall for a short time. And with me in the North Sea City, it won't fall either. However, managing the entire North Sea City is a waste of time and energy for me. Hunting more monsters, collecting more magic cores, and improving my own combat power, that's what I should do. I can join the northern capital, so these survivors of the North Sea City don't have to worry about me. And, by joining the northern capital, I can focus on only three things, hunting monsters, collecting magic cores, and improving my own strength. For me, the Dragon Kingdom is just my hometown, a place where I temporarily train. Once my strength improves, I will also flatten some enemy countries of the Dragon Kingdom and invade the homes of those monsters in the time and space turbulence. I can join the northern capital. However, I need to negotiate the conditions in advance. After thinking and weighing the pros and cons, Sher Hao knows what he wants and has roughly planned his development route. Improve combat power, flatten enemy countries of the Dragon Kingdom, kill monsters, invade the homes of monsters, and become an unparalleled powerhouse. That's what Sher Hao wants. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang kept watching Sher Hao, observing him. In the eyes of Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang, Sher Hao suddenly became like a statue, not moving at all, not even blinking his eyes. Sher Hao in this state was very strange. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang observed Sher Hao, but couldn't figure out anything. At this moment, Sher Hao's expression returned to normal, and he had already finished considering. So, Sher Hao, have you thought it through? Yi Tianbei's gaze fell on Sher Hao, asking about his decision. Wei Wuxiang also looked at Sher Hao, wanting to understand his thoughts. Lord Yi, Warden Wei, I have considered what you just discussed. I agree to go to the northern capital. However, I will only go after the second wave of monster invasions is over. The first wave of monsters has just invaded, and the entire North Sea City has been heavily damaged. And the northern capital has also suffered heavy damage and has not recovered yet. It is not wise to move the entire city to the northern capital now. Sher Hao spoke up and expressed his thoughts. He agreed to go to the northern capital, but not now. He would wait until after the second wave of monster invasions. Currently, there are a large number of monster corpses and many magic cores in Sher Hao's supernatural storage space. If they leave for the northern capital now, Sher Hao won't have time to take them out or consume them. This means they won't be able to deal with the next wave of monster invasions. During this time, Sher Hao needs to consume more magic cores and improve his combat power to be prepared for the next wave. This time cannot be wasted at all. Therefore, they can go to the northern capital, but not now. After hearing this, Yi Tianbei glanced at Wei Wuxiang, wanting to know his thoughts. Wei Wuxiang understood and immediately began to inquire. But, sure how? Can our North Sea City really withstand the second wave of monster invasions with our strength? Won't there be heavy casualties? 
If we immediately go to the northern capital and seek its protection, maybe we can survive and reduce the number of casualties. Wei Wuxiang asked, concerned about the issue and wanting to hear Shir Hao's insights. After hearing this, Shir Hao shook his head with a disappointed expression. Wei Wu, you're confused. Our lives should be in our own hands, how can we entrust them to others? What if the northern capital city is unreliable? Then we will all die. Shir Hao furrowed his brows and reprimanded Wei Wu. Shir Hao's current strength was formidable, so he could reprimand Wei Wu without any reason. Wei Wu was taken aback by Shir Hao's words. He nodded repeatedly and agreed with Shir Hao's statement. Yes, Shir Hao, I agree with you. In fact, my thoughts are the same as yours. If we show our strength, the northern capital city will take us in, which will be an added advantage for us. But if we appear weak and dependent, they will see us as a burden and disregard us. So, Shir Hao, since you want to stay in the northern capital city, I agree. Let's make a name for ourselves in Beihai City, and who would dare to look down on us when we join the northern capital city? When we're away from home, we have to fight for our dignity ourselves. Wei Wu's expression became serious as he spoke from his heart. His thoughts were in line with Shir Hao's. That's right. Exactly. Don't worry, with me here, the casualties won't be heavy in the next wave of monster invasions, Shir Hao affirmed. He gave off a very reliable feeling. Now, Shir Hao spoke more because there were things to be entrusted to Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu. However, Shir Hao didn't rush to speak. He first engaged in a warm exchange with them to strengthen their emotional connection. After they became more familiar, Shir Hao would then state his requirements, and Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu would definitely not refuse. Good. Shir Hao, let's discuss your abilities in detail. Wei Wu nodded repeatedly, expressing his agreement. Then I will reply to the higher-ups and inform them of our thoughts. Later, we will head to the northern capital city. Yi Tianbei said. All right, it's settled, Shir Hao agreed. Afterwards, Shir Hao, Wei Wu, and Yi Tianbei chatted for a while. Then, Shir Hao began to discuss the main issue. Lord Yi, Warden Wei Wu, there is a question. I don't know if you have paid attention to it. Shir Hao's gaze became intense as he spoke, alternating between Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu. What question? Yi Tianbei asked, showing a thoughtful expression. He really didn't know what question Shir Hao was referring to, but as an awakened creator, Shir Hao's question must be important and crucial. Wei Wu also cast a curious gaze, wanting to know what the important question was. Shir Hao, go ahead and speak. We're listening. If we can solve it, we will do our best to help. Wei Wu said. He was shrewd and knew that if Shir Hao brought the matter to the table, it must be a significant problem that required his and Lord Ye's assistance. Wei Wu and Shir Hao were now on the same front. Therefore, Wei Wu immediately expressed his willingness to help Shir Hao solve the problem. Shir Hao was very satisfied with this. The question is, what should the survivors of Beihai City eat? Many essential supplies have been destroyed by the monster invasion. It was fine on the first day, but as time goes on, we will run out of food. Famine is very terrifying. There will be many unforeseen circumstances. Have you considered this? Shir Hao spoke up. This matter involves the life of the entire city of Beihai. If it were just Shir Hao alone, he wouldn't care about these things. However, Beihai is Shir Hao's hometown, so he still has to take care of it. Shir Hao's straightforward question immediately stumped Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang. Yes, what should we eat? The order has collapsed, and the roads are damaged. The transportation of these supplies has become a major problem. I'm afraid there might be a famine, and many people will starve to death. Yi Tianbei's expression became extremely serious as he spoke. As the lord of the city, Yi Tianbei knew that a famine would lead to serious consequences. In ancient times, during a famine, people didn't just eat tree bark, there were cases of cannibalism. It was terrifying. Wei Wuxian's brows furrowed as well. At this moment, Wei Wuxiang had an idea, but it would offend Shir Hao. The idea was simple, to consume the flesh and blood of the monsters. The flesh and blood of those monsters looked very fresh. Moreover, most of the monsters' flesh was of good quality and edible. When Wei Wuxiang transformed into a war hawk, he had pecked at the flesh and blood of some monsters and found it delicious. However, there was no large ice cellar now, so it was difficult to preserve the fresh meat of these monsters, which was a problem. Moreover, Shir Hao himself had used a certain special ability to take away all the corpses of the monsters. Wei Wuxiang didn't mention the matter of monster flesh and blood because he was afraid of offending Shir Hao. This is difficult to solve. Shir Hao, do you have any solutions? The shelter can be easily resolved. But food is not easy to obtain. Perhaps we won't even survive until the next monster invasion, and a large number of people will starve to death. Wei Wuxiang's face was full of worry as he spoke. This was indeed a crucial problem and he really wanted to know Shir Hao's solution. Moreover, through observation, 
Wei Wuxiang knew that Shi Hao must have a solution, but he needed their help. Wei Wuxiang hoped that this so-called solution wouldn't involve eliminating survivors, as reducing the number of people would solve the food problem. That wouldn't be a good solution. Seeing the two of them looking at him, Shi Hao got straight to the point without beating around the bush. I have a special ability, a storage space. Inside the storage space, all the monster flesh and blood will remain fresh. Put the flesh and blood into this storage space, and after a month, they will still be as fresh as before. I need the help of Lord Yi and Warden Wei to find reliable subordinates to assist in handling these flesh and blood. After they are processed, they can continue to be stored in my storage space. When needed, all of this monster flesh and blood can be taken out and distributed for everyone to eat. Of course, if possible, we can also establish a meat canning factory to produce food for all survivors. In addition to solving the food and drink problem for everyone, I also want to say that these monster corpses all have magic cores. You need to find trustworthy people to help me dig out these magic cores and bring them to me. These magic cores can enhance the combat power of awakened individuals. I am currently the main force in Beihai City, and I need to consume a large number of magic cores to improve my own strength. Otherwise, in the next wave of monster invasions, there won't be any awakened individuals who can stand up and resist. If there are any leftover magic cores, I will distribute them to some core awakened individuals. You can rest assured about this. This is my solution, do you understand? Sure how patiently explained his thoughts. In Sure how's cosmic storage space, there are many monster corpses, as well as the corpses of online awakeners. Their bodies contain many demon cores. These demon cores need to be excavated, which takes a lot of time. If Sure how were to excavate them all by himself, he would exhaust himself. Sure how plans to have Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxian help him excavate the demon cores. The flesh and blood of the monsters that dig out the demon cores can be made into delicious food and provided to the survivors of Beihai City. Listening to Shi Hao's words, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang were very surprised. They didn't expect Shi Hao to have the ability to store space, this is too abnormal. Moreover, all the items stored in the storage space will not expire. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang now understand why Shi Hao put the monster corpses into his storage space, it is to keep the meat fresh. So, Shi Hao, you have been considering the survivors of Beihai City from the beginning. You are really kind. On behalf of these survivors, I thank you. Yi Tianbei sincerely said, thanking Shi Hao. Don't say these empty words. Answer my question first, can you arrange some manpower to help me deal with the demon cores? This is more important than solving the food problem. Shi Hao said seriously. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang knew that there must be many monster corpses in Shi Hao's storage space, which would definitely yield many demon cores. To be honest, as online awakeners, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang also wanted to obtain demon cores to improve their own strength. However, these monster corpses were originally killed by Shi Hao, so the demon core should belong to him. Moreover, Shi Hao's online ability is very powerful. If he takes more demon cores, his future strength will soar, and he can better protect Beihai City. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang are both people with a sense of the overall situation, and they will not calculate Shi Hao for their own selfishness. Even if they calculate Shi Hao, Shi Hao himself is not afraid. After all, in the face of absolute strength, all calculations are useless. At that time, when Shi Hao gets angry, he can send them straight to hell. After a short silence, Yi Tianbei said, Okay, Shi Hao, I have a group of loyal subordinates in Beihai City. I can let these people help deal with the monster corpses and excavate the demon cores. They are trustworthy and won't mess around. As the city lord, Yi Tianbei still has some connections and resources in Beihai City. This can help Shi Hao do a lot of things. Shi Hao, I also have some friends and loyal subordinates in Beihai City. At that time, I can coordinate with Yi Tianbei to help you excavate the demon cores. Wei Wuxiang also quickly expressed his willingness to help. Both of them showed a sincere and dedicated attitude. In order to survive, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang must befriend Shi Hao, they must hold hands and stand on the same front. It's getting dark now. Tonight, you must prepare the manpower and select a clean and uninhabited area. I will personally protect and supervise. Every day, deal with a part of the monster corpses, flesh, and demon cores. Lord Yi, Director Wei. You go and arrange it immediately, understood? Come find me later. Sure how quickly explained. This matter is urgent. Sure how needs to improve his combat power. Otherwise, when the second wave of monsters invades, Sure how will not be able to defeat them. Moreover, only when his own strength improves, can he negotiate more with the high-level officials who control the Dragon Kingdom in the future, and get more generous treatment. However, Shi Hao did not tell Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang about this idea. Some things are better kept to oneself and there is no need to say them out loud. 
When meeting people, only speak seven-tenths of the truth, don't give your whole heart away. Moreover, even if Sher Hao made it clear, it wouldn't bring him much benefit. Hmm, no problem. Sher Hao, rest assured, I will arrange this matter properly. Yi Tian Bei nodded repeatedly, guaranteeing. Yes, Sher Hao, don't worry. I will start arranging now. Wei Wu Xiang said friendly, with a serious expression. Hmm, good. Sher Hao nodded, trusting the two. After a brief exchange, Sher Hao stood up. He was very tall, over two meters, with muscular and well-proportioned body. After standing up, Sher Hao immediately formed the shape of the character. This made Ji Tian Bei and Wei Wu Xiang feel inferior. I'm leaving, Sher Hao said, saying goodbye. All right, no problem. We also need to prepare and gather reliable manpower. Yi Tian Bei and Wei Wu Xiang replied respectfully. After a brief exchange, Sher Hao activated his special ability again. A sacred golden light surged from his body. Sher Hao's body began to expand and became incredibly huge. Soon, Sher Hao's divine body became majestic, emitting a sacred golden light and a terrifying aura. In Sher Hao's hand, a sharp and powerful divine axe condensed. Above Sher Hao's head, the illusions of the primordial god Pangu and the annihilator Thanos appeared. At this moment, every move of Sher Hao exuded a terrifying power, as if he could destroy the heavens and the earth. Then, Sher Hao's figure flickered and left the spot, heading towards the direction where Wang Zhe and the magic cat Yumi were. Yi Tian Bei and Wei Wu Xiang watched respectfully as Sher Hao left. Until Sher Hao was gone, Yi Tian looked at Wei Wu Xiang and asked, Old Wei, what do you think? Do you have any thoughts on what Sher Hao said? It was not appropriate to speak privately with Sher Hao present. My opinion is simple. That is, we should follow what Sher Hao said. What Sher Hao said is right, we should have control over our own lives and not rely too much on the northern capital. After all, the northern capital is a big city and it's easy for them to look down on people from small cities like us. Moreover, it's not wise to set off now. We should first improve our strength, gain more influence, and then go to the northern capital. Anyway, we are all fighting for our lives. Wei Wu Xiang spoke confidently, expressing his opinion. His opinion was the same as Sher Hao's, they were in agreement. All right, no problem. I understand. I will go back and report to the higher-ups. Yi Tianbei nodded, indicating his understanding. Since Wei Wu Xiang had no other opinions, Yi Tianbei naturally wouldn't have any either, and he had no other thoughts. Hmm, I will gather my subordinates. Yi Tianbei also nodded and said. Then, Wei Wu Xiang and Yi Tianbei left the spot. Wei Wu Xiang shook his body and transformed into a resolute war eagle, flying towards a distance. Yi Tianbei transformed into a blazing vermilion bird and headed towards the temporary official base in the northern sea city. On Yi Tianbei's side, after he returned to the temporary base, he retrieved satellite communication information and relayed the message to the higher-ups. In the advanced secret meeting room of the northern capital, Bai Jia received the message and immediately connected in front of all the high-ranking officials. Lord Yi, how is the situation on your side? What is Sher Hao's attitude? Minister Bai Jia asked. She was very curious about Sher Hao's attitude. And the Legion Commander Zhang Tian, the ruler of the Dragon Nation Long Zhangguo, the lord of the northern capital Yuan Cheng Xin, and others were all closely following this matter. They urgently hoped that Sher Hao would join the northern capital and help defend against the invasion of the demons. On Yi Tianbei's side, he took a deep breath and adjusted himself to the best state. Minister Bai, this is how things are. Sher Hao plans to stay in the city of Beihai for a while to resist the second wave of monsters. After the second wave of monsters invades, he will consider going to the capital city. In addition, he hopes that the capital city will immediately dispatch a powerful legion of awakened netizens to Beihai to stand together in times of hardship. After the second wave of monster invasion ends, this legion of awakened netizens will be responsible for escorting the survivors of Beihai to safety. This is Sher Hao's attitude and idea. Yi Tian Bei quickly explained Sher Hao's thoughts. He did not mention anything about the monster flesh, demon cores, and other related matters. Otherwise, if the higher-ups ask Sher how to hand over all the flesh and demon cores, it would be troublesome. The flesh is meant to be consumed by the survivors of Beihai, it is everyone's food. As for the demon cores, they are essential for improving Sher Hao's combat power. If there are any leftovers, they will be distributed among the awakened netizens of Beihai City and cannot be handed over. Since they won't be handed over, there is no need to mention it. Listening to Yi Tianbei's report, Bai Jia frowned and temporarily turned off the microphone to look at Long Zhangguo, Zhang Tian, Tang Ming, and others, wanting to see their thoughts before giving an answer. After all, Bai Jia was only the minister of the satellite department, responsible for communication. The real decision-makers were Zhang Tian, Long Zhangguo, Yuan Chengxin, and other high-ranking officials. 
Will the second wave of monster invasion end? Long Zhangwa gently stroked his golden beard, showing a thoughtful expression. Then, Long Zhangwa looked at Zhang Tian. Old Zhang, do you think that without the help of these awakened gods, my capital city can withstand the second wave of monster invasion? Can these awakened gods really help Beihai City resist the second wave of monster invasion? Long Zhangwa asked Zhang Tian, wanting to know about the strength aspect. After all, the legion stationed in the capital city was under Zhang Tian's command, and he led them in battle. After hearing this, Zhang Tian carefully considered for a moment. He spoke, the legion stationed in my capital city is powerful, with support from surrounding cities. All the awakened netizens from the surrounding small cities have been transferred here. There is no problem in resisting the second wave of monster invasion. However, whether these awakened gods can help Beihai City resist the second wave of monster invasion is hard to say. After all, Beihai City only has sure how is the prominent awakened netizen. The power of one person is ultimately limited. In this way, we agree to Sure Hao's request and will dispatch a legion of awakened netizens to Beihai City. However, let this legion travel at a slower speed, preferably arriving after Beihai City has dealt with the monsters, to avoid losing the strength of the legion. At the same time, we need to observe more and see the fighting power of this awakened god. The first wave of invading monsters had only a few powerful individuals, and overall, they were relatively weak, which Sure Hao was able to withstand, which is normal. But the second wave of invading monsters is not simple. If Sure Hao's strength is truly powerful, then it would be worth it for us to invite him to my capital city at a great cost. Just as he wishes, Zhang Tian expressed his thoughts. He still wanted to test Sure Hao's strength to avoid wasting a lot of manpower and resources by inviting a weak person. All right, old Zhang's arrangement is good. Bai Jia, reply to Etian Bei like this. Also, the task of dispatching those awakened netizens to Beihai City will be handled by you, old Zhang. Long Zhangwa quickly gave the order. Understood. Understood. Bai Jie and Zhang Tian respectfully replied. Then, Zhang Tian began to contemplate and prepare the list of the legion going to Beihai City. Meanwhile, Bai Jie started to communicate with Yi Tian Bei. On Yi Tian Bei's side, he said, Hmm. Okay. I understand. No problem. I promise to complete the mission. Yi Tian Bei nodded repeatedly, indicating that he would complete the mission. Afterwards, the call between the two ended. Yi Tianbei's eyes flickered with a sharp light, as expected. In the end, it's still more focused on one's own interests. Fortunately, I didn't immediately set off for the northern capital. Otherwise, I might have been treated with disdain. Yi Tianbei thought to himself, feeling a bit relieved. However, with the end of this call, the matter of joining the northern capital temporarily came to a close. Afterwards, Yi Tianbei began to gather his subordinates and prepare to help Sher Hao dig for magic cores. As for Sher Hao, he had already returned to the site of the King Yao Mei and the magic cat Yumi. Seeing Sher Hao's arrival, both of them were very happy. Sher Hao is back. Meow, I'm here. Magic cat Yumi immediately noticed Sher Hao's figure. Then, the magic cat Yumi grabbed the magic book and leaped back onto Sher Hao's shoulder. Sher Hao, a Yao is here. King Yao Mei happily smiled. Then, King Yao Mei activated her skill and immediately possessed Sher Hao, standing on top of his head, between the two creator gods. Seeing the two beauties return, Sher Hao smiled lightly. The survivors nearby, seeing this scene, were all very envious. Wow, look, it's obvious that Yao Mei and Yumi like Sher Hao. I'm crying. These two beauties already have someone they like. Yes, if I could have Yao Mei, I would gladly give up 20 years of my life. I'm so jealous, I'm crying. Whoa, whoa. I want the magic cat Yumi, can I have it? I really want to pet the cat. The survivors around were extremely envious of Sher Hao's life. Many people wanted to become as powerful as Sher Hao and enjoy his treatment, being embraced by beautiful women. Unfortunately, these people didn't have a good online name and didn't possess the ability to awaken a good online name. At this time, the awakened little fairy, Zhong Xin, also excitedly came to Sher Hao's side. Sher Hao, do you remember me? Zhong Xian blinked her beautiful eyes and spoke to Sher sure Hao, her eyes filled with admiration. Zhong Xian's beautiful eyes sparkled, looking at Sher sure Hao with great anticipation. At the same time, Zhong Xian was very envious of King Yao Mei and the magic cat Yumi. It was because these two could always follow Sher sure Hao and fight alongside him. This made Zhong Xian extremely envious. I remember. You're Zhong Xian. Sher sure Hao nodded. He he. That's great, Sher sure Hao. You still remember me. When are you free? I want to chat with you. Zhong Xian took the initiative and made a request to Sher Hao, wanting to go on a date with him. Zhong Xian had a good figure, with a prominent front and a raised back. She was a top-notch beauty that many people dreamed of. Sher Hao thought for a moment and gave a reply. 
Wait until later. By then, I'll have something to take care of. Come help me, Shi Hao said. Hearing that Shi Hao needed help, Zhong Xian was very happy and quickly patted her impressive chest, promising, "All right, I will definitely help you get things done." Zhong Xian, the awakened little fairy, wanted to work with Shi Hao and promote their relationship. Not far away, the awakened male fairy Yu Dezhong had an angry expression on his face. "Damn it! I'm being ignored!" While she rushes towards the bed of the awakened creator god, this is too much. Yu Dezhong was furious. He liked Zhong Xian and wanted to have a story with her. However, Zhong Xian completely ignored him. This made Yu Dezhong extremely angry. However, Shi Hao was too powerful. Although Yu Dezhong was angry, he didn't dare to act recklessly in front of Shi Hao and didn't dare to say much. Many survivors around were also very envious. He has three beauties. Even the little fairy awakeners want to date Shi Hao. Wow, so envious! Indeed, strong people are never lacking in beauties. These survivors were filled with emotion. They never expected Shi Hao to have such good luck. Being favored by so many beauties, it was truly enviable. At this moment, a screech of an eagle sounded. Wei Wu Xiang had arrived. He had already gathered a loyal group of subordinates to help Shir Hao deal with the magic cores. Now everyone was ready and prepared. Shir Hao, we are ready here. Please follow me. This way, please. Wei Wu Xiang's face was full of respect as he invited Shir Hao to follow him. He had gathered his subordinates and integrated them with Yi Tian Bei's subordinates, and they were all in a state of readiness. Everyone was waiting for Shi Hao to extract the bodies of the demons and thoroughly search for the magic cores. Wait a moment, Shi Hao said to Wei Wu Xiang. Then his gaze fell on the delicate body of the little fairy awakener Zhong Xian, who was beside him. Zhong Xian, there is something I need your help with now. Come, come to me. I'll take you there, Shi Hao said. Then he extended his right hand and placed it in front of Zhong Xian's attractive body, signaling for her to come up. Zhong Xian was already prepared. When she heard Shi Hao's words, she smiled. Okay, let's go. I will help you a lot. I will be very serious. Zhong Xian immediately said, looking very serious and happy. She had always wanted to follow Shi Hao, fight alongside him, and help him with things. Now Zhong Xian could finally fulfill her wish, so naturally she was very happy. Moreover, looking at Shi Hao's outstretched giant palm, Zhong Xian was very excited. So she climbed onto Shi Hao's palm, holding it with a face full of happiness. Are you holding on tight? Shi Hao asked with concern. Yes, I'm holding on tight. Zhong Xian nodded and said. Now Zhong Xian was holding Shi Hao's palm. Shi Hao could clearly feel that Zhong Xian's body was very soft, and it felt quite good. Let's go. Shi Hao looked at Wei Wu Xiang and said, "Please follow me." Then Shi Hao followed Wei Wu Xiang and left. Many of the survivors around, watching this scene, were very envious. The little fairy has left with the creator god. What do you think? Do they have urgent matters? If you ask me, I'm sure it has something to do with inheritance. He <laughs> he. If the little fairy and the creator god combine, they will definitely have very powerful descendants. Hmm, that makes sense. Many of the survivors around started to discuss eagerly. Some of them believed that there might be some intimate stories happening between the little fairy awakener Zhong Xian and Shi Hao, and there might be a succession of offspring. It's normal to feel sour when you can't get something. As for Shi Hao. He ignored the voices from the outside world. He didn't care how they talked about him. Of course, he didn't want Shi Hao to hear it. Otherwise, he would kill. After all, the majesty of a god is inviolable. As for Shi Hao, he brought the little fairy, the magic cat Yumi, and the king Yame, three beauties, and followed Wei Wu Xiang to a secret and empty place. There was no one here, and the surroundings were filled with dense abandoned buildings. In the central area, it was very spacious and flat, obviously carefully arranged. Below. Shi Hao saw many figures of superhumans, including City Lord Yi Tianbei, who had transformed into the fiery Suzaku, waiting for Shi Hao to arrive. Shi Hao took a look and saw that apart from Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu Xiang, there were a total of 22 superhumans gathered here. This surprised Shi Hao a bit. However, after thinking about it, in the entire North Sea city, there were only 22 awakened individuals, which was actually a pitifully small number. There are a few people missing. But helping me deal with monster flesh and helping me dig out magic cores this time should be enough. Shi Hao thought to himself, accepting the number of these people. At this moment, Shi Hao floated above, breaking through the air. The awakened players below saw Shi Hao's figure and cheered. It's the awakened player of the twin gods of creation. Yes, I see him. So handsome. This time we must help the awakened player of the twin gods of creation. Let's do our best. Yes, we must put all our effort into helping. Yes, that's right. These awakened players showed high spirits, each one full of fighting spirit. 
This made Sher Hao very satisfied. After all, these people were all subordinates of Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang, and they could be trusted. Please, Wei Wuxiang said respectfully. Then, Wei Wuxiang landed on the ground. Sher Hao also came to the ground. Yi Tianbei immediately greeted him respectfully. Sher Hao, you're here. Yi Tianbei greeted respectfully. At the same time, he glanced at Wang Jiayame, Xiao Mo Xian, and Magic Cat Yumi. I didn't expect Sher Hao to bring three beauties with him. It seems that I have to maintain my ability state at all times to avoid exposing my figure and causing Sher Hao's displeasure later. Yi Tianbei thought to himself, on guard. He paid attention to details. Yi Tianbei knew that if he cancelled his ability state, his clothes would disappear. And now Magic Cat Yumi, Xiao Mo Xian, and Wang Jiayame were present. If they didn't have clothes on, it would inevitably make the three beauties embarrassed and cause Sher Hao's displeasure. So, Yi Tianbei paid attention to these details. Not only Yi Tianbei, but even Wei Wuxiang, the prison warden beside him, also paid attention to these details. Lord Yi, Warden Wei, have you told these brothers what needs to be done? Sher Hao asked. His words were clever, calling these awakened players brothers, which brought them closer together. This warmed everyone's hearts. I have already told everyone what needs to be done on this trip. Everyone understands this and is already prepared. We have also prepared the tools. Yi Tianbei replied respectfully. In order to dig out magic cores and deal with flesh, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxian gathered a great deal of power and made careful preparations. That's good. Sure Hao felt relieved and satisfied. Then, Sure Hao took out some monster corpses from the space of his ability storage and placed them on the flat ground. These monster corpses were the corpses of magic wolves. Sher Hao thought to himself that he would start with these appropriately sized monster species to let these awakened players practice and learn how to dig out magic cores and deal with flesh. After placing these monster corpses on the ground, Sher Hao spoke, Everyone, deal with these monster corpses and search for hard magic cores inside them, about two sizes larger than a fist. Some magic cores are bigger. Collect all these magic cores and bring them to me. In addition, while collecting the magic cores, you should also purposefully handle the flesh of these monsters and preserve the edible flesh. As for the inedible flesh, you can discard it. After finishing, inform me immediately, and I will store them in my ability storage space. Otherwise, these flesh will spoil and deteriorate due to being exposed to the air for too long. Do you all understand? Sure how quickly instructed everyone on how to handle monster flesh and magic cores. After Sure how finished speaking, Lord Yi Tianbei immediately added, Everyone must handle the flesh and magic cores properly. These magic cores cannot be kept for personal use, they must all be handed over. And as for the flesh, it is the food supply for everyone, as well as the survivors of Beihai City. There must be no mistakes. If everyone does this well, it will be a great achievement. In the future, when it comes to rewards, everyone will benefit. Do you all understand? Listening to the voices of Sher Hao and Yi Tianbei, these awakened netizens responded respectfully and seriously. Please rest assured, Lord Yi, Director Wei, and the awakened gods of creation. We will definitely complete the tasks you have assigned to us without any selfish motives. Rest assured. These awakened netizens were very respectful. They had sincere expressions and did not look cunning at all. During the era of online pseudonyms, these people belonged to the official power of Beihai City. Therefore, the probability of them causing trouble was relatively small. Sher Hao was reassured by this. Afterwards, Sher Hao saw these awakened netizens, led by Yi Tianbei and Director Wei, starting to process the flesh of the demon wolves and extract the demon cores. Wang Jiayame, Magic Cat Yumi, and Zhong Xian were all surprised by this scene. Flesh, demon cores. Sher Hao really considered a lot. It seems that following Sher Hao not only means we don't have to worry about going hungry, but we can also become stronger. This is great. Wang Jiayame thought to herself, a glimmer of hope flashing in her eyes. She felt like she had seen the future and admired it greatly. The flesh looked fresh and would definitely be delicious if grilled or boiled. Moreover, Wang Jiayame also saw awakened netizens digging out the demon cores. Seeing this, she felt excited. This thing could enhance their strength. Wang Jiayame suddenly felt extremely lucky to be following Sher Hao. I didn't expect Sher Hao's plan to be so grand. Just after dealing with the first wave of demons, many people are resting. But Sher Hao is already considering the flesh and demon cores. He is truly a strong individual. I'm glad I'm following Sher Hao, I won't leave in the future. Magic Cat Yumi thought to herself. She felt that Sher Hao was powerful, had a long-term vision, and had strong methods. Magic Cat Yumi decided to follow such a strong individual and stick around. Although Sher Hao already had a beautiful woman by his side, Magic Cat Yumi believed that she was also attractive and could accommodate other sisters. As long as she could survive, 
Magic Cat Yumi was willing to do anything for Sher Hao. Moreover, if she didn't follow Sher Hao, with her looks, she would definitely be targeted by other ability users. It would only be worse then. Thinking of this, Magic Cat Yumi became even more determined in her heart. She wanted to follow Sher Hao and stick to him no matter what. Moreover, her ability was very special. She could stick to Sher Hao at all times without worrying about not being able to. Thinking of this, Magic Cat Yumi felt much more at ease. On the side, Zhong Xian, who was on Sher Hao's palm, looked at everything below with sparkling eyes. She wasn't afraid at all. Zhong Xian secretly wondered, why did Sher Hao bring me here? It shouldn't be for me to help dig out demon cores and process flesh, right? Just as Zhong Xian was muttering to herself, Sher Hao looked at her and said gently, Zhong Xian, listen carefully. I have another task for you to complete. Do you understand? Sher Hao's voice was thunderous, as loud as a thunderclap, very loud. Sher Hao was speaking in front of everyone, without any intention of whispering. Of course, these words were mainly for everyone to hear. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, and the surrounding awakened netizens all perked up their ears and began to listen attentively. Yes, I'm listening. Sher Hao, go ahead. Zhong Xian said seriously. She would do her best to complete any task assigned by Sher Hao. Sher Hao could feel Zhong Xian's good attitude, and couldn't help but feel a lot of emotion in his heart. In Sher Hao's opinion, this is the benefit of having strength. Once you become powerful, all these beauties will come to you willingly. These beauties, like Mei Yang Yang, and oneself, like Shi Yang Yang, these beauties are all very proactive. However, this is also normal. In civilized times, there are materialistic women. In this doomsday era, there are women who worship the strong. This is all normal. Zhong Xian, the task I'm giving you is simple, which is to be responsible for supervising everyone's work. Brothers, if there's anything you don't understand or have problems with, you can talk to Zhong Xian. She will collect them all and tell me. When the time comes, I will personally solve each problem. Shi Hao said to Zhong Xian and repeated it to the awakened netizens around him. Zhong Xian is Shi Hao's person. Shi Hao arranged for Zhong Xian to be here. In this way, if these awakened netizens try anything, Zhong Xian will be the first to find out. Shi Hao is a cautious person. Although he calls them brothers, he still doesn't trust these people completely. Having Zhong Xian help keep an eye on things is the best result. Everyone understands this and knows it. However, everyone can understand. After hearing this, Zhong Xian nodded. Sure how, rest assured. Leave it to me. I will do what you asked. Zhong Xian straightened her well-developed chest and said. She gave Sure how a reliable feeling. Hmm, good. Sure how nodded. Then, he put Zhong Xian on the ground and let her patrol and inspect. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang understood Shi Hao's meaning and could understand it. They didn't say much, but silently agreed with Shi Hao's approach. Then, Yi Tianbei flew in front of Shi Hao and said, Shi Hao, should we arrange for some survivors to come and handle the flesh and blood? This is a whole source of food, and we don't have enough manpower. The population of Beihai City is very large. I'm afraid the amount of flesh and blood consumed daily is enormous. We need a lot of people to come and handle the flesh and blood of the monsters. Yi Tianbei expressed his thoughts. He wanted some ordinary survivors from Beihai City to help with the work of handling the flesh and blood. Otherwise, we can't just leave all the dirty work to the awakened netizens, right? After hearing this, Shi Hao nodded. He did have this idea. But not now. We can. But, Lord Yi, not now. Shi Hao shook his head and said. Why not? Yi Tianbei didn't understand. Just because there is no suitable processing site yet, and there is no established work order. Lord Yi, you can find some awakened netizens and quickly establish a flesh and blood processing factory. When the time comes, everyone can come to the factory to work and help process these monster flesh and blood. These flesh and blood can also be made into canned meat for easy storage. Can you arrange it? Sure how quickly said, explaining the reasons and proposing a solution. Now, Beihai City urgently needs a monster flesh and blood processing factory. The flesh and blood of the monsters that have already been dug out can be directly transported to this factory for processing. In this way, not only can it provide abundant job opportunities, but it can also solve the problem of everyone's meals. After hearing this, Yi Tianbei nodded, showing a thoughtful expression. Establishing a monster flesh and blood processing factory is difficult. But, sure how, you're right. If Beihai City wants to survive, it must establish such a factory. Only then can we provide food to each survivor more evenly. In that case, I will quickly make arrangements. Yi Tianbei looked extremely serious and said, Although it is difficult to establish a monster flesh processing factory, as the lord of Beihai City, I naturally have to face the challenge for the sake of the entire city. Wei Wuxiang, who was beside him, spoke up, Old Ji, let me help you. 
Let's go and stop the manpower. In addition, we need to plan the location. All right. Yi Tianbei nodded repeatedly to show his agreement. Afterwards, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang bid farewell to Sher Hao and went busy with establishing the flesh processing factory. Sher Hao stayed behind with Zhong Xian to supervise the awakening netizens in digging out magic cores. As time passed, people continued to dig out magic cores. Sher Hao didn't hesitate and directly stored these magic cores in his cosmic storage space. Sher Hao needed to choose a suitable time to absorb and merge these magic cores, he couldn't be hasty. What he needed to do now was to wait for time to pass and for the magic cores to accumulate. Time quickly passed. In just two and a half days, it had already gone by. Inside Sher Hao's cosmic storage space, a considerable number of magic cores had accumulated, more than 300 of them. In addition, there were also many pieces of flesh that had been processed. During these days, Sher Hao would distribute some flesh to help the survivors solve their food problems. On the other hand, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang, with the help of the awakening netizens, had established a huge monster flesh processing factory. However, this was only a prototype, and there were still many facilities and venues that had not been fully established. But this gave everyone hope. Sher Hao was now like a refrigerator, temporarily storing food in Beihai City. The weather is nice today, and there are quite a lot of magic cores. I should improve my strength, Sher Hao thought to himself. So, Sher Hao called Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, Dija Ultraman Awakener, Sai Luo Ultraman Awakener, and Little Fairy Awakener Zhong Xin to his side. Today, I will consume the magic cores and start improving my own combat power. During this period, I need you all to protect me and try not to let anyone disturb me. Only if I improve my strength can we survive the second wave of monster invasion. This matter is extremely important, do you all understand? Sher Hao quickly explained in a serious tone. Hearing Sher Hao's words, Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, and the others all became serious and nodded. Sher Hao, rest assured. This matter is very important. I will protect you. Yi Tianbei immediately expressed his support and puffed out his chest, looking very reliable. Sher Hao was now the hope of Beihai City. If Sher Hao died, Beihai City would be destroyed. As the lord of the city and Sher Hao's good friend, Yi Tianbei was naturally willing to lend a helping hand. Sher Hao, I will protect you well. With me here, nothing unexpected will happen. Little fairy awakener Zhong Xian said seriously. As she spoke, she also straightened her impressive chest. Zhong Xian liked Sher Hao and wanted to become the woman by his side. She was like Mei Yan Yang, and Sher Hao was Shi Yan Yang. It was normal for Mei Yan Yang to like Shi Yan Yang and do some pleasing actions. These days, Zhong Xian had been behaving well, often following Sher Hao and diligently helping him supervise the search for magic cores. If it weren't for the urgent time, Sher Hao wouldn't have had the time to stop and engage in some romantic affairs. Otherwise, Sher Hao might have already made Zhong Xian happy. Sher Hao, rest assured, both old Ji and I will protect you. Prison Chief Wei Wuxiang spoke up. He and Yi Tianbei were the backbone of Beihai City, the main force here. It can be said that if both Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang were to die, the city of Beihai would collapse, causing widespread panic. Sher Hao, don't worry. I am Ultra Mantiga, and I will protect you. Ultra Mantiga Awakener respectfully said. These days, there has been frequent interaction between him and Sher Hao. Ultra Mantiga Awakener is a follower of Sher Hao. Sher Hao still trusts him more. With Ultra Mantaro here, no one will dare to cause trouble. Ultra Mantaro spoke with great respect. He had been saved by Sher Hao before and felt grateful towards him. Seeing everyone united, Sher Hao felt relieved. Well, thank you all for your hard work. I can feel everyone's sincerity. The situation in Beihai City is extremely special. The resources of magic cores we currently have are limited. Therefore, we cannot distribute them equally to everyone, please understand. Now, we can only have one person become stronger first, and then lead everyone to become stronger together. Otherwise, we will be completely defeated in the next wave of monster invasions. As the one with special abilities, I will become stronger first and then lead everyone to become powerful. Does anyone have any objections to this? Sher Hao spoke gently, explaining the current situation to everyone, which was not optimistic. One person becoming stronger and leading others to become stronger is the best method. It's like in the world of cultivation, if resources are evenly distributed, everyone remains ordinary. But if resources are concentrated in one person, they can become a powerful immortal and lead everyone towards greatness. Everyone understood the meaning behind Sher Hao's words. They were all good friends whom Sher Hao trusted and they expressed their understanding and support for Sher Hao's actions. Seeing everyone united in understanding the meaning behind his words, Sher Hao felt relieved. Wang Zhe Yao Mei and Magic Cat Yumi Awakeners, although they didn't speak, they cooperated by staying close to Sher Hao and protecting him. 
Once someone or a monster invaded, Wang Jia Yao Mei and Magic Cat Yumi would immediately use their skills to help sure how stop the enemy's advance. Hmm, very good. Then I will start consuming the magic cores. Sure how greeted them and then took out magic cores the size of a baby's fist from his cosmic storage space. The first magic core he took out looked pitch black and emitted a terrifying aura. Looking at this magic core, one could imagine how fierce the monster it belonged to was. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, Zhong Xian, and others looked at Sure how with serious expressions. Honestly, witnessing the improvement of the cultivation and combat power of the awakeners of the twin gods of creation was a rare opportunity. Everyone could observe and learn from it, further understanding these magic cores and how to improve their own combat power. Without hesitation, Sure how consumed the first magic core. This magic core gave him a feeling of restraint, but after swallowing it, it transformed into a majestic energy that nourished his entire body. Not enough, the quantity is too small. I need more. A sharp light flashed in Sher Hao's deep golden eyes. He continued to take out magic cores from his cosmic storage space and swallowed them into his body. Currently, Sher Hao's cultivation and combat power were at the third stage of the Dharma image realm. This level of cultivation and combat power allowed Sher Hao to manifest the illusions of Thanos and the primordial god Pangu above his head, assisting him in battle. The Dharma image realm is divided into nine stages. Currently, Sher Hao was at the third stage. Today, he aimed to reach the ninth stage. After reaching the end of the Dharma image realm, the next level of cultivation would be the golden body realm. In the golden body realm, all the genes in the human body are fully released, and all parts of the body are trained, forging physical strength in the limbs, torso, and brain. After the golden body realm is the heavenly human realm. In the heavenly human realm, the main focus is on cultivating the five organs and six viscera, eliminating all impurities within the body, and enhancing the internal and external strength and defense of the physical body, reaching a terrifying level equivalent to a heavenly being. At this point, Sher Hao, relying on his physical strength, can easily kill anyone. After the heavenly human realm is the holy realm. Once reaching the holy realm, Sher Hao can further unlock the power of Thanos and the primordial god Pangu, and use the power of certain laws to deal with these demons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. Sher Hao directly consumed 10 magic cores in succession. At this moment, Sher Hao felt an extremely majestic energy within his body. He sat cross-legged on the ground, focused his mind, closed his eyes, and began to fully digest the energy of the magic cores within his body. Waves of golden light emanated from Sher Hao, making him appear sacred and majestic. Not only that, terrifying pressure burst forth from Sher Hao's sturdy body, commanding respect from others. So powerful. I can feel Sher Hao's aura getting stronger. Is this the power of the magic cores? The primordial god Sher Hao is amazing. Wang Zhe Yao Mei was attached to Sher Hao's body. She could clearly feel the changes in Sher Hao's body, as he continued to grow stronger. This feeling was quite peculiar. For some reason, Wang Zhe Yao Mei's heart was filled with admiration. So impressive. I can feel Sher Hao getting stronger and stronger. It's like a dormant beast gradually awakening, its aura becoming more intense and powerful. The primordial god is truly amazing. Even the magic cat Yumi was extremely shocked. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, Zhong Xian, Di Zhao Ultraman, and Sai Luo Ultraman stood by guarding Sher Hao, their faces filled with astonishment. He consumed 10 magic cores in a row. Sher Hao's aura is continuously rising. As long as there are magic cores, his combat power can increase. So that's how it is. Yi Tianbei murmured, gaining a certain level of understanding about the magic cores and cultivation. However, Wei Wuxiang shook his head while listening to Yi Tianbei's words. He softly said, no, consuming the magic cores alone is not enough. You need to absorb the energy contained within the magic cores in order to become stronger. I have consumed magic cores before, and absorbing their energy is not easy. Moreover, consuming too many at once can cause the body to explode. If you are too weak, the time it takes for you to absorb the magic cores will increase. And someone like Sher Hao is like a phoenix's feather, he is the only one in the entire Beihai city, even the entire dragon kingdom who can have such a powerful efficiency in absorbing magic cores. Wei Wu Xiang revealed what he knew. After hearing this, Yi Tianbei understood what was going on. He had learned a lot. Zhong Xian, Ultraman Awakeners, and the others also gained a lot of knowledge and a deeper understanding of this world. As for Sher Hao, he quickly digested and absorbed the energy contained in the 10 magic cores. However, it's still not enough. I need to continue consuming them. Sher Hao thought to himself. He realized that his body was like a bottomless pit, needing to digest and absorb a lot of magic core energy in order to break through realms and levels. So, Sher Hao took out another 10 magic cores from the cosmic storage space. After taking out the 10 magic cores, 
Shi Hao began to consume them, digesting and absorbing their immense energy. Meanwhile, Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, Zhong Xian, and the others patiently stood guard. This time, consuming the ten magic cores allowed Shi Hao to advance from the third stage of the law phase realm to the fourth stage. This process took a whole hour. Next, Shi Hao continued to repeat this process. Time passed quickly, like the evaporation of thin mist under the sun, leaving no trace. The entire night passed by. Shi Haodu was taking the devouring demon core and digesting it. By the next morning, Shi Haodu's cultivation level had already reached the ninth level of the law phase realm. At this point, Shi Haodu only had seven demon cores left. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxian, Zhong Xian, and others had not slept all night. They were all guarding Shi Haodu, witnessing his continuous growth and witnessing history. Now, there is a very powerful pressure surging from Shi Haodu. Yi Tianbei and others knew that Shi Haodu had already become powerful to a certain extent, which was terrifying. Too strong. This aura, as if a single axe strike could destroy everything in the world. Shi Haodu, you're amazing. Truly a creator god. Yi Tianbei was extremely amazed. His gaze towards Shi Haodu was filled with awe. However, Shi Haodu himself was dissatisfied with his current situation. Now there are only seven demon cores left. Damn it. When the second wave of demon invasion comes, I need to at least reach the golden body realm and start cultivating my limbs, torso, and head. Only then can I crush those demons. The current realm is really embarrassing. Not high enough, not low enough. If I were to face some stronger demons, I'm afraid it would be a back and forth battle. Sure how do worried. With the limited number of demon cores now, it was simply not enough to support sure how do's cultivation to the golden body realm, and he couldn't break through the bottleneck of the ninth level of the law phase realm. What should he do? Suddenly, Shi Haodu felt a bit stuck. And at this moment, Zhong Xian noticed Shi Haodu's state and felt that something was off. She asked gently, Shi Haodu, what's wrong with you? Improving your strength should be a happy thing. But why do I feel like you have something on your mind? Zhong Xian said, straightening her impressive chest, wanting to make Shi Haodu happy. She was indeed quite beautiful. And she was the first one to notice that something was wrong with Shi Haodu. Sure enough, with Zhong Xian's words, Wang Jiao may also noticed. Yeah, sure how do, you've clearly become very strong. Why do you still seem a bit gloomy? Did something happen? Wang Jiao may asked gently. Sure how do, can we help you? The magic cat Yumi also had a gentle expression. Wei Wuxian, Dijia, and Saro, who were next to them, also showed concern. Sure how do didn't explicitly say it. He took a slight detour and said, here's the thing. I don't have enough demon cores, only seven left. This hasn't reached the level of cultivation and effect I expected. I won't be able to resist the next wave of demon invasion. Sure how do explained the reason. After hearing sure how do's words, everyone looked at each other. Zhong Xian wanted to help, but she didn't have any demon cores on hand. She blinked and started thinking about how to help sure how do solve this problem. Zhong Xian wanted to help, but the problem was that these demon cores couldn't just appear out of thin air or be directly produced. Wang Jia Yao and the magic cat Yumi, the two beauties, also had worried expressions. If all they had to do was take off their clothes, lie on the bed, and call out daddy a few times, then the demon cores would appear out of thin air. Then, Wang Jia Yao and the magic cat Yumi would definitely be willing to do it. But the problem was, to obtain demon cores, they had to hunt demons. And now, there were no demons left in Beihai City. If they wanted to get demon cores, they could only wait for the next wave of demon invasion and kill more demons. Yi Tianbei took out a fist-sized demon core from his bosom. He said, Sure how do, I still have one demon core here, a small contribution. Please don't refuse. As he spoke, Yi Tianbei handed a demon core to Sure how do. This demon core was obtained by Yi Tianbei when he hunted the demon crows. He hadn't taken it yet. After hearing what Sure how said, he didn't hesitate and directly took the magic core from him. Although mosquitoes are small, they are still meat. Having magic cores is better than having none. And Yi Tianbei wasn't just pretending, he genuinely wanted to help Sure Hao. Only one magic core is not enough. In my cosmic storage space, there are still some monster corpses that haven't been dealt with. But I counted them, and at most, we can only dig out 11 magic cores from these monster corpses. Adding these 8 magic cores, we have a total of 19 magic cores. It's still not enough, Sure Hao said. He needed to break through to the golden body realm. With that, the next time monsters invade, Shi Hao will unleash a crushing slaughter, reducing the casualties of many personnel. Otherwise, even if Beihai City manages to withstand the second wave of monster invasion, the survivors and ability users in Beihai City will suffer heavy losses. If they don't want more people to be injured or killed, someone needs to step up. And for someone to step up, 
more resources need to be allocated. Everyone understands this logic. I understand, Yi Tianbei said. So, sure how, you go and deal with the remaining monster corpses, and I'll call on all the ability users in the city to see if we can collect some magic cores from everyone. In this way, we might have enough by pooling resources from all directions. What do you think, sure how? Yi Tianbei sincerely presented his solution. It was the best solution he could think of. However, it might not necessarily work, but they had to give it a try. Sure how nodded and agreed. Okay, let's give it a try. If we still don't have enough magic cores, then I'll have to go outside Beihai City and hunt monsters for a while. If I'm not in the city at that time, I'll leave things here to everyone else, sure how continued. He had an idea, which was to go outside Beihai City and hunt monsters. However, hunting monsters outside was a time-consuming task. Moreover, if Sure Hao left Beihai City, the overall combat power of the city would decrease. If there were no troublemakers among the awakened netizens during that time, it would be fine. But if there were troublemakers among the awakened netizens, and Yi Tianbei and the others couldn't deal with them, it would be troublesome. Moreover, there were still many monsters in this world. These monsters wouldn't just stay in one place. If a batch of monsters from elsewhere rushed in and attacked Beihai City while Sure Hao was away, then Beihai City would be doomed. Besides, if something happened to Sure Hao while he was out hunting monsters and he got trapped outside, unable to return to Beihai City, then when the second wave of monster invasion arrived, Beihai City would still face the danger of being destroyed. Therefore, it would be best if Sure Hao didn't leave, then he wouldn't leave. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, and the others understood the seriousness of the situation. Okay, Sure Hao, I understand. I'll go and gather everyone, Yi Tianbei said quickly. He felt an urgent sense of anxiety and needed to act quickly. Old Ji, I'll help you, Wei Wuxiang said, greeting him. They had been old friends for many years. Moreover, during the civilized era, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang were in contact with the power center of Beihai City. They were more efficient when working together. After that, the group briefly exchanged some words and then started to act separately, busying themselves. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang went to persuade the awakened netizens to give them some magic cores. Di Gao Ultraman, Sai Luo Ultraman, and Zhong Xian followed Sher Hao to the monster flesh processing factory. Although the factory was not fully completed yet, they could still process some flesh there. Sher Hao found the most reliable awakened netizens and asked them to help him deal with the remaining monster flesh on his body. Time is passing quickly. In the blink of an eye, a day has gone by. After many efforts, Sher Hao has a total of 35 magic cores in his hands. 35 magic cores, to break through the bottleneck. But it's still not enough. Sher Hao sighed. At this moment, the night fell, the stars in the sky twinkled, and a blood-red moon hung high in the air, casting a red glow and covering everyone with a red veil. The surrounding demonic winds howled, as if monsters were wailing. Sher Hao felt a sense of urgency, a feeling of pressure. Sher Hao, are 35 magic cores still not enough? But we can't produce any more magic cores. Yi Tianbei said with a worried expression. Yes, we have tried our best. We have made the greatest effort to collect magic cores. Now, it seems that we can't gather enough magic cores even if we try our best. Wei Wuxiang also looked worried and spoke. Today, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang have been running around and managed to gather 9 magic cores. A large part of the 35 magic cores in Sher Hao's hands came from Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxiang. As the backbone of Beihai City, they naturally do not want the city to be destroyed. So, they are willing to help. And making sure how stronger is something they believe should be done. Sure how, I also tried my best. But I couldn't find any magic cores. I'm sorry. Zhong Xian said with a hint of grievance. Today, she also searched everywhere for magic cores but couldn't find any. It's okay, Zhong Xian, I know you've tried your best. Although there are only 35 magic cores. But I feel like I can give it a try. If it's not enough, I can go out for a few days, it should be no problem. Sure how said. He planned to give it a try. Yes, you can. Then sure how, you take them first and cultivate, we will protect you. Yes, we will protect you. That's right, you take them first, we will all protect you. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, Zhong Xian, and others said. The best method now is to let sure how take the magic cores first. If he still can't break through his cultivation realm, then he will have to go out and hunt demons to obtain magic cores. Okay. Sure how agreed. Then, under the protection of everyone, Sure Hao sat down and started taking the magic cores. And Sure Hao began to operate his own cultivation, digesting and absorbing the energy contained in these magic cores. Waves of golden light surged, Sure Hao's imposing figure began to rise, and a powerful pressure burst out. The entire space, under the influence of this pressure, became slightly distorted, with a faint risk of shattering. 
Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, and others around all looked serious. Time passed bit by bit, evaporating like thin mist without leaving a trace. The process of sure how absorbing the energy of the magic course was extremely tedious for everyone. But Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxiang, Zhong Xian, Magic Cat Yumi, Ayao, and others had patient expressions, staying in place and waiting patiently. No one had any intention of leaving. As for Shi Hao, his cultivation aura continued to rise. One magic core after another was consumed as Shi Hao took them. Most of the night had passed. Shi Hao's aura had already reached its peak. However, he still hadn't broken through to the golden body realm. But, still lacking a bit, this bottleneck is too difficult to break through. Shi Hao frowned. He felt that he had already consumed a lot of resources. However, he still couldn't break through his cultivation realm. This made Shi Hao's temper become irritable. But thinking about it, Shi Hao awakened the power of the creation god Pangu and Thanos this time. This pseudonym ability is very powerful. To improve this ability, the resources needed to be consumed must be more abundant. If it were another awakened user, their cultivation would have already skyrocketed. However, this is normal. After all, Shi Hao's combat power is higher than many others. How are you, Shi Hao? Zhong Xian asked with concern. Yes, Shi Hao, are you satisfied? Shi Hao, what do you think? Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxian, and others looked over, their faces full of concern. Still a bit lacking. I'm afraid I really have to leave Beihai City this time and go hunt monsters. Wait for me in Beihai City, I'll leave tomorrow. Sure Hao said. He still needed a few more demon cores to break through his realm and gain more combat power. There were no more demon cores left in Beihai City. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxian, and others had already spent a lot of effort collecting those demon cores. Almost all the demon cores that could be collected had been collected. Now, it all depended on Shi Hao's own efforts. Shi Hao, are you going alone? Do you want to take me with you? I can take care of you. Zhong Xian, the awakened fairy, said, casting a charming gaze at Shi Hao. She wanted to follow Shi Hao into battle. Whether it was fighting together, hunting monsters, or taking care of him in daily life and in bed, the awakened fairy Zhong Xian would do it perfectly. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxian's expressions became strange after hearing this. They were older and had rich life experiences, so they immediately understood the meaning behind Zhong Xian's words. Moreover, Yi Tianbei and Wei Wuxian were a bit envious of Shi Hao. After all, Zhong Xian had a good figure and appearance. Any man would like her. Shi Hao himself also had a strange expression. He was going to hunt monsters, not to hunt Zhong Xian. Ahem. Shi Hao coughed. Zhong Xian, I understand your intentions, and I have already understood. But this trip is very dangerous. Hunting demon cores is a dangerous task. I'll go alone, I'm worried you might get hurt. Shi sure Hao politely refused. He naturally understood Zhong Xian's thoughts. However, Shi sure Hao was indeed going to hunt monsters, not to engage in a romantic relationship. When the situation stabilizes later, if Zhong Xian is still so proactive, then Shi sure Hao will not be polite anymore and will take the initiative. I'm not afraid of danger. I can help you. Zhong Xian straightened her well-developed chest and said, because she was too excited, her voice was too loud, and her chest even swayed up and down, full of temptation. Shi Hao said, I know you're not afraid of danger, but your combat power is still a bit weak. Sometimes, I need to scout and maneuver. Facing these monsters alone, I can come and go freely. If I bring you along, there will be many inconveniences. You be a good girl and stay here. When I'm not here, take care of this monster flesh processing factory, got it? Shi Hao's attitude was firm, clearly refusing to bring Zhong Xian along. At the same time, to prevent Zhong Xin from getting bored, Shi Hao also arranged for her to do something, which was to take care of the monster flesh processing factory. Zhong Xian knew that this was an important task. She knew that Shi Hao wouldn't take her along. However, Zhong Xian still expressed her attitude. She wanted Shi Hao to know that he was in her heart. Hmm, okay then. I'll stay in Beihai City. I'll take care of the monster flesh processing factory. Shi Hao, be sure to stay safe on your journey. Zhong Xian looked concerned. She was very worried about Shi Hao's safety. Hmm. Zhang Xian, don't worry. I'll take care of myself. Shi Hao nodded and replied. They are now considered good friends. So, Shi Hao's patience will be a little more. Hmm. The little fairy awakened. Zhong Xian nodded repeatedly. And at this time, Wang Xiaomi asked, Shi Hao, I can always possess you. Can I follow you to hunt down these monsters? Yes. As long as you listen to me. You are in a possessed state. Wherever I go, you will follow. So, it's no problem for you to follow me. Shi Hao nodded and said. This Wang Xiaomi's situation is special. She can float above Shi Hao's head. When Shi Hao goes left, Wang Xiaomi will go left. When Shi Hao goes right, Wang Xiaomi will go right. 
Bringing her along will not affect Shi Hao's battles. Moreover, Wang Xiaomei can provide assistance at critical moments and restrict the movements of those monsters. That's great. Shi Hao, don't worry. I will protect you and help you control all those monsters. Wang Xiaomei said seriously. A burst of light shimmered on her. This Wang Xiaomei has an angelic face and a devilish figure. Quite good. Coupled with her online nickname Special Ability Mechanism. So, Shi Hao is quite willing to take Wang Xiaomei with him. Hmm, I know. Shi Hao nodded calmly. And at this time, the magic cat Yumi also spoke. Meow Shi Hao, wherever you go, I will go. I want to fight alongside you, I want to protect you. The magic cat Yumi said. This cute little cat speaks like a charming mature woman, with a voice that is bone tingling and sweet. Okay, you also come with me. Shi Hao nodded repeatedly and responded. The online nickname special ability mechanism of the magic cat Yumi is similar to that of Wan Xiaomei. They both possess Shi Hao and closely follow him at all times. They and Shi Hao are practically one entity. In this state, Shi Hao can move freely without worrying about the two beauties. During battles, they can also release skills to help Shi Hao. That's great. The little fairy awakened, Zhong Xian, is extremely envious. She also wants to have this kind of possessing ability. In that case, Zhong Xian can always follow Shi Hao like Wang Xiaomei and the magic cat Yumi. Unfortunately, once the online nickname special ability awakens, it becomes fixed and cannot be changed. If Zhong Xian could have a chance, she would definitely change her online nickname to Wang Xiaomei or the magic cat Yumi. After awakening the online nickname special ability, Zhong Xian can always possess Shi Hao and fight alongside him. Unfortunately, there are not so many ifs in this world, and there is no way to start over. Zhong Xian can only envy and accept her fate. Yi Tianbei, Wei Wuxian, Dijia, and Saro all envy Shi Hao very much. They feel that Shi Hao is extremely lucky, surrounded by beautiful women, and very comfortable. Dijia and Saro also want to have this kind of treatment. However, the most exceptional beauties prefer to follow Shi Hao. Of course, as long as Dijia and Saro are willing, they will never lack women in the future. On this side, Yi Tianbei asked, Shi Hao, when do you plan to leave Beihai City? Today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Shi Hao said. I plan to leave early tomorrow morning. Shi Hao said. It's already a bit late today. Leaving tomorrow is just right. If everything goes smoothly this time, Shi Hao estimates that he will be able to return in just two and a half days. If it doesn't go well, it will take five days or even seven and a half days. Okay. Shi Hao, I wish you all the best. Yi Tianbei said, conveying his sincerest wishes. Yes, Shi Hao. I wish you a smooth journey and early success in hunting down the magic cores, advancing to a higher cultivation realm. The way Wu Xiang next to him also sent his sincerest blessings. Good friend, keep going. When you're not here, we will protect Beihai City. We'll wait for you to come back, said Ultraman Tiga. He patted his strong chest, looking very reliable. Ultraman Tiga, as an awakened warrior, was powerful and a good friend of Shi Hao. When Shi Hao was not around, Ultraman Tiga not only protected Beihai City but also focused on protecting Shi Hao's alma mater, Ijong School. During these days, many students asked Shi Hao for autographs, but he refused. So, these students turned their attention to Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Zero. Next to them, Ultraman Zero also spoke up, saying, Shi Hao, you can rest assured. We will protect Beihai City. Wait for your safe return. Shi Hao had saved Ultraman Zero once before. It can be said that Shi Hao was his savior. Everyone was sincere and enthusiastic. Later, Shi Hao chatted with everyone for a while. At this moment, a breeze blew in from a distance. Immediately after, Shi Hao saw a familiar and beautiful figure suddenly appear in front of him. When he saw her, Shi Hao was stunned for a moment. Su Muru? Teacher? Shi Hao blinked, instinctively recalling this name and habitually calling her teacher in his mind. However, it was a critical period now. Shi Hao, on the surface, did not call Su Muru teacher. After all, Shi Hao had experienced many things in his two lifetimes. In his reincarnation, Shi Hao considered himself extremely mature and knowledgeable. Moreover, if he called Su Chiu Hong teacher in front of so many people, it would be too embarrassing. When Su Muro came over, a worried expression appeared on her beautiful face. Something bad happened. There was an explosion in the center of Beihai City. Many survivors were killed in the explosion. The real culprit has not been found yet. I don't know who caused the destruction. Su Chiu Hong said anxiously. Just now, in the center of Beihai City, there was an area designated for housing survivors. Many survivors were temporarily living there. But for some reason, an explosion occurred. At least a thousand survivors were killed directly. There were net-named ability users investigating the incident, but they couldn't find any results. 
Su Chiu Hong roughly knew the direction Shi Hao had left in, so she turned into a gust of wind and came to find him. In her opinion, only Shi Hao could solve this problem. Seeing Su Chiu Hong so anxious, Shi Hao nodded and finally said, Su teacher, don't worry. I'll go back and take a look now. I feel like I already know who did it. Shi Hao finally called Su Chiu Hong teacher. On the side, Zhong Xian, Wang Jiao, Magic Cat Yumi, Yi Tian Bei, and others all had surprised expressions. Because they didn't expect that the woman who came over would turn out to be Shi Hao's teacher. You must know that Shi Hao is the creator god. And Su Chiu Hong is Shi Hao's teacher, the teacher of this creator god. In that case, in the future, everyone would have to show utmost respect when they saw Su Chiu Hong. However, everyone carefully observed and found that there was no strange relationship or atmosphere. Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Zero, on the other hand, knew what was going on. It was because they had once obeyed Shi Hao's orders to protect Bei Hai Zhong, and Bei Hai Zhong was Shi Hao's alma mater. This meant that Shi Hao was a student in this school, a student who possessed the power of the twin creator gods and saved Bei Hai City. Although Shi Hao's background made him appear young, like an ignorant student who didn't know anything, the time they spent together proved otherwise. Yi Tianbei and Wei Wu Xiang felt that Shi Hao was not ordinary and had a mature mindset beyond his age. Therefore, they did not see Shi Hao as a child. Everyone's attention shifted to teacher Su Muru. However, Shi Hao and the magic cat Yumi were focused on the explosion. Shi Hao. It's probably the work of the Joker Awakener. The Wolverine Awakener mentioned before that this Joker is causing destruction. I didn't expect him to be so efficient, to quickly obtain a bomb, to cause an explosion, and to kill people so quickly. We need to quickly find the Joker Awakener. The magic cat Yumi Awakener spoke up. Her voice was pleasant. Yes. I also think it's the Joker Awakener. Sure how nodded. It seems that before going out for training, we need to deal with this bastard. Otherwise, Beihai City will be destroyed again. Sure how added, a deep killing intent flashed in his golden eyes. He had already made up his mind to kill the Joker Awakener. After hearing this, Sumuro immediately understood what was going on. Joker Awakener? Then let's join forces to catch him. Su Muro said, My online nickname ability allows me to turn into a breeze. I know what the Joker looks like. I can quickly locate him and report to you, sure how. Are you sure it's the Joker Awakener? Su Muro added, Her online nickname ability was quite special. In this world, wherever the wind wanted to go, it could reach. Su Muro could quickly help sure how find people. Yes, it's him. I've dealt with him before. I originally thought this Joker Awakener wouldn't cause much trouble. I didn't expect him to cause such a big mess so quickly. Sure Hao's eyes were filled with killing intent as he replied with certainty. Then I'll go find him now. Su Muro nodded and said. She was very efficient and immediately turned into a breeze, disappearing from the spot. Looking at the disappearing Su Muro, Sure Hao felt a lot of emotions. Things changed so quickly. Su teacher, I didn't expect that the internet addicted teenager in your heart would become so powerful. Don't worry. I am a person who repays kindness. In Beihai City, I will protect it. Yesterday, I was proud of Beihai First Middle School, and today, Beihai First Middle School is proud of me. Shi Hao thought to himself, a deep determination flashed in his golden eyes. At the same time, Shi Hao couldn't help but think of something in his mind and smirked. Su teacher has a good figure. Teachers are also good. Shi Hao muttered to himself, thinking of some inappropriate scenes, not only feeling a bit funny. This was really against professional ethics. On the other hand, Yi Tian Bei spoke up, Sure how, I didn't expect that we would have such a bastard in Beihai City. It's really infuriating. I'm going to the city center to see the casualties. You guys talk first, I have to go. When Yi Tian Bei spoke, he transformed into the majestic vermilion bird and flapped his wings, rushing towards the central area of Beihai City. Yi Tian Bei was genuinely worried about the survivors of Beihai City. He was a good lord. Beside him, Wei Wu Xiang muttered to himself, Although this Joker Awakener caused a big explosion, it killed many survivors. However, it also reduced the number of mouths to feed in Beihai City, to some extent, solving the food crisis. There are pros and cons. Wei Wu Xiang's eyes flashed with a hint of shrewdness as he muttered to himself. He simply dare not speak out. After all, these remarks are too anti-human and too immoral. Wei Wu Xiang is very self-aware and only dares to think to himself, but not speak out. Then, Wei Wuxiang also spoke up, Sure how, Olji left in a hurry just now. I also want to go and see the situation in the city center. That clown awakener is really going too far. However, Olji and I don't know much about him. Sure how, with you taking action, we can feel much more at ease. If you need help, please contact me and Olji anytime. I'm going to find Olji now and see if I can share some of his burden. 
Wei Wuxian's tone was gentle and his attitude was proper. When he spoke to Sher Hao, he always appeared very friendly and respectful, although Sher Hao didn't buy it. Hmm, you go ahead. Don't worry, I will catch the clown awakener. Sher Hao nodded and said, hmm, good luck. Wei Wuxiang said the last words and then transformed into a terrifying war hawk, flapping his wings and flying towards the direction of the city center. At the scene, only Di Jia, Sai Luo, Sher Hao, Magic Cat Yumi, King Ayao, Zhong Xin, and others were left. Sher Hao had something to explain. He spoke to Dijia Ultraman and Sai Luo Ultraman. Dijia, Sai Luo, you two should guard the North Sea City more. In addition, you must help me take care of the first middle school. The children are the hope of the future. Although there are superhumans in this world, the flame of technology must not be extinguished. It is the crystallization of human civilization. Some students may not have awakened their superpowers, but they can change the world and benefit humanity through learning and mastering scientific technology. You must protect them. In addition, pay attention to some social talents, especially talents in construction, water and electricity, etc., must be closely watched. In the future, it may be necessary to establish a new city. Sure how quickly explained. After he dealt with the clown awakener, he would leave. Therefore, sure how had to make arrangements in advance. Otherwise, things would get chaotic later. Dijia Ultraman and Sai Luo Ultraman immediately understood the meaning behind Sher Hao's words. It meant to protect the flowers of the Dragon Kingdom and protect the talents of the North Sea City. Because in the future, if the North Sea City needs to develop, it will rely on these talents. In the future, all buildings will collapse due to the Earth's changes, turning into ruins. The talents in the construction industry will be highly valued. After all, the future new city that resists monsters will rely on these talents. Sure how had been reborn once, so he naturally had to plan ahead. He entrusted the matter to Dijia Ultraman and Sai Luo Ultraman to handle. Sher Hao felt very reassured in his heart. Don't worry, Sher Hao. We understand what you mean. We will take care of your alma mater, first middle school. At the same time, we will pay more attention to those talents in society and protect them. Dijia Ultraman and Sai Luo Ultraman patted their chests and assured Sher Hao. Their every move gave people a reliable feeling. Hmm, I believe in you. You can go now. I have something to discuss with Zhong Xian. Sure how seemed to have given them a dismissal order, allowing Di Jia and Sai Luo, the two awakened netizens, to busy themselves with their own affairs. They both had a friendly and respectful appearance, choosing to comply. Yes, sir. No problem. Di Jia and Sai Luo responded. Then, Di Jia and Sai Luo left the spot and headed towards the distance. This place was quite remote, far from the city center. Therefore, Sure how and the others couldn't hear the explosion in the city center. However, for those who have awakened their online names, this distance is nothing at all. After the two Ultraman Awakeners left, Zhong Shan looked at Sher Hao with a face full of admiration. There are no outsiders here. Wang Xiaomi, Magic Cat Yumi, and Zhong Xian, these three beauties all want to become women by Sher Hao's side and have some intimate relationship with him. Sher Hao's tone became much gentler. He said to Zhong Xian, Zhong Xian, I understand your feelings. I have also seen your performance. However, as you can see, the current situation is extremely chaotic and bloody everywhere. The human race is already in a desperate situation for survival. Now the most urgent task is for me to improve my own combat power. I can't waste time on love affairs. Maybe when things calm down a bit, we can have a deeper exchange. For now, let's each work hard in our respective fields. Sure Hao's voice was very gentle. He reasoned with Zhong Xian and moved her with emotion. Do you understand, Zhong Xian? After Sher Hao finished speaking, his deep golden eyes fell on Zhong Xian, very tenderly. Zhong Xian likes outstanding and powerful men. Sher Hao is very outstanding, so Zhong Xian likes him very much. At the same time, Zhong Xian is also a sensible person who knows that she cannot be unreasonable and cannot be a burden. So, Zhong Xian nodded lightly and said, Sher Hao, you know that I have you in my heart, and I am very happy. Don't worry, I know what to do. I'm not a young girl who is ignorant. Everything is for the sake of the human race. You work hard, and I will work hard too. I will help Lord Yi and Director Wei with the matters at the Monster Blood and Flesh Processing Factory. Sure how, you don't have to worry. Leave it to me, you can rest assured. I've got everything under control. Zhong Shan looked very sensible. As she spoke, she straightened her proud chest, tempting others like a ripe peach. Sure how admired her for a moment, then nodded and said, Hmm, Zhong Shan, let's have a good gathering when we have the chance. For now, let's focus on what we have at hand. Zhong Xian nodded lightly and said, Yes, that's right. After a brief exchange, Zhong Xian left without staying too long. 
She was going to the location of the monster blood and flesh processing factory to help with its operation. With the help of the energy of the magic cat Yumi, Zhong Xin's speed was very fast. Sure Hao, on the other hand, stayed where he was and didn't go anywhere. Sure Hao, where are we going now? Are we going to look for the Joker Awakener? Magic Cat Yumi curiously asked. She wanted to know what Sure Hao's next move was. Yumi, Io, we will stay here and not go anywhere for now. It's not easy to find the Joker Awakener. When Teacher Su finds them, they will come and inform us. Sure Hao replied calmly. Sure Hao's figure was truly majestic. He is like a true god descending. And the awakened clown, he is like an ant, like a poisonous rat, fleeing and hiding around. It's like, as a human, if you want to step on an ant, you can easily crush it, but finding a specific ant and stepping on it is very difficult. Sure Hao is having a hard time finding the awakened clown. But Su Muro, her special ability allows her to transform into a gentle breeze, making it easy to find the location of the awakened clown. This awakened clown, after just finishing his explosive art, must be hiding and evading pursuit. Of course, he may also be hiding among the crowd, admiring his perfect art. Regardless, Sumuro will find them. Whom? Sure how? I'll listen to you. The magical cat Yumi, looking obedient. And at this moment, Wang Zheyame seemed determined. She began to ask, Sure how, do you like the awakened little fairy Zhongxin? I feel like you treat her well. As she spoke, Wang Zheyame looked down at Sure how and observed him. Sure how is surrounded by many beautiful women. Honestly, Wang Zheyame felt a little jealous. She is good to me, and I am good to her. That's a fact. Sure Hao replied. Hearing Sure Hao's words, Wang Zheyame pouted and said, Then Sure Hao, do you like me? As she spoke, Wang Zheyame straightened her impressive chest. This Wang Zheyame has an angelic face and a devilish figure. Honestly, any man would like her. I am not a god, I am not exempt from worldly desires. If it's about appearance and voice, whether it's Zhong Xin's voice and figure, or your voice and figure, or Yumi's voice, or even Teacher Su's voice and figure, I would like them all. But that's just superficial liking. Liking someone on a deeper level is hard to say. Because I haven't known all of you for long, so I don't really understand everyone. Liking someone takes time. To be specific, it's really hard to say. Now, the most important thing is to improve my own combat power. So, let's talk less about love and romance. Sure how spoke gently and patiently. Sure how is too outstanding. He is surrounded by too many women. These women will have thoughts about him and feel uncomfortable because of the presence of other women. This is all normal. Sure how feels a little headache about this. But Sure how knows that he just needs to focus on his own matters. Listening to Sure how's words, the magical cat Yumi chuckled. Ha ha. Sure how, the great creator god. I didn't expect you to think Teacher Su's figure and voice are good. So, you covet Teacher Su's beauty. Ha ha ha. The magical cat Yumi teased. She sensed a special joy and found it amusing. Wang Zheyame beside her also laughed. Ha ha. So men are all the same, they all like pretty girls. Wang Zheyame said. Sure how, however, remains serious. I am not a eunuch, nor am I a wooden-headed person. Men like women, they have desires and emotions, isn't that normal? Just like how you also like handsome and outstanding men. It's a very normal thing. Teacher Su is a good person, it's normal to have thoughts about her. But I am not an animal, I won't use my own strength to do something excessive because of it. Sure Hao's values are relatively upright, he speaks straightforwardly. This is a profound truth, a great truth. Ah Yao and the magical cat Yumi both understand and know the meaning behind it. Ah Yao nodded and said, Oh, I see. I understand now, Sure Hao. He he, let's continue hunting monsters. Ah Yao, I'll help you hunt monsters and collect more magic cores. Yes, Sure Hao, can Ah Yao take the extra magic cores? Ah Yao wants to become stronger too, so she can provide a stronger blood shield to protect you. As a Yao spoke, she looked at Sure Hao with anticipation. Taking magic cores can enhance one's online abilities and strengthen their physical body. Although a Yao's online abilities are not strong and she relies on stronger players for support, she also wants to become stronger and take magic cores. Yumi, the awakened magic cat beside her, also chimed in, Yes, Sure Hao. I also want to take magic cores. Hey, when you have extra magic cores in the future, give us some too. Yumi's face was filled with envy. She also wants to take magic cores, but of course, it depends on Sure Hao's permission. After all, Sure Hao is the one who hunts these monsters and the magic cores belong to him. Sure, Sure Hao nodded and replied affirmatively. When I become stronger in the future, I'll have more magic cores. I'll share them with you so you can also take magic cores and become stronger. As they continue to hunt more monsters, they won't have to worry about running out of magic cores. 
Then they can distribute the magic core resources to reliable teammates, which is very reasonable. After all, two heads are better than one. Sure how alone is not strong enough, he needs other online awakened players to become strong as well. Sure how's plan is to become strong himself and then lead others to become strong. This plan resonates deeply with Yi Tian Bei. That's why Lord Yi Tian Bei has always supported Sure Hao without reservation. Hearing Sure Hao's affirmative words, Ayao and Yumi were both very happy. Time passed quickly, like the evaporation of thin mist under the sun, leaving no trace. However, this time did indeed pass. Soon, two and a half hours had passed. A gust of wind blew. Su Muro came back. Her graceful figure appeared in front of Sure Hao. Sure Hao couldn't help but take a few more glances at her. When they were studying in class before, Su Muro's every move was very captivating. It's normal for boys to like beautiful things. Although Ayao, Zhong Xian, and the others are all very beautiful, Su Muro gives Sure Hao a different feeling. Su Muro brought news and she spoke, Sure Hao, I have found the location of the Joker Awakener. Now, this Joker Awakener is disguised as a suffering survivor among the crowd. However, when no one is paying attention, he always secretly reveals an evil smile. Not only that, this Joker Awakener also carries some grenades. Take him down quickly, or else someone else will die. Su Moro quickly explained the situation. She had found the location of the Joker Awakener. Su Moro's ability is special. After transforming into a gust of wind, she can only sense the presence of wind and cannot be seen by others. This means that the Joker Awakener has not noticed Su Muro's presence and is unaware that his location has been exposed. Upon hearing this, Sure Hao immediately nodded and said, Su teacher, lead the way. I'll accompany you to kill this bastard. Previously, Sure Hao had already killed the Crimson Slaughter Venom Awakener. Now, only the Joker Awakener is left. Once he is killed, the North Sea City will temporarily achieve peace. Okay. Sure Hao, let's go, Su Muro nodded lightly. Then, she activated her ability transforming into a gust of wind and disappearing from Sure Hao's sight. However, a gentle breeze still blew around Sure Hao's body. The direction of the breeze indicated the location of the Joker Awakener. The wind would guide Sure Hao's path forward. This superpower is very powerful. Sure Hao immediately had a thought in his heart, secretly thinking, Teacher Su's superpower is very good. Whether it's for self-preservation or reconnaissance, it's very powerful. This time, when we go out to hunt monsters, maybe I can bring Teacher Su along. With the help of Teacher Su's ability, I can quickly perceive the position of the monsters, as well as the location of some awakened individuals. Know yourself, know your enemy, and you will be victorious in every battle. Knowing the positions and strengths of those monsters will make everything much easier. Yes, that's right. After dealing with the clown awakened individual later, I will talk to Teacher Su about this matter and ask her to accompany me in hunting monsters. Teacher Su shouldn't refuse me. Sure how thought to himself, feeling extremely excited. With the guidance of the gentle breeze, Sure Hao quickly moved towards the center of the city. Soon, Sure Hao arrived at the central area of Beihai City. Here, Sure Hao indeed saw a more than 1,000 square meter explosion mark. Although the surrounding flames had been extinguished, the deep pit on the ground and the charred buildings around it were still vivid. Moreover, there were also some mutilated bodies around, looking extremely tragic. It can be seen that a violent explosion had just occurred, causing extensive damage and countless casualties. When the survivors around saw Sure Hao's arrival, they became excited. Wow, that's great. The creator has come. Someone is going to stand up for us. Whoever caused this destruction must be caught and killed. That's right, damn it, it's so vicious, hurting our own people. It's too much, sob, sob, my wife was just killed in the explosion. We must seek justice. Sob, sob. The survivors around became excited. Many people were waiting for Sure Hao to take action, waiting for him to seek justice for everyone. Sure Hao naturally heard everyone's voices and calmly said, everyone, rest assured. With me here, the culprit won't escape. Sure Hao's voice spread out. After hearing this, the survivors became even more excited and happy. In a corner, the clown awakened individual's eyes flashed with a hint of brilliance. At this moment, the clown awakened individual stared at Sure Hao intently, a wicked smile appearing at the corner of his mouth. Damn it. The creator? Killing is boring. I want to slaughter gods. That's right, we must slaughter gods. Ha, huh? slaughtering gods is so much fun. Slaughtering gods and exterminating immortals, ha ha ha, interesting, interesting. In the clown awakened individual's eyes, a burst of killing intent flashed. He wanted to kill Sure How and accomplish the feat of slaughtering gods and exterminating immortals. In the clown awakened individual's view, if he could kill Sure How, he would be very satisfied and feel a great sense of accomplishment. The clown was such a person, very anti-human, finding pleasure in harming humans in this world. 
With a fierce gaze, he stared at Sher Hao intently. If looks could kill, then the clown's gaze would have torn Sher Hao to pieces. Unfortunately, looks cannot kill. Therefore, the clown awakened individual could only stare helplessly. And at this moment, the clown awakened individual suddenly felt a sinking feeling in his heart. His eyelids began to twitch rapidly. This clown awakened individual had a very ominous premonition. It was his sixth sense, able to sense danger approaching and feel that his life was being threatened. Whenever he had this feeling, the clown awakened individual would instantly become low-key and quickly flee, leaving the area. Otherwise, he might die. It was precisely because of this intuition that the clown awakened individual was always able to avoid many dangers. And at this moment, the gentle breeze continued to guide Sher Hao. Moreover, this gentle breeze became a bit urgent, as if urging Sher Hao to hurry. Sher Hao is not a fool, naturally he understands the meaning of the clear wind. Not only that, even the magic cat Yumi and the King Yao sister felt the guidance of this clear wind. Got it. The cat's eyes of the magic cat Yumi lit up. She gently reminded Sher Hao. Then, the magic cat Yumi activated her skill, a magic ball condensed and began to chase in the air. Soon, this magic ball locked onto the body of the clown awakener and landed directly on him. After being hit by the magic ball, the clown awakener immediately felt his movements slow down, as if his body was filled with lead, very uncomfortable. Damn it. We've been discovered. Mad, it's not good. Bomb. I'll blow you all up. The clown awakener's eyes flashed with a fierce look. He didn't expect to be discovered and was about to face death. Since he was going to die, he definitely wanted to take many people with him to accompany him to hell. Kill one, lose. Kill two, profit. This was the crazy idea in the clown awakener's mind. Boom, boom, boom. At this moment, the King Yao sister started to activate her skill. A burst of light flickered, and Yao condensed an energy ball and shot it towards the position of the clown awakener. The clown awakener hadn't thrown the bomb yet and was immediately hit by this energy ball. The restraining ability of this energy ball caused the clown awakener's body to be ejected and controlled. Damn it! You bastard! What kind of skill is this? The clown awakener floated in midair, unable to move his body, but his mind could still think normally. Die! Sure how, at this moment, had already taken the opportunity to kill. After killing, a terrifying pressure was released from Sher Hao's body. The extremely terrifying majesty distorted the entire space, and there was even a faint risk of shattering. The Clown Awakener immediately felt his blood flow slow down and his heart beat slower. The Clown Awakener panicked. Sher Hao's big hand had already reached him and directly grabbed the Clown Awakener. Crack! Crack! The sound of bones breaking came. The limbs of the Clown Awakener were directly disabled by Sher Hao. Then, Sher Hao shook the clothes on the Clown Awakener and took away all the grenades and bombs inside his body. The Clown Awakener, with his limbs disabled, immediately let out a painful cry. It hurts. Ah, my body is breaking. It hurts. My body can't take it anymore. Ah, I'm going to die. The Clown Awakener cried out while laughing, giving people an extremely crazy feeling. Sher Hao glanced at the Clown Awakener and felt that this madman was even scarier than those monsters, and he deserved to die. At this time, Yi Tian Bei flew over. In addition to Yi Tian Bei, Wei Wu Xiang also flew over. Lord Yi, collect these grenades and use them against the monsters in the future. As for this clown, send him to the families of the victims to extinguish their hatred and let them take revenge. Sher Hao quickly gave instructions. Listening to Sher Hao's words, both Yi Tian Bei and Wei Wu Xiang nodded repeatedly. No problem. Sher Hao, leave this matter to us. We will take care of the rest. The reliable voices of Yi Tian Bei and Wei Wu Xiang came, they knew what to do. The clown awakener had already been disabled and posed no threat. Sure how didn't need to personally handle the remaining matters. The survivors around cheered and rejoiced. Wow, that's great. So this is the bastard who dared to bomb us. Everyone, let's spit on him and kill him. Mad, I'm going to use feces to directly drown this bastard. Damn it, this clown must pay with his life. Yes, yes, he must pay with his life. These survivors, one after another, like a boiling oil pot, all boiled up. They all felt that the clown awakened person deserved to die, and they hoped to personally use extremely cruel methods to kill this clown awakened person. This is also the reason why Sher Hao deliberately spared the clown's life. Let him live, and then let everyone torture him. In this way, everyone's anger will be extinguished. As a result, everyone will have a sense of participation, everyone will feel much more relaxed, and there will not be so much pressure and hatred. Originally, it was not easy for everyone to be invaded by monsters. As a result, this damn clown caused such a scene. Everyone's mood was very depressed. Sure how can help everyone relieve some of it through this method. It has to be said that Sure how is a genius. 
Listening to Sher Hao's words, Yi Tianbei nodded repeatedly, indicating that his idea was good. No problem, Sher Hao. I will arrange it so that everyone can vent their anger. Yi Tianbei nodded respectfully and agreed with Sher Hao's idea of letting everyone vent their anger. Okay, it's up to you. I also need to go busy with my own affairs. Sher Hao greeted and left. His words were clear, indicating that he was about to leave Beihai City and go hunting monsters. Okay, Sher Hao. Go, everything goes smoothly. Yi Tianbei said with a friendly face. Okay, everything goes smoothly for everyone. Sher Hao nodded. Then, his gaze turned and fell on Su Miro not far away. Su Miro was looking at Sher Hao, and their eyes met. Neither of them avoided eye contact. Of course, both of them were open-minded and knew that the other had something to say. Sher Hao said, Teacher Su, please come with me. I have something to tell you. Okay. Su Muru nodded lightly, understanding Sher Hao's meaning. Then, Sher Hao left towards a distance, and Su Muru turned into a breeze and followed Sher Hao. In the original place, Yi Tianbei and the others began to deal with the clown awakened person. The clown awakened person had already lost his limbs and could no longer cause any waves. He seemed to be alive, but in fact, he was already dead. Moreover, this clown would die in pain later. Yi Tianbei looked in the direction Sher Hao left, and silently said in his heart, Sher Hao, I hope everything goes smoothly for you. Return as soon as possible after hunting the monsters. Beihai City cannot be without you. In his heart, Yi Tianbei silently blessed Sher Hao for a smooth return. Whether Beihai City can resist the second wave of monster invasion depends on Sher Hao. The hope of everyone's survival is all placed on Sher Hao, the god of creation. Not only Yi Tianbei, but also Wei Wuxiang, Di Jia, Sero, and others nearby all hope that Sher Hao will return safely and kill the monsters of the second wave of invasion with an invincible posture. On the other side, Sher Hao and Su Miro went to a place without people. Sher Hao, why did you call me? What's the matter? Su Muro asked. She knew that Sher Hao must have something important to ask for her help. Sher Hao is the god of creation, and under normal circumstances, he would not ask for help. But once he asks for help, it must be a big deal. Su Muro has already prepared herself mentally and is ready to help Sher Hao solve the problem. After all, Su Muro is Sher Hao's teacher. Teacher Su, I'm going to hunt monsters and collect magic cores outside Beihai City. This time, besides bringing a Yao and the magic cat Yumi, I also want to bring you. Teacher Su, your online pseudonym has a special ability to transform into a breeze and be immune to all damage. You follow me, I don't have to expend too much mental energy on you. And, you can scout the positions of the monsters and know how many there are. I need your help this time we go out. Sure how said earnestly to Su Muru. Sure how really needed Su Muru's help. And Su Muro could hear the sincerity in Shur Hao's words. She nodded lightly and said, Okay, it's a small matter. In that case, Shur Hao, I'll accompany you to hunt down these monsters. Su Muro naturally wouldn't refuse Shur Hao. After all, Shur Hao had become strong in order to protect everyone's lives. Otherwise, if the second wave of monsters invaded, everyone would be finished, dead. Okay, that's great. Shur Hao smiled with satisfaction. As for Su Muro, she looked at Sher Hao seriously and continued, By the way, Sher Hao, you don't have to call me teacher anymore. Now no one needs to go to school. And your online nickname ability is the incarnation of the creator. Between us, it's not the same teacher-student relationship as before, we're more like friends. Listening to Su Muro's words, Sher Hao was stunned for a moment. But at the same time, he understood the meaning behind her words. Okay, then what should I call you? Sher Hao looked at Su Muro and asked. You can call me by my name, my full name, or just Muru. Su Muru replied. In the past, she was Sher Hao's teacher. But now, with the global apocalypse and invading monsters everywhere, it was extremely dangerous. And Sher Hao's awakened online nickname ability was very powerful, he could become the creator. At this time, if this creator continued to call her teacher, it would be a bit inappropriate. And Su Muru felt that she didn't deserve it either. And besides, they definitely wouldn't need classes in the future. Sure how wasn't her student anymore. It's good to be friends. Okay. Good. Muru. Sure how nodded and agreed. After all, Sure how had lived two lives. In terms of maturity, Sure how was even more mature than Su Muru. At this time, calling Su Muru teacher was indeed not quite appropriate. It's good to be friends with each other. Muru, let's go now. We need to hunt down the monsters as soon as possible. You turn into a gentle breeze and lead the way in front of me. If there are monsters, let me know and I'll take action. Sure how quickly explained, eager to set off. Okay, I understand. Su Muro nodded, indicating that she understood. 
Immediately, Su Muro activated her online nickname ability and transformed into a gentle breeze, leading the way ahead. Sure how could feel the presence of the breeze. As long as he followed this breeze, everything would be fine. In this way, Sure how left Beihai City. Now, Sure how didn't know where he was, he had arrived in the neighboring city. Looking around, he could see the entire city reduced to ruins, countless high-rise buildings collapsed on the ground, a scene of devastation. There were many signs of intense battles around, it looked extremely tragic. At the same time, there were also some monster and human corpses on the ground. If it weren't for Sure how's help in Beihai City, it would probably be the same scene of destruction. In front of Sher Hao, he saw five huge demon leopards rushing towards him. These five demon leopards were very large, like trucks, with fierce and sharp gazes. Su Muru, having transformed into a gentle breeze, returned to Sher Hao's side. After returning to Sher Hao's side, Su Muru said, Sher Hao, there are five demon leopards rushing towards our position. And, while these five demon leopards are attacking, they are also transmitting messages to their companions. I saw in the distance, there are more than 10 demon leopards coming to attack together. You need to be prepared for battle. Su Muro quickly reminded. In her expression, there was a hint of worry. To be honest, Su Muro was quite worried about Sher Hao getting hurt. After all, here, Sher Hao was all alone, fighting alone. Su Muro couldn't help Sher Hao with anything other than gathering intelligence. Even the magic cat Yumi and the king Yame, although they could assist Sher Hao to some extent, they couldn't help much. But if Sher Hao were to fall, both King Yao Mei and Magic Cat Yumi would die. After hearing this, Sher Hao remained calm and composed, and said, Nuru, it's alright, it's a small matter. You turn into a breeze and hide for now. I will fight, I can take care of them. Trust me. Also, keep an eye out and see if there are any more powerful monsters coming. If there are, you need to inform me immediately. Sher Hao quickly replied, soothing Su Nuru's emotions and letting her feel at ease. At the same time, Sher Hao also gave some instructions for Su Nuru to follow. Sher Hao's words gave Su Muru a very reliable feeling. Su Muru indeed felt relieved. Hmm. Sher Hao, I understand. You go ahead and hunt the monsters without worry. Leave the rest to me. Su Muru nodded gently, giving a gentle reply. Good. Sher Hao nodded. Afterwards, Sher Hao and Su Muru ended their conversation. As for Su Muru, she turned into a breeze and hid to the side. As for Sher Hao himself, a burst of golden light flashed on his body and a sharp heavenly axe formed in his hand. The aura of the axe vibrated, as if cutting through the entire space. The space twisted crazily, with a faint risk of shattering. Sure how, don't worry. Yao will lend a hand to help you. Hee <laughs> hee, I will release my bullets later to help you control these magic leopards. King Yao Mei's face was fearless, even showing a smile. She was already prepared for battle, intending to help Sure how deal with these monsters. Seeing King Yao Mei's determined appearance, Sure how was very satisfied. Sure how, don't be afraid. My shockwave is also ready. If there are too many of these monsters, I will activate my ultimate move and control all of them. With me here, nothing unexpected will happen. The sweet voice of the magic cat Yumi came, giving a very reliable feeling. Listening to the words of the magic cat Yumi and King Yao Mei, Sure how felt a sense of security. Hmm. Don't worry. These are just some small trash that I can handle. Sure how said calmly, not even considering these magic leopards. In the midst of their conversation, the five magic leopards launched an attack from five different directions. Their coordination was seamless, forming a flanking position that trapped Sher Hao. However, Sher Hao's strength was formidable. When he was in Beihai City, he had already consumed many magic cores. His cultivation level had already reached the astonishing ninth stage of the Law Phase Realm. This cultivation level of Sher Hao's was even stronger than the early stages of the invasion of monsters on Earth. With his strength, Sher Hao feared nothing. I'll shoot, shoot, shoot. King Yame immediately activated her skill, condensing an energy ball the size of a basketball. This energy ball flew towards the position of one of the magic leopards, restraining its movements. On the other side, the magic cat Yumi released a decelerating magic ball, landing on one of the magic leopards, reducing its movement speed. Additionally, the magic cat Yumi activated a healing and acceleration skill, causing Shurhao's movement speed to skyrocket. Due to the long cooldown time of the magic cat Yumi's ultimate move, she did not release it, but instead saved it for the right moment. Sure how tightly gripped the extremely sharp heavenly axe and swung it fiercely towards a magic wolf behind him. Buzz! The axe's aura shook and cut through the entire space, emitting a buzzing and intense sound. The space twisted madly, with a faint risk of shattering. Splurt! A spray of blood shot out. A demon leopard was immediately cut in half. Its body swayed, and Sherhao's speed reached its limit, leaving behind golden afterimages. 
These demon leopards lost their target and attacked nothing. Splurt. Splurt. Shurhao seemed to teleport, wielding the terrifying heavenly axe, flashing back and forth, slashing repeatedly. Immediately, all five demon leopards died a gruesome death, their bodies cut in half, blood flowing everywhere. King A Yao and the magical cat Yumi were both greatly shaken and happy. For them, successfully killing these monsters in their first battle was a morale boost. Without delay, Shurhao activated his spatial storage. A strong suction force immediately absorbed all the demon leopard corpses into his spatial storage. Sure how, they're coming. There are a total of 23 demon leopards. This group of monsters is here as reinforcements. A breeze passed by, and Sumuru's voice came through. She transmitted information to Sure how, preparing him. Upon hearing this, a gleam flashed in Sure how's eyes. I understand. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sure how said calmly, reassuring Sumuru. On Sumuru's side, she knew what she had to do and immediately turned into the wind, disappearing into the sky and earth. As a wind incarnation, no monster could harm her. Sure how didn't need to worry about her. At the same time, Sumuru's special ability was incredibly powerful and perfect for reconnaissance. She could even detect the number of demon leopards clearly. This made sure how very satisfied. Roar! Roar! Angry roars came from all directions. Immediately, sure how saw more than 20 demon leopards locking onto him, their faces filled with ferocity as they approached him. Ayao's bullets are ready. King Ayao spoke up, informing Sure Hao of her skill information. My shockwave is also ready to be unleashed at any time. Sure Hao, go ahead. I will find the right opportunity to release the shockwave and help you kill the enemies. The magical cat Yumi said gently. The two beautiful women who possessed auxiliary abilities and were attached to Sure Hao were already prepared for battle. They were now full of fighting spirit, believing they could kill all these demon leopards. As for Sure Hao himself, he had already reached the ninth stage of the law phase, making him extremely powerful. These monsters were just the first wave of invaders and not very strong. Shurhao's current strength was more than enough to crush these demon leopards. Therefore, Shurhao's face was fearless, and a trace of disdain flashed in his deep golden eyes. He didn't care about these monsters at all. Follow me, kill. Shurhao shouted, wielding the sharp heavenly axe and taking the initiative to attack. As Shurhao stepped forward, a deep thud sound echoed through the earth, as if a giant was beating a drum. Shurhao's speed was extremely fast, and the bang 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 sounds he produced were not only deep but also had a high frequency, as if a giant was rapidly beating a drum. This scene was extremely shocking. Hearing the sound of the drum, King Yame, the magical cat Yumi, and Sumuru all felt their emotions rise, instantly entering a state of battle. Ayao is here. Shoot. 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 Ayao shouted lowly, waving her delicate wooden staff. Immediately, a blue-green energy ball condensed, about the size of a basketball. This energy ball headed towards the location of the demon leopard group. Due to the large number of demon leopards, Ayao's control skill immediately restricted the movements of three demon leopards. Afterwards, Yao released her second skill, condensing small energy balls on her body, resembling a celestial maiden, actively attacking these magic leopards and causing minimal damage to them. Although the damage was small, it still accumulated and became significant over time. On the other hand, Magic Cat Yumi was always ready to use her ultimate skill. Seeing Sure how rushing into the group of Magic Leopards and swinging his heavenly axe, Magic Cat Yumi immediately found a great opportunity. Good chance. Kill. Shockwave. Magic Cat Yumi activated her ultimate skill. This was her first time using it. The ultimate skill was a group attack, suitable for situations with many monsters, otherwise it would be a waste. Magic Cat Yumi stood up, opened her magic book, and waves of magical shockwaves gathered, resembling golden waves, rushing forward. Bang! 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 The sound of collisions between magical energies rang out. Waves of golden shockwaves shook and a total of seven shockwaves were released. The magic leopards that were continuously hit by these golden shockwaves immediately entered a dazed state. Sure how swung his exaggerated heavenly axe directly. Buzz! The aura of the heavenly axe resonated, shimmering with golden light. The terrifying pressure poured out like seawater, causing the entire space to distort madly. This power was truly terrifying. After feeling it, those magic leopards became extremely vigilant. However, sure how had already launched a full force attack instead of testing or pulling with these magic leopards. Splat! Splat! Blood splattered. Immediately, the bodies of nine magic leopards were split in half. It should be noted that the heavenly axe could split heaven and earth into two halves. These magic leopards were nothing more than flesh and blood, unable to withstand the terrifying momentum of the heavenly axe. They were split open, lost their ability to move, and left this chaotic world. Trash. Two trash. 
To me, you are like ants at my level. The hunting moment has come. Let me hunt you beasts. Shurhao's spirit shook greatly as he muttered. Since reaching the ninth stage of the Dharma realm, Shurhao had not fought properly or adapted to his own strength. Now, through this preliminary battle, Shurhao discovered that he was very powerful and his strength was extremely strong. Slowly, Shurhao had let loose and started launching a frenzied attack, killing these magic leopards. These monsters also sensed the terror of Shurhao and did not dare to confront him head on. They started pulling and changing positions. They even seemed to want to escape. Seeing Shurhao fighting multiple enemies and having the advantage, Sumuro, who had transformed into a gentle breeze not far away, was greatly shaken. Good. This is really great. Shurhao is truly amazing. So strong. Yes, that's it. Kill these monsters. Sumuro watched this battle and felt it was extremely exciting. At the same time, she was very excited. All along, it was the monsters invading the human homeland, destroying all the various buildings that the human race had worked hard to build. And now, Shurhao, representing the demon race, was gradually reclaiming their territory, using that exaggerated heavenly axe to make these damn monsters pay a bloody price. This made Sumuru's blood boil. Splat. Splat. Another burst of blood splattered. Shurhao's position kept changing as he continued to launch attacks. Soon, all these magic leopards died, lying dead on the ground, not a single one intact. Shurhao, you're amazing. You've taken care of all these magic leopards. I checked, and this generation only had this group of magic leopards nearby. More powerful monsters are further ahead. You can take a break for now. A gust of wind blew, and Su Muro came forward to explain the situation to Shur Hao. Listening to Su Muro's transformation, Shur Hao probably understood what was going on. Obviously, these demons have clear divisions of labor. This generation is mainly invaded by a group of demon leopards, causing massive destruction and killing. Other demons have gone to different locations. Hmm, I know. Muro, you go continue to scout the demons' positions. I'll be right there. I'll collect all the bodies of these demons. It's better to find more powerful and numerous demons. Our time is limited, we must hunt the demons with a targeted approach. Shurhao said gently and explained the plan for the next steps. Shurhao's time is very precious. He now needs to hunt more powerful and high-quality demons, and does not want to waste time on ordinary ones. Are there demons more powerful than these demon leopards? Sumuro asked. Yes, that's right. Stronger and more fierce demons. In this way, the demon cores they produce will have higher quality. Shurhao nodded and replied. Sumuro immediately understood the meaning in Shurhao's words. Sumuro looked serious and said, No problem, I understand. I will go find powerful demons, and if I find any, I will come back and tell you. Shurhao, will you wait here for a while? Sumuro planned to scout on her own first. If she finds suitable demons, she will come back and inform Shurhao. This way, it can effectively prevent Shurhao from wasting time and energy. Sure. I happen to be able to dissect the body of this demon leopard here and search for its demon core. Then Nuru, you go. I'll be waiting here. Shurhao nodded and replied. He agreed with Su Nuru's idea. Coincidentally, Shurhao needs to extract some demon cores. Originally, Shurhao planned to transport all the bodies of these demons back to Beihai City and let his subordinates extract the demon cores. However, this would take too much time. Shurhao now has time to extract the demon cores himself. Moreover, Shurhao's speed in extracting demon cores is very fast and will not damage the delicious flesh and blood. Okay. That's settled. Sumuro said with a certain tone. Good. Shurhao nodded solemnly. The topic between the two ended. Afterwards, Sumuro turned into a breeze and left the spot, floating towards the distance to search for demons. Shurhao stayed in place and began to take out the bodies of the demon leopards from the spatial storage space. Shurhao, do you need our help? If you need, you can assign us some tasks to do. We are willing to help you. King Ayao and Magic Cat Yumi, the two beautiful women, said at the right time. They are both very obedient and willing to help Sher Hao. After hearing their words, Sher Hao shook his head. No need. I can handle it myself. Just watch. But while watching, you can learn something. If there is a chance in the future, I will let you help me. Sher Hao shook his head and refused. The bodies of these two beautiful women, King Ayao and Magic Cat Yumi, are quite weak. They are more suitable for playing a supporting role in battle. They can't handle dirty work like extracting demon cores. Hearing Shurhao's words, the two beautiful women nodded, indicating that they understood. Afterwards, Shurhao didn't waste any more time and started using the Pango Divine Axe to dissect the bodies of the demon leopards, searching for demon cores. Shurhao's movements were very skilled, and he quickly dug out a demon core. This demon core was two sizes smaller than a fist and was completely black. 
It emitted a black gas, which looked somewhat terrifying. However, after looking at it for a while, this demon core became extremely attractive, as if it naturally possessed a seductive power, tempting anyone who saw it to consume it. Sure how did not eat it, but stored it in the cosmic storage space, and then continued to take out the corpse of the magic leopard and dig out the magic core. This was a repetitive and mechanical process, somewhat boring. However, in order to become stronger, Sure how persevered and dug out the magic core with determination. Time passed quickly. Half an hour had passed, and Sure how had already dissected the bodies of seven magic leopards and extracted seven magic cores. At this moment, a breeze blew by, accompanied by a refreshing scent. Immediately after, Sumura's beautiful figure appeared in front of Sure how. There was no joy on Sumura's sexy face, only a solemn expression. Nuru, what's wrong? Is there any bad news? Sure how couldn't help but ask. Just by looking at Su Nuru's expression, Sure how knew it was bad news. I saw an extremely huge spider in the area closer to the center. It is a spider king, leading a group of small spiders, causing massive destruction to the entire city. I saw many people dead. Su Muro spoke up and explained the situation. Seeing many of their fellow human beings dead, Su Muro naturally couldn't be happy. She had a furrowed brow and a worried look. After hearing this, Sure How immediately understood what was going on. Xiao Hong, don't worry. With me here, I can deal with this spider king and its small spiders. Lead the way, we will go and kill it. Sure How's expression was firm as he spoke. As he spoke, a strong killing intent flashed in his deep golden eyes. These demons invaded the earth and killed many of their fellow human beings. Sure How couldn't tolerate this. He wanted to kill all these demons and avenge the human race. All right. Su Muro didn't say much but directly led the way. A gust of wind blew, and Su Muru's body disappeared, turning into a breeze. This breeze surrounded Sure How and guided his steps towards the front. Although Muru's ability is not strong in combat, but as an auxiliary, it is very powerful. Wind seems invisible, only able to be sensed through the body's senses. It's really unique. Sure How thought to himself, feeling quite amazed. At the same time, Sure How secretly thought, if the number of magic cores increases in the future, I can give a batch of them to Chiu Hong to consume. Then Chiu Hong's ability to control wind might be enhanced. In that case, after transforming into a gust of wind, Chiu Hong might have a stronger combat power. Fighting as a hurricane? That's pretty strong, not bad. Sure How thought to himself. He had silently made up his mind to give some magic cores to Su Muru in the future. Under Su Muru's leadership, Sure How continued to chase forward. Soon, Sure How indeed saw an extremely huge spider king. This spider king was simply a giant. Its body was extremely large, resembling a massive fortress. The spider king's eight legs looked like sharp spears, very sharp and terrifying. And beside the spider king, although the other spiders were smaller, each one was the size of a van, like small fortresses. These spiders had astonishing defensive capabilities, and their legs were extremely sharp, capable of cutting through anything. There were a lot of these spiders, densely packed. Sure how estimated that apart from the large spider king, there were at least 40 small spiders in the surrounding area. This number was extremely shocking. If there were ordinary ability users or human survivors here, they would definitely be frightened. But when Sure how looked at them, his eyes were filled with excitement. You know, Sure how's current strength is at the ninth level of the law phase realm. And these monsters are the first wave of invading monsters, their strength is still at the same stage as before. It's extremely simple for Sure how to kill them. Muro, go to the side and activate your special ability. Leave the rest of these monsters to me. Sure how said calmly. Then, he took a step forward and headed directly towards the direction where these monsters were. Sure how, be safe. Sumu Ro reminded with concern. Then, Sumu Ro activated her own online nickname special ability and turned into a gust of wind. Sumu Ro stood by quietly, observing the battle. The only way she could help Sure how was by helping him scout the positions of these monsters. Now, Sumu Ro's task was already completed. As for Sure How, he had already started attacking with the King A Yao and the Magic Cat Yumi. Capture the leader first. A Yao, Yumi. Are you ready to control this Spider King? Take it down first. Sure How quickly gave instructions and spoke. Sure How's primary target for attack was this Spider King. As long as the Spider King died, these little spiders would be easy to deal with. Okay. No problem, Sure How. You go ahead, we'll help you. Yes, we're ready to release our skills. As long as there's a suitable opportunity, we'll release our skills immediately. Ayao and the magic cat Yumi both spoke up. Their words made Sure How feel relieved. As for Sure How, he held the extremely exaggerated open heaven divine axe in his hand, took a step forward, and rushed out to kill.
The open heaven divine axe in his hand emitted a terrifying axe aura, starting to cut through the entire space. Buzz! The divine axe vibrated, and the overwhelming pressure poured out like seawater. The spider king and the surrounding little spiders all sensed Chur Hao's arrival. These monsters immediately became restless. The power of the divine axe was indeed too powerful. This caused the divine axe to have a suppressing effect, severely slowing down the movements of these monsters. Puff! Puff! When the spider king saw Shur Hao approaching, it immediately opened its big mouth and actually spat out two spider webs. These spider webs looked very tough and powerful. If they were covered by them, their movements would be bound, losing their ability to fight, and then they would be taken down directly. However, Shur Hao looked disdainful. He swung the open heaven divine axe in his hand straight down, not only to break through these spider webs but also to kill this spider king. First skill. Second skill. The magic cat Yumi immediately activated her two skills. The first skill allowed the magic cat Yumi to condense a magic ball. This magic ball was the size of an egg and, under Yumi's control, shuttled through the battlefield and landed on the spider king, causing a small amount of damage and slowing down its movement and attack speed. Restricting the enemy was equivalent to amplifying oneself. Then, the magic cat Yumi's second skill gave Sure how faster recovery speed and faster movement speed. Sure how felt that his steps became lighter. While killing, Sure how's power quickly burst out. Ultimate move. Shockwave. Because there were still many spiderlings around the spider king, the magic cat Yumi directly activated her ultimate move. This ultimate move shockwave was extremely powerful. The magic cat Yumi opened the magic book. At the same time, waves of golden shockwaves emanated from the magic book. There were a total of seven shockwaves. The monsters hit by these shockwaves were immediately restricted in their movements and suffered a small amount of damage. Including the spider king, all the surrounding little spiders were stunned. At this moment, a Yao took the opportunity to launch an attack. Fire. I play. A Yao, bounce you up. A Yao's pleasant voice came out. Immediately, a Yao waved her delicate wooden staff. A blue energy ball condensed, appearing to be the size of a basketball. This energy ball shot out directly, hitting the Spider King's body head-on. Immediately, the Spider King's body flew up, in a restricted state. The cooperation between King Yao Mei and the Magic Cat Yumi was perfect. This Spider King was directly controlled and unable to move. Su Muru, who was watching on the side, was excited. Good. Very good. Just like this. Su Muru's spirit was greatly shaken, watching with blood boiling. She felt that the cooperation between King Yao Mei and the Magic Cat Yumi was perfect. With the assistance of these two beauties, it would be much easier for Sure How to kill this Spider King. As expected, Sure How immediately launched a fierce attack. The terrifying Divine Axe occupied the entire space and chopped down fiercely. Whoosh! A burst of golden light flashed by. Then, a burst of purple venom sprayed out. The body of the Spider King was actually split in half. This scene was like a big mountain being split open. It looked very shocking. Hiss! So strong! So fierce! Sure how's attack power is terrifying. I was originally worried, but now it seems that I was worrying too much. Su Muro thought to herself. She realized that she had seriously underestimated Sure how's combat power. Sure how was even stronger than Su Muro had imagined. After killing the Spider King, the surrounding small spiders became restless and began to attack Sure how. These small spiders were the size of a van and had extremely large bodies. If it were an ordinary survivor here, they would have been crushed into pulp. However, Sher Hao was not afraid at all. He swung the sharp heavenly axe in his hand, as if spinning in circles. A hurricane directly swept up, reaching an extremely powerful momentum. A Yao and Yumi, seeing the Spider King die, became excited. This was a good start. Great. This Spider King is dead. This is really good news. The remaining small spiders don't stand a chance. King A Yao thought to herself, feeling excited. Capture the leader first. And now that the leader has been captured successfully, the remaining small spiders are like shrimp soldiers and crab generals, very easy to deal with. Yumi, the magic cat on Sure How's shoulder, was also very excited and happy. Great! The Spider King has been dealt with. Next, as long as we deal with these small spiders, then, this battle will be over. Yumi thought to herself, feeling excited as she looked at the battlefield. At the same time, Yumi had already prepared her skills and was ready to assist Sure How in battle. As for Sure How, he did not rush to take action. Instead, he directly activated his cosmic storage space ability and stored the two halves of the Spider King's body inside. The venom inside the Spider King's body was highly toxic and looked terrifying. When it fell to the ground, it made a strong corrosive chemical sound, sizzling. However, there was a lot of flesh and blood inside the Spider King's eight legs, just like crab legs, which could be eaten. 
The key was that the Spider King's body also contained precious magic cores. These were good things that couldn't be missed. They had to be collected before the battle started. Otherwise, if they were wasted during the battle, it would be a shame. After collecting the Spider King's body, Sure How saw many spiders rushing towards him. Sure How swung his sharp heavenly axe horizontally. Then, Sure How Mai moved his body and began to spin, forming a powerful hurricane. Within the hurricane, the axe energy of the divine axe resonated, cutting through the entire space, giving off an incredibly terrifying feeling. Puff, puff, puff. Bursts of purple venom splattered out. Beside Sure How, many spider bodies were directly split in half and died on the spot. Sure How did not stop, relying on his terrifying combat power, he continued to wield the divine axe in his hand, continuously killing these spider monsters. Time passed quickly, like the evaporation of thin mist by the sun, leaving no trace. Half an hour had passed. Sure How finally killed all the spider monsters on the field. There were a total of 47 spider monsters, all dead. Sumuru's previous intelligence was slightly incorrect, but the problem was not significant, just a deviation in the number of spider monsters. The entire land was now dyed purple, looking extremely eerie. Sure How didn't have time to appreciate this battlefield filled with purple. Immediately, Sure How activated the cosmic storage space and stored all the spider corpses inside. This cosmic storage space was very large, there was no need to worry about it being filled or overflowing. Soon, Sure How finished storing them all. The harvest is pretty good. However, the quality of these spider cores is probably not very good. It will still take some time to break through to the golden body realm. Sure How thought to himself. He knew that today was just the beginning. Breaking through to the golden body realm was not so easy. After dealing with these spiders, King Aoyo began to praise Sure How. Great creator god. You're really amazing. You killed all these spider monsters. So powerful. He he, fantastic. King Aoyo raised her thumb and continued to praise Sure How. Her voice was pleasant and sweet, making people feel extremely comfortable. At the same time, when King Aoyo spoke, her proud chest slightly heaved, exuding charm. It was like playing a game. You win, and then your support girl at home keeps praising you. This feeling was quite comfortable. Magic Cat Yumi also joined in the praise. Sure how, you're so amazing. Truly worthy of being the awakened creator god, so strong. So impressive, you're my idol. Fantastic. Magic Cat Yumi praised Sure how fiercely. Her voice had a mature style. With two beauties praising him, Sure how's mood became joyful. Once a person has something, they can't help but want to show off. While hunting monsters, Sure how revealed his powerful strength, which could be considered showing off. Not far away, Sumura heard the two beauties praising Sure how like crazy. So, Sumuru followed suit. She came to Sure how's side and also gave him affirming praise. Sure how, your current strength is indeed very powerful. These monsters can't even harm you. So amazing. After collecting these monster cores, the next wave of monsters won't be able to withstand your divine axe. Sumuro spoke, her expression extremely excited. Before this, Sumuro was worried that the human race in Beihai City would not be able to withstand the second wave of monster invasion, but now it seemed that she was worrying for nothing. With Shurhao's terrifying strength, these monster invasions were simply coming to their deaths. Listening to the praise of the beauties, Shurhao smiled slightly, showing a satisfied expression. Thanks to everyone's support. That's why I was able to kill these monsters so quickly. Otherwise, with just my personal strength, it would probably take more time and energy. The result is good, and this is thanks to everyone's joint efforts. Afterwards, we still need to continue working hard. Sure how said kindly. He didn't take credit for himself, but distributed the credit to everyone, giving them a sense of participation. As a result, the relationship between each other became very gentle and friendly. Everyone was more motivated and wanted to kill those monsters even more. At this moment, suddenly, a tank the size of a van drove over, making a creaking sound. And from the tank, a person emerged, holding his body and running over. It was a middle-aged man who looked disheveled. This person ran over, with a surprised look on his face. You, you awakened the power of the creator, Pango and Thanos? Your online nickname's awakened power is really amazing. Thanks to you, we were able to get rid of these beasts. Woo woo, these beasts ate all the residents of half the city. They are really bastards, luckily you were here. This middle-aged man collapsed and cried in front of Sure How. Listening to his words and seeing his helpless and sad expression, Sure How immediately understood what was going on. Obviously, this place had been invaded by monsters, and over 95% of the residents had died. And this middle-aged man in front of him was a survivor. He witnessed everything that happened and was now very sad. Don't worry, I'm here. I will get rid of these monsters. 
Find a safe place and protect yourself, Sher Hao said kindly, comforting him. After hearing these words, the middle-aged man was already sure that the awakened creator in front of him was a good person, someone who came to kill these monsters and save the world. This made the middle-aged man slightly encouraged. Thank you so much. If it weren't for you, these damn monsters would have continued to cause destruction. Luckily you were here. By the way, besides the spider monster, there is also a terrifying ant monster. These monsters are all very big, the size of a car. The scariest one is the ant king, it looks like a moving castle, so frightening. Look at all the ruins in front, they were all caused by those ant monsters. These monsters thought there were no more survivors here, so they all left to cause destruction and kill elsewhere. The middle-aged man quickly spoke. As he spoke, a fierce killing intent flashed in his eyes. If Lux could kill, he would have killed all those ant monsters. But unfortunately, Lux couldn't kill. He could only stare helplessly. Don't worry, ant monsters. In my eyes, they are like ants. I came here to kill them. All right, go hide. Sure how nodded and said. He also advised the middle-aged man to hide and protect himself to avoid getting hurt. Okay, I understand. Great awakened creator. May I ask, which city are you from? My name is Zhao Hanwang, you can call me Xiao Zhao. And my online nickname is Tank, so my online ability is to transform into a tank. Zhao Hanwang asked. As he spoke, he also introduced his own abilities and his life. In Zhao Hanwang's view, this was a show of respect for the strong. After all, no one would voluntarily reveal their online abilities, it was a secret. Being able to speak out the secret was enough to prove that Zhao Hanwang trusted Xiao Hao. However, Xiao Hao was not interested in his abilities at all. I am from Beihai City. If you want to take refuge, you can go to Beihai City. You can take this road. If you go back from here, you won't encounter any danger, because this road is the one I took. Sure how spoke gently. At the same time, he pointed out a clear path for Zhao Hanwang. The name Zhao Hanwang sounded good, as if it illuminated the brilliance of the Han people. Sure how had a good impression of his name and attitude, so he kindly reminded him with a few words. Beihai City. Good. No problem. Great creator god, I will go to Beihai City right away. Zhao Hanwang replied excitedly. In his eyes, he seemed to have found a home and was no longer like a lonely lonely leaf drifting around. Hmm, go ahead. Sure how nodded. However, Zhao Hanwang did not leave immediately, as if he still had a question. By the way, great creator god, the awakened one, I want to ask. After you finish hunting the monsters, will you come back to Beihai City? Zhao Hanwang asked. In his opinion, if Sher Hao were to return to Beihai City, then Beihai City would be safe. If Sher Hao didn't go back, Beihai City would still be in danger in the future. After all, the second wave of monsters was not a joke. Perhaps only this creator god could deal with the second wave of monsters. If the awakened one of the creator god didn't return to Beihai City, Zhao Hanwan didn't want to go there either. He didn't want to witness the destruction of a city with his own eyes. I will go back. After I finish hunting the monsters, I will come back. Don't worry, when the second wave of monsters invades, I will come back and fight alongside everyone. Sure Hao replied with a confident tone. He was only out hunting monsters and collecting magic cores. When he had collected enough magic cores, Sure Hao would naturally return to Beihai City. Even if he hadn't collected enough magic cores, he would still return to Beihai City before the second wave of monsters invaded. Hearing Sure Hao's affirmative answer, Zhao Hanwang immediately felt relieved. Good. In that case, that's great. I will set off for Beihai City now. I will be waiting for you in Beihai City. Zhao Hanwang said excitedly. Sure Hao was really powerful. Zhao Hanwang really wanted to follow him. If Sure Hao returned to Beihai City, Zhao Hanwang would have a chance to meet him. Even when the second wave of monsters invaded, Zhao Hanwang could take this opportunity to fight alongside the creator god. Just thinking about it made Zhao Hanwang very excited. Hmm, go ahead. Sure Hao's expression was calm as he nodded. Okay. Then, Zhao Hanwan left and started heading towards Beihai City. As for Sher Hao, he walked a distance with Su Muro and then stopped. Seeing that there was no one around, Sher Hao said to Su Muro, Muro, go and investigate if there are any monsters nearby. Especially look for the location of those ant monsters. If you find them, come back and let me know. I will help Zhao Hanwan avenge him and wipe out all those monsters. Sher Hao now had the intention to kill those ant monsters. Moreover, those ant monsters were in groups, following an ant king. If he could deal with that ant king, he would definitely obtain powerful magic cores. Just thinking about it, Sher Hao was excited. Monsters like the Spider King and Ant King would drop magic cores of better quality, containing more energy, which would bring greater benefits to the body. 
As for the magic cores of those small ant monsters and small spider monsters, having them was better than not having them. After all, even mosquitoes are meat. Although the energy contained in those ant magic cores and spider magic cores was not much, when accumulated, the energy they contained was immense. Hearing Shurhao's words, Sumuru immediately nodded with a serious expression. No problem, I will leave immediately to search for the whereabouts of those ant monsters. Sure how, you guys wait here for me, I'll be back soon, Sumuru replied seriously. Okay. Muru, stay safe. Sure how nodded. Then, Sure how and Sumuru bid each other farewell and went their separate ways. Sumuru was proactive, she set off immediately, activated her special ability, transformed into a gentle breeze, and began searching for the location of the ant monsters. Sure how stayed behind, patiently waiting for Sumuru to return. But that didn't mean Sure how had nothing to do. Sure how took out the corpses of the magic leopards from the cosmic storage space and started extracting their magic cores. These magic leopard monsters were previously hunted by Sure how, and their magic cores had not been fully extracted. Now, he could continue extracting them. Time passed slowly, as if a white horse had passed by, very quickly. Soon, two hours had passed. A gust of wind blew by. Sumuro had returned. She had already found the location of the ant monsters. Sure how, I already know where those ants are. Sumura's beautiful figure appeared as the wind blew. Sumoro quickly explained the situation to Sure How. Are those ant monsters powerful? Sure How asked for more details. These ant monsters are probably located to the east. The size of these ant monsters is huge, about the size of a small car. Each ant monster is silver in color, as if cast from silver, with extremely strong defense and attack power. They have a pair of huge pincers on their bodies, which look very formidable. There is also a giant ant king. Its size is like a castle. If it were an ordinary awakened person, it would probably take some time to kill these monsters. But if you take action, sure how, you should be able to quickly defeat them. I feel that these monsters are similar in strength to the spider monsters we encountered earlier, just with a larger number. There is one ant king and one ant queen, which looks like a big bug, constantly producing small ants, about the size of a bicycle. Many ants transport our human bodies to feed this big bug. If we kill it, we should be able to obtain some good magic cores. Sumuru was very serious. She shared all the information she had detected. Ants are a special species. There is an ant king, an ant queen, and some worker ants. Their division of labor is clear, like a small society. After hearing this, Shurhao nodded. Nero, thank you for your hard work. This information is very important to me. I already know the situation. In that case, these ants should be easy to deal with. Xiuhong, lead the way now. I will go and wipe out all these ant monsters. Seek revenge for Zhao Hanguang, seek revenge for the deceased humans. Sure Hao's expression was extremely serious as he spoke. A fierce killing intent radiated from his eyes. Sure Hao was serious about killing all these monsters. Okay. No problem. It's a small matter. I'll start leading the way now. Su Muro greeted and said. Immediately, Su Muro activated her special ability. Her body transformed into a gentle breeze, and she began leading the way ahead. The gentle breeze made Sure How feel a cool sensation. It drove away the heat and guided the direction. Sure How and Su Muro set off. As for the King A Yao and the magic cat Yumi, both of them were already prepared for battle. At this moment, the expressions of the two beauties were extremely serious and determined. They were willing to live and die with Sure How, willing to bear his children. After all, Sure How was an awakened god. In the city of Beihai, there are some experts who have made some special remarks. That is, the combination of online awakened individuals with online awakened individuals may produce offspring who may inherit their parents' online abilities, or awaken new mutant abilities, providing powerful abilities for the human race. These experts, while expressing their views, began to encourage online awakened individuals to reproduce. And some female online awakened individuals in Beihai City, as well as some family forces, have set their sights on sure how. Many people hope to use sure how to give birth to a divine child who can inherit powerful online abilities. This is a good thing for many family forces. Sure how, however, is disdainful of this. Wangja A. Yao and Magic Cat Yumi have also heard these remarks. The two of them, however, did not think so far. But if they must marry and have children, their first choice would naturally be sure how himself. As for sure how, he didn't think too much about it but devoted himself wholeheartedly to the career of hunting monsters, striving to improve his cultivation and strength. After all, if you are not strong enough, even if you have a perfect family, you will eventually become food for those monsters. Moreover, if you have children, they can easily become a handle for others to use and restrict you. Sure how is not a fool, he won't have children so early. Even if he has to do some intimate things, 
Sure how will take safety measures. After everything is done, Sure how will destroy all these offspring. Soon, under Sumuro's leadership, Sure how saw a group of ants monsters traveling in the distance. There were many of these ants monsters, as many as hundreds. The most dazzling ones were the Ant King monster and the Ant Queen monster. A fierce battle. Sure how exclaimed. Sure how, don't worry. I have prepared my shockwave. When you step forward and swing your divine axe, I will immediately take action. This shockwave can help you restrict the movements of these small ant monsters. As long as I control the movements of these ants, sure how, it will be much easier for you to hunt down the ant king or the ant queen. Magic Cat Yumi quickly spoke up and quickly explained the strategic plan to sure how. After hearing this, sure how nodded. Okay, but my first target is the ant queen. Once I deal with this thing, I will have a grudge with these ant monsters. At that time, they will attack me like crazy. This way, there will be no ant monsters escaping, and there will be no fish that slip through the net. Yumi, release the shockwave and attack the position of the ant queen. And Ayao, release your bouncing bullets to restrict the movements of the ant king, don't let it come to support immediately. At the same time, Ayao, remember to release the spirit ball attack of the heavenly maiden scattering flowers. In this way, it will be much easier to deal with these monsters. Sure how quickly spoke up, and a deep light flashed in his profound golden eyes. Sure how had already come up with a plan and had a limited goal for solving the problem. He quickly gave instructions. Immediately, a Yao and Yumi understood Sure how's strategic plan. Okay, no problem. Sure how, go ahead, I will cooperate with you. A Yao nodded and said, Hmm, I have already prepared to release my skills. Sure how, go for it, we can definitely do it. Magic Cat Yumi said, the gazes of the two beauties were extremely firm, and they were not afraid of these monsters at all. With Sure How present, what is there to fear? Listening to the words of the beauties, Sure How felt relieved. Um, fight with me. Sure How nodded and then looked at Su Muro beside him. Muro, take care of yourself. Don't get hurt. Leave the rest to us. Sure How reminded with concern. He wasn't afraid of anything happening to himself, nor was he afraid of Ayo or the magic cat Yumi getting into trouble. After all, Ayo and Yumi were always protected by Sure How. However, although Sumura had the ability to transform into wind, it didn't mean that she was invincible. Right now, Sure How didn't have the extra energy to focus on Sumuro, so he could only let her fend for herself and try to survive on her own. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about me. Sumuro responded. Sure How, fight well. Okay. Sure How nodded and focused his attention ahead. As for Sumuro, she activated her own special ability and transformed into a gentle breeze, dissipating into the air. Besides protecting herself, Sumuro also had to observe everything around her. If there were powerful monsters or formidable named ability users approaching, Sumuro would inform Sure How immediately. On the other side, the ant monsters noticed someone behind them. They had extremely sharp senses and perception. Instantly, the ant king monster and numerous worker ants turned around and glared fiercely at Sure How. Surrounding the ant queen monster were a group of worker ants. As soon as they sensed danger, their first priority was to protect the ant queen monster. As long as the ant queen monster was alive, these ant monsters would not go extinct. Moreover, among the worker ants, those who were more powerful and had the potential to grow and develop could become the next ant king. Therefore, the ant king monster was not that important. For this group of monsters, the most important one was the ant queen monster. Now, sure how it caught the attention of these monsters. The King Io expressed some concern, sure how, these ant monsters have discovered us. It seems like we have to take the initiative and attack. The magic cat Yumi beside him also spoke up, sure how, find the right opportunity and charge in. My shockwave energy is ready. Okay. Sure how nodded and said. Then, sure how held a sharp divine axe in his hand. His target hadn't changed, it was still the ant queen monster. Focus on the ant queen monster. Prepare to kill. Sure how shouted lowly. Then, Sure How took a step forward, wielding the sharp axe, and directly launched an attack. Buzz! A golden divine light bloomed on Sure How, and this huge divine axe emitted a piercing buzzing sound as it swung. Endless pressure poured out like a surging sea. The entire space began to distort, as if there was a risk of shattering. Sure How's killing intent was truly too powerful. Sumuro, who was beside him, couldn't help but take a sharp breath. Strong, he's really strong. Sure How is amazing. With Sure How's current abilities, Killing these monsters is as easy as flipping his hand. Sure how, keep it up. Sumuro silently encouraged Sure how in her heart. In Sumuro's eyes, Sure how was her most outstanding student in the future of the human race. Sumuro felt lucky to witness the birth of a strong warrior. In front of Sure how, the ants became agitated. 
A group of worker ants went crazy and attacked Sher Hao directly. These worker ants were large in size, each one as big as a car. Their pincers were extremely sharp. When the worker ants launched their attack together, their footsteps stomped on the ground, immediately producing a dull sound. The whole area seemed to be experiencing a massive earthquake, with countless dust being lifted up, creating a spectacle that blocked out the sun. It was as if thousands of iron riders were chasing after each other. Everything in front of them was terrifying, but Lin Ju remained fearless. He continued to hold the divine axe in his hand and kept charging forward. The ant king monster followed the soldier ant, also charging forward. These soldier ant monsters were mainly responsible for clearing the way. If the soldier ant monsters couldn't deal with Sher Hao, then the ant king monster would make its appearance. However, Sher Hao was not afraid. Compared to these ant monsters, Sher Hao not only had greater strength but also a more agile mind. At this moment, Sher Hao seemed to be heading towards the front, but when he was about to approach the soldier ant monsters, he suddenly changed direction. At the same time, the power of Thanos erupted, giving Sher Hao a brief moment of flight. Sher Hao flew directly past the soldier ant monsters and the ant king monster, heading towards the ant queen monster. Seeing that Sher Hao had changed his attack direction and was heading towards the ant queen monster, the ant king monster and the surrounding soldier ant monsters became anxious. They all rushed forward, trying to stop Sher Hao. The ant queen monster held a superior position within the ant monster tribe. As long as the ant queen monster existed, the tribe would not perish. But once the ant queen monster died, it meant that the ant monster tribe would survive for a period of time before eventually facing extinction. This was not good news. Therefore, all the ant monsters became agitated, attempting to hinder Sher Hao's progress. Even the ant queen monster itself sensed an unprecedented danger and began to move its body, asking the soldier ant monsters to help defend itself, all in order to survive. Sher Hao's expression was cold. Die! Sher Hao shouted loudly and swung the extremely large heaven-opening divine axe in his hand. This exaggerated giant axe emitted a golden light and unleashed a terrifying aura. This aura made the entire space feel oppressive. It seemed to drain the surrounding air, making it difficult for the ant monsters to breathe. Buzz! The golden light surged, and the divine axe continued to tremble. The entire space began to distort, as if it was about to shatter. This was the power of a ninth-level law phase realm. The ant monsters felt an unprecedented sense of crisis and became as restless as ants on a hot pan. At this moment, the magical cat Yumi found the perfect opportunity. Without hesitation, she immediately unleashed her powerful ultimate move. On her cat paw, the magic book embedded with a purple gemstone was opened. A wave of magical light surged forth. Then, golden shockwaves directly shook out and rushed towards Sher Hao. Boom! 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 Although these golden shockwaves only caused minimal damage when they were released, as they overlapped with each other, all the ant monsters hit by the shockwaves entered a dazed state, immobilized and unable to move. This included the ant queen monster. Its massive and disgusting body was directly pinned in place, completely unable to move. With the help of Yumi's shockwaves, Sher Hao felt a lot of pressure lifted off his shoulders. Just at this moment, Yumi continued to activate her second skill. With the support of this second skill, Sher Hao instantly felt lighter in his steps, and his movement and attack speed skyrocketed. He instantly killed the Ant Queen monster. Meanwhile, Yumi and Yame, the Queen of Kings, each released their own skills. There is no communication between each other, but the cooperation between them is very tacit. Immediately, the magic cat Yumi released her first skill, a basketball-sized magic ball condensed and chased after the Ant King monster behind her, quickly restraining its body. The King Ai Yao then activated her bouncing skill, controlling not only the Ant King monster but also many worker ant monsters. Afterwards, Ai Yao activated her Heavenly Maiden Scattering Flowers skill, continuously generating blue-green energy balls. These energy balls landed around, continuously causing damage to the ant monsters. With the restrictions from Yumi and the King Ai Yao, these worker ant monsters and ant king monsters were unable to stop Sher Hao and Li Chang took advantage of this opportunity, wielding his heavenly axe and fiercely striking down. Splurt! A burst of milky white liquid splashed out. The ant queen monster was directly cut in half by Sher Hao. The scene was very disgusting. Despite being split in half, the ant queen monster was still able to move. Therefore, Sher Hao erupted with a terrifying power once again and struck down fiercely. This time, the head and body of the Ant Queen monster were directly cut in half, instantly losing all signs of life and unable to move. Along with it, many worker ants around were all killed by Sher Hao on the spot. On the ground, two extremely deep gullies appeared at this moment, as if the earth had been split apart, extremely terrifying. Zhao Hanwang, this Ant Queen monster is already dead. I have avenged you. Sher Hao thought to himself, a sharp light flashing in his eyes. 
With the death of the ant queen monster, it meant that this ant monster tribe would no longer exist in the future. Of course, besides this ant monster tribe, there were probably other ant monster tribes in other areas. Great. We succeeded. Sure how, you're amazing, killing this ant queen monster. The King Ayao showed a happy smile, looking very pleased. While smiling, the King Ayao's proud chest rose and fell, like ripe peaches, seemingly about to fall, very beautiful and enticing. Sure how felt something and couldn't help but want to taste these delicious peaches. Meow this ant queen monster is dead, great. He he he, our cooperation is seamless. After the monsters die, the next ones are the ant king monster and the surrounding small ant monsters. Yumi the magic cat was also very happy, making a meowing sound. Yumi's voice was very pleasant, a beautiful voice of an older sister. Sure how had not seen her true form yet. If there is a chance in the future, sure how would like to take a good look. Not far away, Sumuro, who had turned into a gentle breeze, was in high spirits. Great. As soon as sure how made a move, he killed the ant queen monster that these ant monsters worshipped. With the death of this ant queen monster, it's like the human race has lost a huge threat. Sure how, you're amazing. With him here, there are no surprises. Sumuro clenched her fist, feeling excited. Her emotions inexplicably soared. As the surrounding ant monsters saw their queen dead, they let out waves of grief and anger. At the same time, all the monsters became extremely irritable. They seemed to be reckless, rushing towards Sure How's position, wanting to tear him apart with their sharp pincers and their extremely tough bodies. Seeing these ants rushing over in a frenzy, a fierce killing intent flashed in Sure How's eyes. Come, come on, I'm not afraid of all of you. Sure How tightened his grip on the heavenly axe and was ready for battle. Good, very good. Everyone is angry. Everyone attack head on. You fools, you've fallen right into my trap. Sure How's eyes were filled with disdain. He deliberately killed the ant queen monster and provoked the ant monsters. The big ones died, and the small ones became angry. This way, Sure How didn't have to struggle with them and could directly crush them head on. Sure How. My skills are still on cooldown. From now on, you'll have to rely on yourself more. Come on, when my skills are ready, I'll release them immediately. Magic Cat Yumi spoke up. Her skills had a long cooldown time, and she was a little worried that Sure How wouldn't be able to hold on, so she quickly reminded him. Earlier, in order to deal with the huge Ant Queen monster, Magic Cat Yumi had already used up all her skills. She had to wait for them to cool down. Magic Cat Yumi didn't want anything to happen to Sure How. If something happened to Sure How today, then Magic Cat Yumi wouldn't have to live either. She would be torn apart by these ant monsters. King Aya gently said, My skills have a relatively fast cooldown time. Sure how, I can help you. Yumi, don't worry, take your time. Let's all take our time, pull them back, and we can quickly defeat all these monsters. Yes, let's pull them back. Magic Cat Yumi nodded and said affirmatively, Sure how, be careful, pull them back as much as possible, wait for my shockwave area skill. Sure how said, Hmm, don't worry, I have experience. After a brief exchange, Sure how held the sharp axe in his hand and took the initiative to kill. His target was the Ant King. Capture the leader first, after dealing with the powerful monster, it would be easy to deal with the weaker ones. The divine axe in his hand buzzed again, emitting a dazzling golden light. The golden light shone, and the whole world was filled with gold. The aura of the divine axe shook, and the space twisted, giving a sense of danger. Ayao, restrain it. Sure how quickly said. Here it comes. Bounce, bounce, bounce. King Ayao's gentle response. In her beautiful eyes, a firm light flashed. Then, King Ayao directly activated her first skill. A basketball-sized spirit ball condensed directly. When she waved her delicate wooden staff, King Ayao controlled the spirit ball and shot it out. Plap. Immediately, the figure of the Ant King monster was directly controlled by the spirit ball. Taking advantage of the Ant King monster's inability to launch an attack while being controlled, Sure How swung his heavenly axe fiercely. Plap. A burst of silver blood splattered out. The Ant King monster was directly killed by Sure How. This was the terrifying aspect of being at the ninth level of the Law Phase realm. With his current strength, Sure How could easily kill all the monsters in the first wave. Sure How was like a boss who had mistakenly entered the beginner's village, able to suppress everything. Any monster attacked by Sure How would lose their life here. The blood of the Ant King monster splattered on the bodies of some surrounding ant monsters, bringing them great shock. Many ant monsters were frightened. They didn't expect the ant queen to die first, followed by the ant king. This was not a good sign. Some ant monsters became even more aggressive and started launching frenzied attacks. Sure how didn't care about this and continued to use the heavenly axe in his hand to kill those ant monsters. Die. Magic cores, come to me. 
Shirhao's eyes turned red as he continuously swung the heavenly axe in his hand, like an emotionless killing machine. Next to him, Sumura watched this scene, with a hint of admiration in her expression. So strong. Shirhao is so outstanding. He's a man who shows off to his friends. Sumura thought to herself. Any woman would be attracted to a handsome and talented man. Shirhao's strength is truly tempting and captivating. Sumura is a woman, not a machine, and definitely not an emotionless stone. So, seeing someone as powerful as Shirhao, it's inevitable for Sumura to be moved. However, during the civilized era, Sumura used to be Shirhao's homeroom teacher, his teacher. Because of this relationship, Sumura restrained her emotions. Normally, Sumura and Shirhao had a teacher student relationship, appearing completely normal. Little did they know, Shirhao actually enjoyed this kind of complicated relationship, finding it more exciting and thrilling. On the other side, after Shirhao dealt with the Ant King monster, he proceeded to kill more than 20 soldier ant monsters. Suddenly, the scene became extremely brutal. Shirhao, my shockwave skill is ready. I'll release it right away. At this moment, the magic cat Yumi spoke up. She had already prepared her ultimate move. Okay. Find a good angle and release it directly. Shirhao nodded in agreement. Then, Shirhao and magic cat Yumi cooperated in battle. Shockwave. Magic cat Yumi shouted, immediately releasing her ultimate move. A burst of golden light surged forth, condensing into a wave of golden energy on top of her magic book, directly attacking the surrounding ant monsters. Instantly, all of these ant monsters were hit by the energy wave and fell into a dazed state. Seizing the opportunity, Shirhao continuously killed in all directions, directly slaying one monster after another on the spot. Fairy scattering flowers. Ayao, who was beside them, also continuously released her second skill. Blue-green energy balls condensed and continuously fell onto the bodies of the surrounding monsters. Although the attack power of these energy balls was not high, occasionally they would help Shirhao deal damage and directly achieve a fatal blow. Two supports, along with Shirhao as the core. Soon, all of these monsters were completely eliminated. The scene was filled with blood, appearing horrifying and terrifying. The corpses of these monsters had already reached over a hundred. Shirhao was enveloped in a golden light, although he had killed over a hundred monsters, his body was not stained with blood. 